Sheesh. Um, forward. Left. Eat the corn. 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 Left. Left, honey. Do I put this in my evidence? This is anti-corn propaganda. from Austin, Texas, where we're hunting for Agent Mulder, so you could say we're on a real fox hunt. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. You I... took that from my replies. Hello, Alex. Hi, Danny. Yeah, that joke was blatantly stolen because I couldn't think up a, a zinger before the stream. <laughs> Thank you to, uh, yeah, he said it. Oh. It was Pewter. Thank you, Pewter, for that joke. It's very Thank you. good. Thank you for that emergency use joke. Much appreciated. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, before we get started, can I thank some people? Yeah, yeah. Get to the thing. Okay. Thank you, Demo, uh, Demo Man X614 for the sub. Thank you, Fidget, for the 25-month sub. PS1 FMV X Files. The perfect way to celebrate a quarter century of retro battles. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how centuries oh, work. Oh, thank you, thank Dream you. Harrier, for the raid. Uh, ooh, real quick. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, our bit rate was trying to be weird, but it's not. Okay, Don't you do it, bit rate. Don't thank you do it. Very, we're not in the mood. Thank you to Game Quoter for the 33 month resub. Uh, we appreciate that. Thank you, Kaibi Torori, for the 11 months. Kaibi says the Retro Pals are streaming the PS1 X Files. Illuminati confirmed. Mm -hmm. Yes, unfortunately, this we are. This is how Illuminati. you had to find out. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Space Dumpster resubs. Holy shit, 23 months and says, I want to believe. And, well, you better because you're going to see Mulder. Maybe. And thank you to Dora3 for the five months. Dora3 says, Fox Mulder thinking about going home to stream on Twitch. I want to be live. <laughs> that one's pretty good. That's fucking there good. There you go. I wish Best I joke that. of the stream. Damn it. Ah, oh, now the rest of these jokes are going to seem horrible in comparison. Oh, well. Okay. It's the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Uh, let me start with our brand new preamble, which I'm going to have to remind you of every single stream now. Spectrum is actively against us our internet service provider. At one point, guaranteed, our bitrate will reach absolute zero, the stream will split in twain, and everybody will be upset and panicking. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, though. If you hear this message, feel free to repeat it when that happens. Uh, remind everyone that Spectrum is shit, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Yeah, there are other Texan Spectrum havers who are having issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The exact like, same oh. issue, like from someone in Corpus or something. Like, yeah. They got something against Texans. They got something against gamers. Gamer Texans. They hate Tex. They hate. They hate gay Texan gamers. Mm, that must this be is, what it is. Mm -mm. Must be mm -mm, what it is. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, despite that, <laughs> we're going to try our best because tonight we are playing the X Files for PS One. This is a major milestone for me. Uh, there are, in fact, several full motion video driven ps1 games but we've only ever streamed one here on stream in our five years of doing this uh why haven't we returned to the well well because the last ps1 fmv game we played was fox hunt yeah do i do i need to say more that's no. that's the only stream where i had to record a new ending to it <laughs> like i had to go <laughs> off stream and then record a script for the damn thing just so it made sense let's hope that doesn't happen again let's hope the x files is a return to form for 32-bit full motion video games thank you akadar for 26 months just this minute yeah you can you beat me to it but that's because i'm reading about all the other texan gamers having this issue with spectrum i am so sorry you have a safe space here we yeah we you can support you you can commiserate here yeah so the way our poll shook out uh the couple weeks ago because last wednesday's was uh of course not possible due to the spectrum thing mm -hmm. this is what happened we gave them we gave our patrons a list of four count them four a-list celebrities from the 90s mm -hmm. That's right, the most triple a -est of celebrities, <laughs> all up for vote here. Uh, it wasn't too long before there was a dead heat between Frankie Muniz and David Duchovny. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I said in the uh, patron discord, I think, and I was like, wow, what other Twitch channel can genuinely say that for real and have it be factual, uh, Frankie Muniz and David Duchovny being in a dead heat. But that's that's what happened. Over the weekend, they traded places first and second, second and first. And then in the end, when it came time to declare a winner, it was David Duchovny. So we're nice. going to do our best to search for David Duchovny tonight in his game, The X-Files, for PS1. 
And real quick, thank you to uh, Fenwa for the two-month resub and Seymour Hirsch for the 21 months. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you both. Are we ready to do this? Oh, We're ready boy, to play some X-Files. So this one's going to be fun for me because I tested out this game like I played the first minute and then nothing more. I know nothing else about this game. I don't even know shit about the show. All I know is that it's full of live-action, full-motion video presented at the maximum video quality available on PS1. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. All right. Keep keep watching the skies, by which I mean the Retro Pal stream. You want to believe. You are believing it. That's what it believe is, Believe right? it, Be said, said Naruto, referring to the X-Files. <laughs> Big X-Files fan. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, well, uh, let's see here. I forget what the reset button is, so why don't you close that window and reopen it? <laughs> <laughs> should I watch do it again? Should I watch the X Files? It's it's a show see, people seem to like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Into Mednafen, I feed this file. Mm -hmm. I I had to I had to hand write an M3U file consisting of the four full path names of every single disc in this four disc set. And it's only through a secret button combination in Mednafen that you can switch through them. So if anything goes wrong, um, it's anything that's not me. Any number of factors. Let's see. Some of it's really good. Some of it is really questionable. Well, that's what I've heard, yeah. yeah. But Alex, I think you'll you're gonna like how this game starts. You especially. Oh boy, how many rats are there? Well. <laughs> okay, I already Check won. it out. Whoa! It's a flying rat. All right. Actually, like no, that. that's, that's some kind of bird. It, it, it's a pterodactyl. Anyway. Wow, it's a rat and a cigarette. Here's your first FMV of the game. <laughs> it's just chewing on it. it the famous X-Files character, the smoking rat. <laughs> smoking rat. Wow, do you know this actually contains original footage just yeah. for the game? Uh-huh. All this footage was originally shot just for this, including uh, some of the star characters, David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. Hey, we found it. There they are. That's pretty fast. The fear of the rat alien. I hope the smoking rat is in this one. <laughs> I just, I had to catch up on all my prestige TV from the 90s. This, uh, what was that other thing? Oh, yeah. Um. Ever hear of the smoking rat alien? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Guns and screams. They're fine, right? <laughs> A little late on the draw there. Ooh. Are you intrigued? Yes. I'm, I'm intrigued. Yeah, this intro's a little loud, but that's okay. Look at that, that's the actual intro from the show. We could get copyright struck for this. Whoa, look at that guy! <laughs> that guy was cool! No way! Bring back that guy! <laughs> was that some of the original footage? <laughs> that was me in my face whenever I see this game. Thank you, Smooth W1, for the 18 month re resub. Came in just for the intro, thanks. You got what you wanted. <laughs> Thank you, Revenant, who uh, resubs 23 months in a row with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cool alien heads. That's a lot of cool aliens. Where's the truth? Out there! No! Oh, I don't want to go out there. It's I'm hot. Saying, no, it's... Have you been outside? Hey, it fucking sucks. Yeah, it's like 105. Ugh. Thank, thank you, you Rusty Retro, for the 41 months. Holy shit. I also want to believe. Everybody, if you if you put your thoughts together, we can all believe collectively. Oh, and thank you, Super Blind Man. 200 bits. Greetings, friends, from your... Hold on, sorry. There we go. From your friendly neighborhood blind accessibility consultant. I'm so, hey. so happy I'm actually catching a stream for once. Love you guys tons. Aw, oh, thank you. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Welcome to the show. I know if you're oh, not going to like this one. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't even know what to expect from this one. This is a surprise for everybody. So when it turns out to be horribly disappointing, again, not my fault. Mm -hmm. You can we're gonna, blame Spectrum on Yeah, that. we're going to blame Spectrum. <laughs> if you'd seen, it's just they took out all the, the bits that were the good parts of the game. Mm -hmm. I say that just as the bitrate takes another dump. Yeah, sorry, folks. Okay, seems to be stabilized. Aliens, that's what it is. We're going <laughs> to find the aliens who are doing this to our bitrate, and those alien bastards are going to pay. <laughs> Those alien bastards are going to pay for ruining my babe's stream. All right. Here is our help menu. 
We have idea icons. Hmm. When you have an idea, you can push these buttons and do that. Okay. Artificial intuition icon. This is way too complex for me, Alex. I, I, I think I made a mistake. All right. Thank you, Cambrian Era. 29-month resub. Cambrian Era says aliens. Aliens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, navigation, I get that. I've played so many Souls games, by which I mean Mansion of Hidden Souls. This is this is like coming home to a mansion full of butterflies. This is giving me big Souls vibes, yeah. Action pointer. Is that... Look at that, he's grabbing a bolt of lightning. Yeah, it's really stupid. <laughs> you kidding me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Evidence? This is Phoenix, right? We gotta yes. put the aliens on the stand? Now the aliens have emotions? I I'm like that you have different emotions you have to use. Why is this? I would say why is it so complicated, but it's based off of, an, of a 90s prestige TV, so that makes sense. Well, with any luck, the walkthrough that Alex is going to consult for the entirety of this playthrough is going to be completely clear. It's going to help us and will not confuse us and make us frustrated. Are we going to do this? Wait, hang on. Okay, this is actually okay. very helpful. Okay, no trigger buttons. Just the four face buttons, a pointer, and lots and lots of full motion video. Let's go. We're doing it. It's our first day of the job. That's us. Oh, thank you for the raid, MDC Chris. We are, no, uh... Agent, no more. No, Agent Cook. You picked a great day to be late. There's some big gun in from DC. I don't know what's up, but... We're playing X-Files. Welcome, MDC Chris Raiders. We're playing X-Files for PS1. This is an FMV-driven adventure game. Uh, want to boost it a couple of notches for us, too? Yeah. I want to hear what these guys are saying. So, how should we respond to this guy? Should we respond paranoidly, indifferently, or funnily? I'm going to um, try and be funny, okay. I think. Well, he's probably here to make sure we're not stealing paper clips. The guy's like, okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, dealing with a real idiot here, huh? Okay, so what do we do? All right. First, yeah, that should have been a game over. <laughs> um, uh, forward? Yeah. I love the, and then left. Forward and to the left. That's where the bathroom is. Okay, and um, <laughs> move the pointer to the desk chair, and yeah, click on it. When he gets the blue squiggly, it calls it. Purple I'll just squiggly. I'll just grab this bolt of lightning. I love the I love the credits so much. And sit down at my desk. Yeah, this is a nice touch, actually. Okay, you're sitting. Oh, uh, you better answer the phone call. Shit, do I have to? Yeah, sorry. It's my first Wilmore. day. Agent Wilmore, I want to see you in my office. I just sat down, Critical. dude. Critical. Use the tape dispenser on the desk. That's it. This yeah. one? Mm hmm. <laughs> hey, I just want to say this game fucking rocks. <laughs> That's what I would do if my boss called me and I just sat down. I was just like, oh, I'll be there in a second. I got something important to take care of. Okay, now you need to pick up your case file and examine them. That's that. Yeah, being an FBI guy is complicated. Uh huh. Mm hmm. What's Elser? What's OSIS? What's NCIC? What's FOIPA? A Freedom of Information Pact. Do they expect me to read this? Uh, Elsa was the, the girl in Frozen. Thank you. Oh, I see. Chat. We're searching for Elsa. This feels like a 3DO game. Yes, yes. Oh, this... it sure has that feel. Syringes this... and rubber tubing. This definitely Sticky feels like substance. Hello. <laughs> it's heroin, Alex. Oh. We solved the mystery already. It was heroin. <laughs> the heroin alien. <laughs> Ever hear of the heroin alien? <laughs> All right, you did that, and um, hold on, I need to find a word. And next, uh, look down to see the desk drawers and open the drawer. All right. Boy, the boss is getting cheesed off right about now. Okay. 
Okay. Where the fuck is that guy? Get your FBI badge, handcuffs, and gun. Then look up. Actually, is there a way to save? Can I just save anytime? Can you? Wow. Cool. That's handy. Uh, yeah, this is a port of the PC version of the game. The a PC version of the game had seven CD-ROMs, according to someone who replied to me today. <laughs> I had to save in case I uh, stubbed my toe on the desk. Okay, good. Where are we going to now? All right. Wow, Next, they made they made an um, FMV just for closing the drawer. Go forward. Uh huh. Then go forward. Right. Wait a minute. I know this. Aliens are going to cut off the northwest corner of the America. Did you I... know, the America. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Trace Bullet, for the five gift subs. Welcome to the club. Uh, Esper Magic, Mindy8712, Incident73, uh, Irag, and Curse Ghost. <laughs> Good read, Alex. Thank you. Irag. All right. Where am I, where am where I going? Where did you go? Did you already go uh, right? I, I went forward from the desk. I okay. haven't gone right yet. Uh, go right. Forward. Left. You're going to put me in the janitor's closet. Forward. Everyone's going to laugh at me. And then turn left. <laughs> Can't we afford any lights in this place? Nah, it's fine. We're the FBI. Now what? Uh, Grab the electricity. You got it. Click on the only cabinet left marked authorized agents only. Take the binoculars, lock pick, camera, flashlight, and night vision goggles. And oh, you just kit. you just... Take, Take it, it all automatically. Close the cabinet. What's what's this icon? Do I punch the cabinet? <laughs> I think it's you pointing backwards, but it does look like punch. Oh, um, I see. Uh, let's see. Then you need to go right and forward. And click an action icon to exit the meeting room. Can I look at the microwave? Sure. I can't stop you. Hey, that's product hey! placement. They got any left? Uh, looks like there's one in there. It's probably like a day old, though. No one wants it's it. It's probably disgusting, honestly. Put donuts in microwave, blow up donuts. Well, bad news is I think I'm lost now. I don't know where we are in the thing. Oh, this is probably it. Yeah, you said to go forward, I think. Yeah, um, go right forward and click the action icon to exit. Okay, there we go. Go forward. Come in. This is Assistant Director Skinner. We're in there. Agent Walmart, sir. Two of my agents are missing, Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. I haven't heard from them in three days. I'm extremely concerned. Hmm. Okay, uh, you can ask them all questions, but in particular you need to ask them about uh, what case was Scully, Mul Mulder and Scully working on. Which one of them should I kiss first? Um, you need to kiss the boy at the desk. <laughs> How about this guy? Uh, you can kiss him too. <laughs> all right. I don't know. You think Sh Cook should be involved in this investigation? Should Cook be involved in this investigation? Well, it's up to you, really. You know the Bureau's policy on backup? I would suggest to use all available resources. We might need this Cook guy. Okay. Are they romantically involved? You gotta ask. Are they romantically involved? I don't know. I don't think so. Come on, the fans want to know. Where were they last seen? In my office in D.C., right before they left. Uh, what case were they working on, good? What case were they working on? I'm not quite sure. All I have is this travel requisition which shows that they were going to Ever Washington. Yeah, someone fell asleep on the so synth. agents were able to function with a high <laughs> degree of autonomy due to the nature of the cases they pursued. Okay, give that an examination. Do I have to? Yeah. All right, just to look good in front of the boss. Mm -hmm. I can't just throw this in the trash. And it looks like they are going, uh, if you scroll down, to the Comity Inn in Everett, Everett Washington. Hmm. Seven Fascinating. Nights. Did they buy one room or two? 103, 104. Oh, okay. Damn. I was hoping for some juicy material that the fans can really sink their teeth into. Well, thank you for... Yeah, it's just... Uh, sorry about that. We're... Uh, oh, yeah, rate. bit rate's going nuts. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's what this game is. If you thought you were going to play as your favorite characters, Scully and Mulder, nope, you were actually the rookie agent in charge of finding them. 
<laughs> kind of an interesting way to, to do a game. They did something like that with the Ghostbusters video game a few years ago, where they'd just always talk to you and they'd be like, hey, it's the rookie's job, or hey, new guy, something like that. Mm -hmm. Most games, though, they don't just like get rid of the main actors like right away and you never see them again. Okay, I think our bitrate has recovered. Okay. Um, now you should talk to Shanks. He's the guy in, in the at the desk desk. Shanks, what you got for me? You know of anything unusual in Everett? There's nothing that I'm aware of. You've been very helpful. Thanks, man. Um, talk to Shanks and ask all questions. He tells you to file. Okay, so what we should do is key, ask a couple more questions of what's his face, and that should unlock the next question thing. So ask uh, the guy in the glasses who looks like an asshole. <laughs> the guy in the glasses, huh? Yeah, I know they're both wearing glasses, but. Oh, that, yeah. All right, you'll find it in the dossier, or they're not answering. Okay. Alex, I didn't tell you about this, but I have a shipment of candy sitting on the front porch, so I should get it before it melts. Do you want me to get it? No, no, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, entertain the folks. <laughs> okay. Uh, chat says, shanks for nothing. Oh, boy. Hi, folks. Um... I love, I'm sorry that I called him the asshole in the glass. Well, I didn't call him the asshole in the glasses, but. he He's got that vibe to it, you know? Um, yeah, we had to pick up the candy from the outside because um, it's, the, the weather is over 100 degrees, or it feels like it's over 100. It's Jolly Ranchers. If they don't melt, the ants are going to get to them. Shit, yeah, ants. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> yes, Danny did order enough for everyone. Uh, you will be getting this in your, uh, in your mailboxes within a month, and it's going to be ant covered. So I'm passing it like down that. the line. Uh, everybody take one and then pass the bowl to the, the person next to you, please. Shout out to whoever at the end is going to have, like, no red. <laughs> it's all going to be like Yeah, you're going to get, like, the, the licorice and, uh, apple vomit <laughs> the, flavors. The licorice flavor Jolly Rancher, Jesus. All right, okay. yeah, talk to this guy some more. Back in the game. Have they disappeared before? No, not like this. They're usually very good. They're Have nice. they been rom romantically involved in the past, though? Mwah, mwah. Have they been romantically involved in the past? As I say, I don't know. I don't believe so. All right, talk one more time to your boss, and that should unlock the thing for you to be able to do what you can do. There you go. What should I do with my current cases? Hand him off to Cook. I know he's busy, but this is priority. Okay, we gotta go talk to Cook now. File an APB on Mulder and Scully, then give your current case files to Cook. A.D. Skinner will join you shortly. Okay, now go to left and, uh, yeah. Hold up. Okay. I'm a very caref careful agent. They do disappear a lot, Krungo. That's the impression I get, too. I don't know why I said Yeah, never cool. done it before. They're always good agents. We always know where they are and what they're doing. Very normal. Okay, All so right. we go left. off to the left. And then Whoop. left. And then forward. This FBI office is a freaking maze. It is. So, okay. What's happening? You can't just sit on this. Is this Judge it. Reinhold? Is it? <laughs> how should we respond to Judge Reinhold? Mean, casual, or serious? You can respond however, whatever's in your heart, honey. Folks, if you were to come face to face with Judge Reinhold himself. What's up? After staring at him for 15 seconds, what would you choose to, to say to him? Mean, yeah, let's, let's do mean. mean. Jesus, if there's a brass button in the building, you're going to kiss it, aren't you? <laughs> oh, come on, man, tell me. There's a couple of missing agents he's trying to find, okay? This guy's in it for the gossip. <laughs> okay, go too forward. Yeah, I, I agree. I was too forward. <laughs> <laughs> hey, partner, how's it going? Oh, this must be Cook. Okay, talk to him, but do not ask him to put out the APB. Do, do not, not do that. Okay. But we're going to handle this ourselves. I guess so. Thank you, St. Aspartine, for the six month reset. Do appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, just ask the first question. Uh, what case is you working on, buddy? What case is you working on? Um, pull tab counterfeiters and uh, the militia group still active in the Northern Cascades. 
I'm an assist to the DEA on a meth lab ring. I'm handling things okay. <laughs> Which you gonna pursue, the pull tab counterfeiters or the meth lab, do you okay, think? Okay, so... Um, so no, no file on APB, just no. do shanks. Yeah, do the shanks, yeah, thing. Told him to give my cases to mm -hmm. you. Shanks wants me to hand my cases off to you. <laughs> All right, get that's out of not, here. That's not a response. I've tried that before. That's what Alex tells me. He's like, Danny, that's not a response. I think that's what I think Tess did that the other day when she was <laughs> mad at us. Okay, hey, Danny, so you want to stream? Yeah, that's when I'm in horse mode. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to click your case files on Cook to hand them over. So go to Cook. Go to, well, I guess it won't let you, will it? Okay. Now we get to figure out how to use the inventory. There you go. <laughs> it must be the, the paper that says files on I it. I love that it says files. Don't, what are you doing? Don't do that. Danny, what the fuck? All right, if you say so. I mean, I, I had to, right? Let's put him under arrest. Don't do that. <laughs> this guy's a real stick in the mud. No one knows how to have fun here at the FBI. Great. Thanks, golden boy. <laughs> I just pulled a gun on you. And yes, BBH, I'm definitely going to pull my gun on everybody from now on. <laughs> That's so... I can't believe they let you do that. That's really good. Okay, we've done everything correctly up to this point, so I'm mm -hmm. going to go ahead and drop another save. Apparently, it's real easy to die in this game. Okay, it says... Uh, it doesn't tell me how to get out, but it says exit, so... And I think that's it. You have to go to your office now. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm taking this flag with me as punishment. I think that's your office. Cool. Huh. I think having this is an arrestable offense. This is cool. No way. Why is... Okay. This should be it. Yeah. I think. So just go forward into my office? I think so. I think so, but I'm afraid I'm going to get you lost. Is that your office? Oh, it's just... No. You're... It's the cabinet. Okay. You're in the evidence room. Let's get out of here. So... Where's the pantry? I'm hungry. They feed people at the FBI? You gotta go out and get your own lunch. So you gotta go back. I'm the worst agent ever. They would fire me within a couple hours for asking so many stupid questions. Honestly, they're not that bad. Okay, you're going there. Go forward again. Mm -hmm. Then turn uh, right. That's not it. Okay, go forward. Go forward again. Go out this door. Will not you go out the door? I'm sure we'll find the place. Okay, we'll figure Don't it out. Don't get too flummoxed. Okay, I, I won't get too tilted. That looks like the way out. It's just a game. Is it? Actually, yeah, it's my FBI initiation. Hey, cool. Oh, look at this. Oh. Agent office. Agent yeah. office. Director's office. I think, the, I think it's right next to the meeting room. Okay. Wait, this is the exit. <laughs> yeah, you need to go back. Yeah, let's go back. Brought to you by Apple Newton. Um, Did you know? Oh, good. You can go back. I was worried you could. <laughs> okay, let's remember the map we just saw. We head forward, and then we go to the left, and there's like an office there. Yeah. Is, is it our so office? For, I think it's our office. Yes, this is our office. We were here okay. earlier putting the tape on our face. All right. Okay, so look at the bulletin board first. Bulletin board, you say? What the fuck is the bulletin board? I graduated from New York University. That's wow. right. I am a master of arts. That's why I'm in the FBI. <laughs> there was an episode of this game where... Of this game, of the show where Mulder pissed off a genie, apparently. Then the genie made a fucked up duck and put it on my wall? I love that fucked up duck, though. I don't think that's it. I don't see a bulletin board. Okay, well, sit at your desk. Okay. Wait, what'd that say? 
Catholic, a Catholic chapel. chapel in a male and poor community. Huh. I don't uh, like that one. Great decor. I, I get bad vibes from this entire office. Yeah, sit down. All right, next. Uh, click twice on the computer to get screen. I don't know what that means. Come on, computer. You've got mail. Uh, <laughs> click APB. The most bored sounding you've got mail I've ever heard in my life. Uh-huh. And uh, send. Oh, let's read this first. Now, remember, everyone, text 0062 FPI or pabidipu. <laughs> Bolo, <laughs> be on the lookout, <laughs> Bolo. Bolo. All right, let's see how we can determine who, who Fox Mulder is. He's Caucasian. He has hazel eyes, brown hair, uh, clean shaven, no distinguishing marks. Should definitely be able to pick him out of a lineup. So this is me aside from the height. Except that I'm not clean shaven. I actually look like a gremlin man. Oh, we also have a, a dossier on Scully. Blue Five, green, three, she's tiny. Hazel. You could pick her up and throw her. A hundred pounds! I pounds. could! Oh no, please don't tell the actress who plays her that I said that. I would never throw you in real life. She's probably yeah. been working out. Ready for revenge. Yeah, and I was going to say, no, if she's... No, she could probably murder me. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and send this APB. Let's start this orp p -p -doo. orp -p -doo. Done. Okay. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Now, uh, click uh, quit. Ooh, what a hard day of work. And then uh, you should go to the hallway again. Okay. Go again, yeah. I suggest we start with the motel where Mulder and Scully are staying. I'll be waiting for you in the car. That meaningful look. <laughs> what does he mean like by that? Does he like me? I think okay. he likes me. Uh, it's now been added. In go to your inventory. Click your PDA. And that takes you to the map screen. Oh. And why don't we go to Everett? Fast travel. Wow. What a concept. Now it's time to go to the Comedy Inn. Comedy. Committee. 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 I have no idea how it's pronounced. We'll figure it out. This place looks like shit. I want to go here. Wow, we got outdoor filming in a PS1 game. How often you see that? Like, not unless it's like a fucking laser disc fucking conversion. Yeah. This is Fox Interactive money. You? Uh, you're gonna need to show her your badge. Okay. Probably not gonna do the gun. That would don't, be, don't, That please. would be a bad first impression. Absolutely. <laughs> Did she even look at it? No, you need to ring the bell. Please don't do that. Do you know how many people do that with me sitting right here? No. Well, you're not the first. If you do it again, she gets really mad. What are you, a child? I said don't do that. <laughs> hey, this game rocks. Anyways, try again. What are you, a child? I said don't do that. What are you, child? <laughs> try to talk to her now and see if she has anything to say. Okay. After you show with, her the badge. With the badge. Time. Yeah. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now now put the badge down. <laughs> Nobody likes this guy. And talk to her. I, I don't. I don't blame. Don't do her. it too much. You will fail. Oh so really? You can't fuck her. Uh, you can't like fuck around too much here. Holy shit! Really? There's a failure state for this? I guess so. That's messed up. We're looking for information on two FBI agents who checked in here. Mm-hmm. And their names would be. Agents Mulder and Scully. Oh, yeah. They paid for a week in advance. Room three and four. Okay. Uh, just just ask all the questions. Did, did they look like they were in a romantic relationship? Are they in love? Did you notice anything unusual about the two agents? Um, the guy was kind of spooky. Other than that, no. <laughs> <laughs> David Duchovny is an actor I would describe as kind of spooky. Oh! I need to stop. I'm going to make the desk shake with how excited I am by this conversation. Keep going. Did anything unusual happen? Like, you know, kissing, making out? Did anything unusual occur while they were here? 
Not that I can remember. Hmm. I don't guess you know their their license number, do you? Do you have the make and license number of their rental car? Sure, it's on the form, assuming they told the truth. Could you write it down for me, please? She hates him. So put out by the FBI. Honestly, the FBI blows. Fuck him. It's a Ford Taurus, asshole. <laughs> I thought he was just going to say, fuck you, 69, 69, 69. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, We'd like to see their rooms. Would you take us to their rooms, please? Sure. Come this way. That's a good actress. She genuinely Here we looks go. This mad is at us. She stays mm -hmm. next door. And I like her outfit. Thank you. Oh, I hope nice. there aren't any dead bodies in here. I got finals coming up next week. <laughs> My favorite X Files character is her. You can get in and out through here. Did they ask you to unlock those doors? Did they look unlocked? No, they didn't. Thank you. We'll uh, let you know if we need anything else. You know where to find me. I'm loving this so far. She is fantastic. She is. Why don't you start with Mulder's room? I'll take Scully's. All right, and now we got to look around. Uh... Look around. So, um... drop another save, considering that you can lose the game by pissing off the the clerk at the desk. Do you blame her though? Like, I love her. Just from the first interaction, she was just like, "Nope, I am not going to have anything to do with this guy. <laughs> just completely done with this guy's shit." You know what? We got a full virtual memory card that's entirely empty. Let's just go ahead and save all the files we want. Hell yeah. Okay, so the first thing you can do is if you can click on the desk and you're going to see something. Uh, yeah. The magic bullet. Mm. It's just, uh, it's a, I, I don't know who writes it, but it's a, uh, it's a conspiracy theory uh, mm. mag. Mufon, that... Sufos, Sinful, Alfs, Psychop. Alfs. Alfs, yes. NROs. Oh, yeah, I've listened to the NRO. <laughs> UFO, I, C, N, S, A, S sounds about right. Yeah, all I'm doing is reading the uh, the abbreviations. Mm -hmm. We're not alone. Dreamland, Area 51. Mulder, what so, you yeah, been reading? yeah, there's a lot. Alfs! Yeah, I, I wasn't joking when I said Alf. I, I read the word Alf and I just said Alf, yes. Yes, Alf are studying alien planet life Earth. Form. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're wondering about the physical and mental capacities of Alfs. Hint, they're bad. Something about the river sticks. Oh boy, this is kind of all over the place, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's many, many pages, so. For your eyes only, caught in the net. The MUFO net, huh? Mm hmm. Is that really the MUFO net? Interestingly, the skeleton appears to have been wearing jeans. <laughs> Pictured here, skeleton. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of this that you can read if you want to. I don't like reading. Yeah, fuck this. Get out of here. Mm, okay, this is... Oh, all right, yeah. Real interesting reading there, Mulder. All right, why don't you check out... Uh, get out of here. <laughs> Ever hear of the jeans alien? <laughs> And click on the ashtray. That's going to be in the lower right. That's an ashtray? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't smoke, but there you go. Um, can you... Okay. Search for shards of unconsumed uh, seeds within these shelves. Okay, get out of there. You need them for sustenance later. Look at uh, Mulder's briefcase. I gotta say, there's nothing else like this on PS1, which makes sense. This is a PC game as well. But usually they don't even try porting these. The Majestic Cover Op Warehouse. Mm. Okay. okay it looks interesting, like... interesting. Mm -hmm. I so say not that. understanding anything. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> All I can think about is the Jalian wearing its jorts. <laughs> go forward. Out the door? No, but you're gonna go forward. And then you're going to turn left. Oh. Okay, and from here... Wow, this looks like a real hotel room. Uh, pick up the book. book. By on the nightstand, yeah. Hey, is that alien smoking? That alien is... <laughs> 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 that 
That's the Jalian. That's the Jalian. Folks, we found him. Let's put out an That's APB the on the Jalian. This is Alf. Alf has evolved. He's learned how to smoke. He's wearing jeans. Yeah, ALM. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, extraterrestrials, uh, guys, hypnosis thing, yeah, okay. Okay, so get out of here. All right, uh, go forward. Jalf. <laughs> then left. I want to look at this. Thing. It's orange juice and smear, look at this, this is disgusting. Look at that, there's a Smirnoff in the orange juice, but it's been poured back into the Smirnoff bottle. Y'all live like this? <laughs> this is sad. All right, um, oh, where'd you go? I turned left. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, forward, left. It says you should turn on the TV, but I don't. Let's see where the TV is. Let's find the TV. Let's take a dump. No. Let's leave the door open. <laughs> Just make everyone regret coming with us on a, any investigation. <laughs> Jalf loves Kratom. Okay. <laughs> You're going I to the... I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. I can't decide if that's good or bad. Okay. I went to Scully's room, I guess. Okay. You know what time it is. Did you save? I didn't not save. Wow. Okay. Well, they give you a warning back at the office, but you, you can try and indeed succeed to shoot your co-workers in later parts of the game. Okay. Good to know. That's good to know. I will All save right. more often, especially before okay. doing that. Let's, let's try to, you want to try to turn on the TV again? Yeah, I'm going to look at the stuff first. Okay. Yeah, okay, so there's alien magazines. Aliens are writing their own magazines. They got Alf doing a column. They pay him regular freelance rates, which Def is a, You got to look at the sunflowers for sure, though, because that, that actually unlocks something, apparently. Does it really? God yeah. damn this game. Okay, forward. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got to look at this thing. We got to pick that up. Do the, yep. This looks like a file of some you sort. You can shoot yourself in this. Don't. What the fuck? Don't. Danny, don't. Wow, they, they go full deja vu. Incredible. Okay, I searched the briefcase, okay, the seeds, go forward. the thing. We're going then left. forward. Left. Go to the nightstand. The nightstand to see the cigarette smoking alien. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Learn the Very truth good. about the Jalians who are out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now go forward. Yeah. And then left. And you're supposed to be able to turn on a TV. I think the TV is there. Yeah. <laughs> Are these the aliens? Are we stuck in a TV loop? Oh, thank God. And so what channel is this? The, <laughs> the, the throw pies at cops channel? The three second loop of, uh, of free to use footage? Yeah, yeah the only, they're only showing licensed free black and white footage today. Exactly, Dora 3. Can I go ahead and step yeah, forward? Yeah, you can go in now. Okay. Well, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. I can't decide if that's good or bad. I just like how he stood there the whole time when I shot him, and he was just like, what are you going to do, shoot me? Okay, go forward, and then left. One second. Of course. I'm like Mulder, I'm very careful. So forward, then left. Mm -hmm. And now you need to examine the Bible. The Bible? That's it, yeah. What page is it turned to? Hmm. Axes. The God raises the dead. Oh, are we going to read the whole Bible? No, you don't need to read all of Acts. You don't need to read all of Acts twenty six. Sorry, folks, we are reading all of Acts twenty six. No, start to I'm finish. not. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going into Acts 27? Yeah, we're just going to keep on flipping those pages. Oh, this is a real page turner, Paul this book. No wonder it's so popular. Okay. <laughs> Um, now, uh, we need to click on her laptop computer. That'll be at the, yeah. Do we ever get to click on this? Um, da, 
It doesn't say, so why don't you click on it for fun? Oh, it's the same TV! TV. <laughs> they get the same channel! <laughs> Boy, sure was, uh, sure got excited watching the three second loop in the living room. You want to head to the bedroom to watch the same loop? <laughs> okay, you got her laptop. Okay. Sweet. Um, turn right and talk to Skinner. Skinner, buddy. In a different timeline, I totally shot you. <laughs> Is there anything we shouldn't ask? Uh, no, you can. It looks like you can ask whatever. How long have you known them? Four years now. I've known Mulder longer than that. I guess it's been uh, almost six. They're practically best friends. It would be helpful to know what case they were working on. Yes. Yes, it would be helpful. Listen, I'd appreciate it if you didn't uh, refer to them in the past tense. Huh? Okay, now go click on the phone. Should we check the outgoing calls? That's a good idea. The clerk will probably have a record. Why didn't you think of that? And uh, once you've asked all the questions, use the door behind Skinner to exit. Oh, we can just leave? Yeah. All right. Get the fuck out. Free to go? Mm-hmm. No instant death waiting out there? Mm -mm. No one I have to shoot? No, please don't. Can't we just watch TV for the rest of the, the Listen, stream? I love the I love the Pie Cop channel, but... <laughs> okay. Um, click on the office door to approach the front desk. This here. What now? Oh, <laughs> Sorry, man. man. Oh, we gotta, we okay. gotta make her even matter now. Now, be nice. Please, please be nice. Okay. Now, talk to her. Hang on. Wait a second. Okay. Now, do things my way. What are you, a child? I said, don't do that. <laughs> did you Did you know? Uh, did you know? I'm I'm in the FBI. Did you know? What's the matter with you? <laughs> hey, hey, FBI. What's the matter with you? Oh, okay. I guess we can't get into a losing state here. I guess you've gone too far to get into the losing state. <laughs> Still. All right. Just talk um, to her. Yeah, talk to the clerk. And then click on the phone. Do you keep a record of outgoing calls? Sure, for billing purposes. Could I get a copy, please? Great. Give me a minute. I want you to know you're putting me behind. Sorry. Don't mean to bother you at work. Funny. <laughs> All right, click on it. Could not have made a worse impression on this lady. <laughs> All right, and you're going to scroll down, and you're going to notice uh, da, 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 two phone calls, one to D.C., one to Washington. Luckily, the number's in here, so you don't have to remember that, because you're mm. going to have to call those numbers. Stupid Mulder thought D.C. was in Washington State. What a moron. Should have taken geography instead of alien class. Okay, apparently if you keep using the bell, she gets super pissed. If you really want to do that. I kind of do. Well, you should What's probably you save. I'm working on a law degree. Cool. Can you remember anything that might help us? No, I'm sorry. They checked in and left that evening. I didn't see them after that. We done with this, I guess? Yeah, I was going to say, you should save and... Let's Pardon. give the people what they want. Let's try the bell. This is interesting. It's a mix of traditional FMV game and text-based adventure and... There's even a little bit of detective work in there. Sort of some Phoenix Wright material. What are you, a child? I said don't do that. The only thing that's missing is your attorney's badge that you can show to everybody. Mm -hmm. What are you, a child? Ah, ah, no, no, no! Child? Yes, yes, I, I am a child. <laughs> Shit, hold what up. I said don't do that. Okay, there we go. What are you, a child? I it's said, not doing don't it. Do it's that. not doing it. Sorry, folks. Oh, I tried. thank you, Wife City, for the raid. <laughs> we are pissing off a motel worker. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for the raid. How did uh, Resident Evil 2 go? Did you finish up the clear route? Okay, where are we heading to now? Okay, next we're gonna you're gonna get your cell phone open. Cell phone, eh? Mm-hmm. Or cellular phone. we're gonna phone. make a call, so... Oh, it's a real Nokia. All right, so... Let's see. Uh, Game beat. Nice. 
Good job beating the game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, 202. Oh, thank God. They disconnected 911? That's a major emergency, Alex. We should we should be on top of this. Who took down 911? I did. Okay, so it's 202. All right. 555. Five, five, uh -huh. 0149. Well, they obviously just gave us a fake number. Are you? I'm Remember, pissed. dial nine to dial out, then dial one, then the area code. I am furious. <laughs> All right, Alex, we're going to type a one. And now what's the number? Two, zero, two, <laughs> five, 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 zero, one, four, nine. <laughs> what a pain in the ass this game is. There we go. Unbelievable. Hello? Who is this? Agent Wilmore, FBI. Who are you? I asked you first. Look, I work for the FBI. Uh, sure, okay. <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> Good talk. Oh, boy. What did we accomplish there? What do we do next? Uh, now we need to get the phone uh, up again, and we need, need to call Seattle. God. Yeah. Okay, make sure we dial one, one first, and then... Two, zero, six. Five, 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 zero, one, eight, two. You don't got any games on this? Can we play Snake? Gotta play Snake. Pick up, pick up the damn phone. Will you just? <laughs> oh no, it's not like I'm streaming or anything. I got all the time in the world for wait. You pick, pick up the damn phone. <laughs> Snubble says this is the FBI. I'm calling about your vehicle's extended warranty. <laughs> Did you know I deleted five voicemails from like two days about my extended warranty yesterday? Really. Yeah, usually they don't leave a voicemail, but yeah. Anyways, it's not gonna pick up, so you can you can hang up. The game makes you call the number just so nothing mm -hmm. can. All right, fine, fine. And why don't we travel back to the FBI field office in Seattle? Okay, good good day of field work out there, guys. Good work. You can all pat yourselves on the back for that one. We went out to a hotel. We called a number that no one picked up. Now it's time to go home and rest. Yeah. So go to your PDA. And... This game's a little bit clunky, but it's surprisingly workable for how complex it is. They really put some thought into how you would navigate in this game. Okay, back to Seattle. And the field office. There you go. Yep, a job well done. Close the books, guys. Hey, did you find the paperwork I'll be alien? I'm my notes in the meeting room. Oh, I think he's pissed. He didn't appreciate the paperwork alien joke. Okay, go forward. Left, then forward, and that'll take you to your office. No. Uh -huh. All right, sit at your desk. There. Now, I wish the game said this. Unfortunately, because we didn't pick indifferent, we don't have, get to read letters from our ex-wife. <laughs> Are you for real? I am 100% for real. I wish I was lying. That's too fucking funny. That's, wow, that's too bad. That's too uh, bad I wasn't indifferent. Open up the computer. It doesn't actually tell you to do this, but I, I figured it out. Okay. Um, yeah. You've got mail. Check your email, actually. Oh, we got email. Maybe it is your ex-wife. No, it's not. But it is about the pull tabs. Oh, good. We can follow up on the pull tabs. Yes. Thanks, Mark. You finally got a break. 
All right, let me know when you have I any details. I want to know about why the person likes rugby. Hold on, go back. I want to know about rugby rules. Rugby rules! Wilmo, <laughs> hey man, how's it hanging? Great to see you last week. It's been way too long. Glad you enjoyed the game, and I'm sorry you were too much of a wuss to play. And just for the record, it's one tooth and two concussions, not the other way around. And my pearly whites look better than ever, which is more than I can say for you. Guess it's lucky you're not a smoker, huh? Ha! <laughs> we work with Alf. I was gonna say, who is this? At rugby.com! Who? This dude loves rugby! Does he run the rug? Is he the, the rugby webmaster? <laughs> I want to be the webmaster at rugby.com. This week in rugby, a bunch of dudes smashed up against one another. Hell yes, that's what I love to hear. All right. Case um, files. Now <laughs> Rugby.rugby. Is that a top level domain? Hey, All right, hey, let's... hey, check uh -huh. out this guy's email address when you're done reading this. Super M at Robbie.com. His name is Mike Robinson. What a nerd. He got a vanity domain back when nobody even did that. It would have been so expensive. No hard feelings if you can't get me anything. Okay, so yeah, don't this worry is low priority this. then. Super, Super M. M. All right, try to go to ING. Or go to ING. Don't try to. Um, Ing. Okay. Now, uh, what you're supposed to do here is under search category, yeah. click the phone button, and now you have to enter... That's called a radio button, did you know? Oh. Enter 206. Oh, there you go. And then click... Um, hold on. Let me make sure they're on the right database. Uh, search, yeah. Is this for citizen or FBI? Um, It doesn't... Say, okay, so. if we don't get anything, I'll just search FBI. Okay. Nope, that's the right thing. Dockside Warehouse. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. And now it's been added to your PDA, so why don't we go to the Dockside Warehouse? All so right. let's get out of here and go. It's just that easy. I'm the best FBI guy ever. So I can just pull up my PDA and mm -hmm. take and off. Fast travel. Fast travel? In a 96 FMV game. Where was this? Uh, Seattle. Yeah, mm. Dockside Warehouse. This could be dangerous. All sorts of stuff goes down at the docks. We saw rats there. I love the smoking rat. Bring back the smoking rat. Let's interrogate him. We only shot one dude in the face. Um... And we won't be doing it again. <laughs> there are many, many more dudes to still shoot in the face. Don't worry. It would be helpful to have some background on the case your agent were pursuing. Wouldn't it? Want to have someone I'll share it with you? Well, you could cut the romantic tension with a knife. Okay, approach Skinner. Hold up. Okay. You know, I don't think we're going to get as far in this game as I thought we were going to. We may, in fact, never, ever see David Duchovny during tonight's no. playthrough. I hate to say it, I just want to, to brace you for disappointment. We all want to see our boy, but I don't know if that'll be happening tonight. Is Well, I saw a rat, so I'm happy. Yeah, approach him. Where is it? Let me get my gun. No, no, no. And uh, you see the lock on the door? Why don't uh, we use our lockpick kit on it? Oh, I see what you're getting at. Um, I really can't believe I'm having to do this. <laughs> After five years at the Bureau, you should know better. I need your badge and gun. Way to go, Alex. I... I mean, that's one way to pick a lock. <laughs> Man, they got mad. They got so mad. But it was funny. Yeah, come on. This guy wasn't laughing. Well, he's fine. All right. Frick it. Do it by the book, I guess. I'm going to pretend you're not doing that. You don't want to know what I almost did. All right, and why don't we go in? All right, first thing it says is you must collect various items with your evidence kit. God, I love to collect various items. Me too. Hey, cool place. We can fix it up. Make a Let's life for ourselves. Let's check out the main floor. I'm going to take a look in there. 
Okay. Goodbye, Skinner. This guy got no sense of humor. Okay, so we're gonna need to go forward, right, forward, left, and look down. Jeez. Uh huh. Now click on the blood stain. Blood stain? Mm hmm. Oh. Now in inventory, click once on your evidence kit. And then okay. and, apply it. Um, hold on. Da, 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 da. Move the evidence kit. Yeah, click on it to collect the sample. Hardly. I hope he licks it. Eww. What game do they do that? Oh yeah, fucking Detroit Become Human. Fuck that game. Oh, I hated that game. The robot that tastes blood. I can't believe you made me play that just to watch oh, me get shot. mad at it. You played the whole thing. What do okay, we do now? Um, okay, it says uh, click the sample. After you port the skinner, look up and move the pointer over the post. Okay, um, hold on. We're examining the post. Okay, one second here. At the right until it becomes the eye pointer. Click twice to get a close up of a bullet. Oh, there you go. Ooh. And, um, evidence again, kit use it. the evidence kit. Yeah. I'm feeling like a real FBI guy. This stream will be used as evidence. Against who? <laughs> the people watching. <laughs> Okay, so we got the bullet. Um, yeah, lick yeah. bullet. After extracting the bullet, uh, go right, forward, right, and look at the floor left of center near bottom of screen. Whew. Okay. Yeah, I'm not using the black light on that alien. I don't even want to know. There Aha. it is. Now, um... Evidence Put the cigarette this? bud for a close-up and use your evidence kit on it. There you go. That's what that rat was smoking! <laughs> After getting the cigarette butt, go right, forward, forward, right, forward, left, and forward three times. Whew. These locations are big. They are. Activate your flashlight. Now, oh, look at this. Fancy. Continue four forward up the stairs to the second floor. Yeah. Oh, it's dark. Three. Four. Uh-huh. Click on the toolbox near the bottom of the screen. This one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Jalf is always smoking. <laughs> okay, you got the crowbar. Hmm. Now, go right. Uh huh. Two forward. Uh. Did you go right? Yeah. forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, look down at the crates. Always with the crates, these video games. Do we want to go forward into this? Uh, hold on. Uh, you went too forward and you look down the crates near the front door. Yeah. So there should be crates. And I do not see. Yeah, go forward and that should be it. I'll try that. Now, you may try to find crates in front of a door. There are the crates. See them? They're to the right. These? Yeah. Well, this phone is DOA. Ooh, who killed the phone? Okay, uh, go forward uh, four times. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, right. Two forward. And then look down, and that should be where the crates are. Okay, I see what happened. We found the crates! We found the crates, folks! Boy! 
This game is not that good in terms of start to crate. Must be said. Lure. 123190. Okay. Dare we open the crate? Um, it says click the crate for a close-up. Use your crowbar to open the crate. Oh, okay. This is the crate that killed that phone! It's the alien crate. Yeah. Check it out, it's loot boxes. <laughs> Mulder found a gotcha game where the gotcha was conspiracies. Oh, I just got reptoids again. <laughs> All right, now um, click the crate for a croquet. Da, da, da. Use the evidence kit to collect some of the black powder. Scoop it on up. Delicious. We gonna make a stew with all this? An evidence stew? Yeah. You shouldn't. I'm the FBI gourmand. <laughs> I process evidence by eating it. This this is kind of wonderful. Thank you, honey. Done. Okay, so you got the thing. Uh, go forward. Uh, to the barrels. Yeah, to the and then to the barrels and then turn uh, left. And then go straight. That should take you to the office. It's supposed to, I think. Yeah, I see the office there. Oh, it would be over yeah, here. Yeah, it would be there. And where's We're Skinner? In. Okay, go turn around. He should be in here somewhere. Skinner! There he is. There you are. Talk to Skinner. Look at all this evidence I got. Want to taste? So, yeah. Yeah. All ask uh, ask about all the evidence. So ask about all those little things up there. That blood worries me. That blood is troubling. It doesn't <laughs> look very good, does it? It is a lot Let's of blood. Let's have analyzed. No, it belongs to someone else. Okay. Hope this is not Chris's blood. I'll have some DNA tests run on the blood. I'll take a sample of the side crime lab in DC and have it analyzed. And mm -hmm. the black, black powder. powder. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? I don't know, but I suggest you minimize your contact with it until we have it analyzed. Oh, good thing I haven't been making it into a stew or anything. <laughs> that would be a that would be really bad. What do you think about this? It's a popular brand. Alright. Well, Skinner, I made it despite your directions. <laughs> <laughs> Why would Honestly. Mulder and Scully have called this location? I'm not sure, but it's the best lead we've got. The bullet passed through. The victim may only have been injured. And that's assuming they were only shot once. But I appreciate your optimism, Agent Walmore. Hmm. Yeah, what if they had a machine gun? If they were killed, where are the bodies? I doubt the killers would leave the bodies of two federal agents lying here for us to find. If they're dead, we'll probably never find them. Let's just hope that's not the case. <laughs> Now, if we delay any longer, we'll be lucky to find anything. Well, let's not delay. What are we doing next? Well, uh, next we're going forward seven. Seven, huh? Seven. Let's count them, folks. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Okay. And now right forward, left, and then open the door. Oh wow, boy. a free boat! See, it was worth it just to get this boat. So, first you go left. Oh, this is a looping animation. Yep. Well, hold up. Danny. We got to the boat. I don't want to lose this boat. Okay, let's not lose the boat. Yeah, this is the, the boat ending we're going exactly, towards. Exactly, Tori. FMV equals full maze video. Tammy. He had a gun. We wouldn't get in trouble. We're the FBI. You know how they work. Oh, I was hoping there was multiple failure videos for this. Like we'd be charged with a different crime every time. <laughs> had to try it. You can't blame me. Every single one of you would have done the same thing in my position. All right. 
to the left. Left. Forward. Right. Forward. Do we at least get to meet the rat? To right. To right. Forward. Left. Complicated. And, uh, talk to man. And use your FBI on the man. Use your FBI thing on the man. What if I talk to him first? Uh, it doesn't say what to do, but it says use your FBI badge on him first. And then you ask him, talk to him, and ask him all your questions. What's your name? Who's asking? Well, you better tell him. What's your name? Who's asking? I think we're at a standstill. You, you... All right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> oh, but it's the Jalian. You ever heard about the Jalian? Agent Wilmore, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Who's asking this gun? <laughs> I think he'll talk to us now. Yeah, let's let's talk. Um, so ask his name. What's your name? James Wong. Uh, and ask him all the questions. What can you tell me about that warehouse? Not much. It's a warehouse. I don't know. I just dock here. Yeah, they used to haul a lot of cargo in and out of there. Armed guards sometimes. Uh, lately it's been pretty quiet, which ain't too surprising, considering what's been going on around here. So what exactly is that? Fish been drying up. Uh, ask him about the fish. Fish, huh? Fish have been drying up, even though they're in the water. That Very is suspicious. So what's happened to the fishing? I don't know, but it's getting bad. Some folks say it's from overfishing. How long has this been going on? Long enough for a lot of guys to move on. Can't make ends meet. I'm thinking about it myself. Ah, oh, damn. This guy's gonna become a streamer. You noticed any unusual activity? Not really, just the fact the warehouse has been a lot quieter than usual. Boy, I tell you, switching from fishing to streaming, trolling has a whole new definition. <sighs> then I pull out my gun. <laughs> Danny, no! <laughs> been here this last week? Pretty much. You haven't seen or heard anything unusual? No, I try to get home by dusk, see my family. Thank you for the bands. I deserve it. Do we ask him about the other stuff? The blood? The black powder? Uh, no. Don't ask him about any of that. Okay. Tell me about your family. Tell me about your family. Why? I'm curious. Just want to know about your family, that's all. Okay. Wife. Little girl. How old's your daughter? Seven. Young for a man your age. I'm surprised. I eat a lot of fish. <laughs> Is your wife younger than you? Young enough to have a seven-year-old. How long have you been in this country? My accent give it away, huh? Ten, eleven years, maybe. Where you from, Mr. Wong? China. I left Canton in 1985. Hey, I... This guy might be a replicant. I don't... I don't, I'm suspicious. I, my, RF, no, you know who's suspicious? Our FBI agent who's asking him all these questions and it sounds like he's gonna, like, kill us. Yeah, like, about his family. Tell me about your family. What? Where are you from? It's like, whoa, whoa! I don't know. <laughs> How you. much Where's do you love lawyer? your family? Yeah, Wong should ask for a lawyer, because he didn't have an accent at all. What are we doing next? Okay, next. No, we're not kissing him there, but we are going to the front of the warehouse. So we're going to go left. Can we kiss him later? Maybe. Uh, forward. Oh, to left. God, I hate it that it makes you go all the way around this little dock area. Uh, that yeah, up. Sheesh. Um, forward. Eat left. the corn! Eat the corn! Eat the Eat corn! The corn. The left, left, honey. Do I put this in my evidence? This is anti-corn propaganda. Two forward. That's amazing. <laughs> Eat the corn. Uh, forward, right, and then forward again. Is this where the corn is? Now, uh, I'm gonna need to talk to you for a second. Sedan's been following okay. us since we left the field office. Ooh. Before we do anything, um. What you're going to need to do is you're going to go through this with him. We probably want to save. Save. Save 100%. It says to save in the thing. All right. Are we finally going to get some action? Yes, there is an action sequence. You're going to have to click your camera. Oh, 
my god. And snap a photo of the sedan as it speeds away. I just needed to tell you that. Okay. Thank you. So, um, go uh, talk to him, and then you're going to go forward once, which is going to get you into the camera snapping sequence. Who do you All think right. it is? Someone who's interested in what we're doing. What should we do about that car? I think that's your call, Agent Walmore. Let's blow it up. Just pull out your gun. Do you know about Mulder and Scully? It's possible. Why don't you go ask them? So go forward once. Wait, is this a looping animation? It is. Look at him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Mm -hmm. You gotta just... You gotta go forward. Do it. Come on. Yeah, grab your camera from below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Click it. Nice. I, I nice. Took a few. Nice. Great job. Thank Great you. job. Great job. Is that good enough? I think so. Okay. Let me check. Use your PDA to travel to the crime lab in Seattle. To the crime lab. Doodoo doodoo. Good work at the warehouse, Alex. Thank you. <laughs> or should I say Agent Alex? Aw. You've been upgraded. Uh, the thing is in Seattle, right? Yeah, it's at the crime lab. Crime lab. Also, the entire. I just want you all to know I have a new pair of glasses, and this entire time, it's been. They've been slipping down my face, so every few minutes I have to press them up. <laughs> oh, a new challenge. Yeah, I'm getting them fixed tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Mr. Wilmore. Good to see you. It's been a while. Hey, John, how have you been? Bored. I hope you have something real exciting for me. <laughs> me I'll too. Do my best. So, what have you got? Uh, uh, ask him any questions you want and talk so, to him about uh, everything. How's the wife? How's your wife? Ex, you mean? She's Ooh. good. She's taking the kids to her mom's for Easter. Yours? My wife? No, your ex-kids. Yeah, your wife. <laughs> good, I guess. We haven't really spoken in a while. Does this guy have a fake wife? Is that going to be a twist? He's being awful cagey about the wife. And also, what did that guy mean by ex-kids? <laughs> I, I get, I, I, I... Don't you owe me a dollar. Hey, don't you owe me a dollar? What a dick. <laughs> From what, that basketball game? No way, that crooked partner of yours cheated. Cook? He never cheated a day in his life. No, he cheated. Don't hold your breath over that buck. The boys in the crime lab are officially protesting. Oh, so I guess this guy isn't evaluating our uh, material now. You working on anything good? Nope. It's been very slow. I count on you FBI guys to keep my life interesting. Well, do I have some stuff for you, including... A blood, a bullet, a black powder, and a butt. Yep, give it all to the guy. No thanks, I'm trying to quit. That's very funny. Thank you. One Morley cigarette butt. I'll give it the once over. Now, we're not supposed to see the photo in here, right? Hmm? The photo we took, we're not offering that as oh, evidence? Oh, um, I don't think so, no. We're, okay. we're giving him the blood, the bullet, the black, and the black powder. What have we here? The they blood, are the flirting. bullet, the black powder, and the Morley. And those are, uh, that's actually the bullet, and then the, that than is this. the blood. I can tell you right now what this is. It's industrial grade lead. Lead? Yeah. Why lead? I don't know. It's uh, used for anything from... Weighing scuba divers to lining x-ray vests. Pretty common stuff. Is there any reason why someone would treat this like contraband? Nope. It's neither illegal nor sexy. There's no reason why anybody should want or need to smuggle it anywhere. I mean, I wasn't asking if it was sexy. You kind of... Okay, and now that pose? Are you kidding me? It is a little sexy. Do we, do we have to complete the dating sim part before we get the rest of our evidence? I like him better than Skinner. Yeah, true. And give He's at least way. a lot nicer to us. Finally, something that looks like evidence. Thought you boys had gone dumpster diving or something. One slug. Looks like a 38. It's not in very good shape. Standard stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah, I dug it out of a hunk of wood. You got it. 
I think it would be funny if we just submitted an entire dumpster as evidence. All right, Make him go some, through it. Yeah, the, give him the blood. Give, give him blood. blood. Is this blood? Very good. You got a target to match it to? Wow. I can tell you the blood type, but without a target for a DNA test, there's not much I can do. What's the case? A couple of missing FBI agents. We think the blood may belong to one of them. That's too bad. I suggest you have the Psy Crime Lab in DC run it. They could probably match it against the uh, current agent database pretty quickly. Yeah, they keep all their blood there. Okay. Take it to the blood bank. All right, so uh, why don't we go back to our field office? Okay. We can just probably uh, go via the PDA. Yeah, we can go Let's have a look PDA. around. Where, Where is JFK's, JFK's brain? brain? Dallas Theorist. There's discussion group every week. One of these weeks, you're going to find out where JFK's brain is. I hope we find it during the course of this game. Hey, so you've seen JFK's brain? Pretty I freaky. like this guy the best. I don't want to go. I yeah, know we have great. to go, but... We gotta go. We gotta take off and go back to the office. Ugh. All right, Seattle. Yeah, we gotta talk to Skinner. So oh, talk to Skinner. I know. I feel the same way. I hate that bastard. Okay, so we're gonna. This game really does feel like work. <laughs> it does, right? Like, turn right. Be in the meeting room and go in and talk to Skinner. It's still fun though. I'm having fun. Mm -hmm. I find this intriguing. I can't believe this kind of game was made on PS1. Uh, stuff like, uh, what was that, Ripper? That never came to PS1. That was DOS. Yeah, this is... I like this. Me too. I like this more than Ripper. Why were we being followed? I don't know, but whoever's involved in this case isn't afraid of the FBI. There could be an underworld connection. What do we tell them about? Fisherman? Black Powder? Um, we're good. we can talk about anything we want. You think Wong is involved? I don't know. Did you get the sense that he knew more than he was telling you? He's definitely hiding something. Was he? I, I didn't no, get that. Not. I didn't get that sense at all. But then again, I'm not FBI. FBI. You think the blood belongs to one of your agents. Racing. I can't rule it out. But I'll wait for the test results before making a determination. I suggest you do the same, Agent Wilmore. Yeah, we're still on disc one somehow. Jesus this Christ. is a four disc game. They made the world's longest game. Just for you. Is there any connection with the decline in fishing? I don't see any obvious connection. Board fishing isn't a federal offense. It should be. What do you think that powdered lead is being used for? I don't know. That one has me really stumped. It could be a byproduct of weapons manufacture. I suggest you conduct a little research. A.D. Skinner, you've got a call on line one. This is Skinner. I understand. Who was it? Tell us. <laughs> I have to go back to Washington immediately. I'll take some of the blood back to the lab in D.C. for analysis. I want you to begin surveillance on that warehouse tonight. Cool, we'll split the blood. These two agents are very important to me. Oh, he loves them. He does. He wants to know if they ever get romantically involved. Everyone wants to know. Okay, so exit this room. Well, save, yes. Tell you what I'll do. So I'll make a new save here. Because I still don't know if I did the camera thing right. I think you did. I think I did too. But just to be extra safe. All right, exit here. Probably, yeah. Turn around again. Or... Stick your face in the fan. <laughs> Go out. That's one of the weirder deaths in this game. You died from having no face after sticking it in the fan. Okay, I'm at the exit. Okay, turn, turn. Go forward one. Mm -hmm. And then turn uh, left. And that should take you to your office. All right, ah, sit at your desk. Home sweet home. Back hey, Kyle, how's it going out there? Oh, oh it's Judge God, Ryan it's Hall. Judge Ryan You're sucking up to Skinner appropriately. All right. Uh, talk to Cook using any dialogue path. I learned how to suck up from you, remember? <laughs> well, I learned how to suck up from you, remember? Oh, yeah, right. What's Skinner like? This is flirting. This is flirting. We should talk about uh, some guy's tight ass. Yes. Kind of a tight ass. 
Hmm. Well, I'm sure he's torqued about his missing people. Torqued? Hey, listen. If you need anything, you just let me know, okay? Thanks, man. What's with the laptop? No, oh, Scully's. It's password protected. You want me to call Computer Crimes Division and see what they can do? Uh, do yes. All right, let's have them do it. Sure. You got it. No problem. Okay, why don't we turn on our computer and do a search for poor Mr. Wong, who has done nothing wrong, I want to say. Why did he give the laptop a lustful look? I can understand giving to us the look, but man. The sexy laptop. Wants to fuck everything. All right, we're going to go in on this poor fisherman. Uh, go to ING. Uh, type in the name. James, go to name. See if you can. Yeah, go to James Wong. There you go. And then go to criminal search database. Ooh. I just want to say I fully fucking object to this. He's a criminal, is he? From Houston. I love him. Dishonorably discharged. Oh, that's not so bad. And then he hit someone. And then he, he robbed someone. someone. He did a robbery. And then he did another robbery. I love this robber! <laughs> he possessed stolen property. I love this robber! Everyone be nice to him! Then he possessed more stolen property, and there was a mistrial. He's good! Wow, no this way! Guy's, this guy's lucky. He got off real easy these, these last few cases. Yeah, he actually really did. What are we doing here? Okay. Um, all right, so we found out that, um, now, uh, go back to photo. Mm hmm Now, um, Oh, I did photo, get it. Excellent. Click, oh, click photo. Click download to get the picture from your camera. Clip thumbnail that shows the sedan license for an enlargement. Okay, so click on that where it says 240 EAK. Hold up. Hold up. I took a few of these. There we go. Yeah. Now we push. Uh... Okay, let's go to ING now. Wait, hang on. 240 EAK. Mm -hmm. And then go to vehicle license number. And you can probably figure out what it's going to do now. Oh. Um, so complex for a console Government game. military search database. There you go. I'm feeling like a real a real guy here, a real investigator guy. Yeah, this is some. I actually like this gameplay. Uh, Restricted, a. Eh? Exit the office. And now you need to go to the dockside warehouse. Before you go there, I need to read this to you because two forty ekit. <laughs> yeah, go on. Because I don't. I'm having problems parsing this, so it okay. says. Dockside warehouse. A car arrives. Don't leave hiding until men enter the warehouse and close the door. Oh, I see it now. Okay. So don't leave from hiding until men enter the warehouse and close the door in the next place you go. Because we've got another warehouse maze. Let's go back to the warehouse. Y'all ready for another warehouse? No, I actually hate it. Where is it? It's in Everett. No, it's go back. Sorry. It's not in Everett. I'm dumb. Uh, there yeah. you go. Seattle. Sorry, I thought it was an Everett. There you go. Now you say the thing we should do is pop out and let the guys know we're there. No, do not do the opposite of that. You got it. Did the show have a lot of warehouses? Okay. That tracks. Warehouses are easy to find. Hey, guys. Danny. I made Did it. Say I'm here. Holy shit! Ah. You got hell murdered. I sure did, in record time. Wow. I didn't even find out what happened to me. So something's going down here. Something bad. Just instant death. You saved before the 240 eek, right? I mean, after the 240 eek search. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, cool. All right, uh, let's go to the the dockside warehouse again. Okay, and this time wait for the video to play out. I had to know. Yeah, I, I, I don't blame you. 
Anyways, you're really fucking dead. I was so dead. Hey guys, I... No, I'm not gonna do it again. I don't know why I turned into Sonic the Hedgehog there. Well, it's his birthday! <laughs> He's 30! Hey guys, it's my birthday! <laughs> Turn the big 3-0! Ah! I'm really blue now! Okay, so that loop's done. Yeah. Go forward. Right. Two forward. Ooh, we're sneaking. This is sneaking music. Left. What a nice shot this is. God, that this is This is a pretty. PS1 game. You can't be making pretty shots like this for a PS1 game. Forward. Left. Are we going to lease this warehouse? Open the door. Oh, use your lockpick on the lock. Oh, okay. Cool lockpick. And go inside. We've been called the master of unlocking. <laughs> oh, yeah, we still haven't eaten the corn. Gotta eat the corn. Okay, so... Flashlight, I guess? Um... It actually doesn't even say about that. Uh, but go um, right. Mm -hmm. Forward. Oh, yeah. Left. And forward. Forward. Click your binoculars for a close up of the suspicious activity. Ooh, okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We're snooping. This game does a great job of putting you right in the action. I wouldn't have expected that from just some spin-off of the X-Files, but here we are. A game actually doing interesting things. Then again, I hardly ever play adventure games, so what do I know? I mean, there were some really interesting ones out there. Okay, so um, next... I'm going to go ahead and save again. Don't want to end up sleeping with the fishes. No, you don't. Okay, so, um, go forward. Hang on. Yeah. Left. Forward. Right. Right. And then look down. Now, um, click the spot on the, and see the, uh, you're going to see the blood stain. Now, click the spot on the left of the stain. You should automatically open something up. The left of the stain, you say. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, uh, did it open anything? Yes, it did. Okay, good. Um, uh, ex open and examine the empty compartment. Oh, wait, hold up. Actually, it was just this. Oh, I can't even tell it. what this is. I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay. So nothing opened up. Yeah. Okay, so... Mm. Oh, wait, hang on. This. You found it. A true pixel hunt. Nice, good job. They call me the pixel hunter. I've killed millions of pixels. Okay. Um, you automatically examine an empty compartment, uh, and now you can use your PDA to go to your apartment in Seattle. Hey, all right. Finally, some shut-eye. Jeez, what a day. Oh, this part sounds good. Does it? Yes. Well, we had a good day digging around in the dark at the warehouse. Now it's back to the old apartment. Let me just, let me just, I'm going to guess that we save here. Yeah, it's not a bad idea to save. Okay. I have no idea what I'm walking into here. Your apartment. Just go on in? Mm-hmm. Oh, alien. Oh, that's just us. Okay, go forward. <laughs> the fuck is this place? This place Come sucks. On. This is like a typical Reddit. Me? This is like... This is like Reddit men's... Where are you going? Are you trying to look around? I just wanted to look around. I'm sorry. It's okay. Why this don't you look around? Place. Then? Look at this. This is bullshit. 
<laughs> Forward. Uh, Kitty? turn on the... Oh, bear. that's a bear. <laughs> Punch the bear. Turn on the TV. It's a different cop show! People are crazy in this world. This is the kind of TV they watch. It's ridiculous. Right. So, you looked at the TV. Uh, I looked at the bear. Go left. Can you look at those? Nah. Go left again. Okay, to the left. Mm -hmm. And then go to the left again. Mm -hmm. uh, look at the shit on your sofa. Or your futon, that actually is. <laughs> you believe this shit? This is such a men's apartment. Complaint for divorce. Huh, wonder who that's for. <laughs> You're a divorced man. Is this just a really complicated way to tell me on stream that I'm divorced? <laughs> You serve me virtual Honestly, divorce papers. this would be the smartest way to do it, but I wouldn't want to do it. Then you I... just instantly cut stream. That would be the best ending to Retro Files ever. Honey, I will never... Do... It would, but I will never do it. I hate filing my taxes independently. Yeah, yeah this looks like a lot of work. Absolutely We not. better stay married. Ah, oh, divorced on 20 November, Bimani Day. <laughs> oh, no! 20 November. She said it was either Beat Mania or her. I made my choice. <laughs> Well, that's your divorce papers. Good. Glad to be reminded of that. Um. All right. Why don't we go? Let's see. Turn left and go through the hallway to the bedroom. Oh, okay. I think that's the hallway to the bedroom. Can I ride my bike around the apartment? God, I wish. That should be your bedroom. Or is that the front door? It looks like the front door to me. It was the front door. Fuck you. Thing. I got lost in my own apartment. All right, go back to your apartment. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got lost in my own apartment. Okay. So go in. <laughs> no DJ Nagari OPF. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I wanted was a cabinet of every single Beat Mania game. That's all the five key mixes, all the 2DXs. Uh,. Yeah, she ended up taking all this shit out of the house and leaving. All right, turn left. That thing over there should be the door. Yeah, that should be it. See it? Do you see it? Do you see the door? Yeah. Cool. Now try to go in that way. I want to see if there's stuff I can look at. Doesn't seem to be. Well. Oh, that's not the way? I guess not. I guess not. Ah, I get such beautiful. a bad vibe from that. It's fine. It's high art. Why is he drinking Aquafina? <laughs> More product placement. It's baby. There's your baby. It's gone now. Oh. Well, it's not dead. He's just, you know. There was a baby here. Oh, oh man, this is depressing. <laughs> this is really sad. <laughs> Dude's just sitting there weeping. <laughs> this is this game is getting too divorced for me, please. Okay, that's the hallway, I bet. Okay. Now turn. We'll find this door by a process of elimination. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. What is this? <laughs> All right. I love J. Edgar Hoover so fucking much. What woman wouldn't want to live here? <laughs> like, no wonder. That looks like a bed. Okay, so. Uh, okay, uh, look at the FBI ties on the dresser. FBI You're... ties on the dresser. I'll find those eventually. Oh, My man. My sock monkey. That's My all big your chief shit. tablet. Oh, memories. This is sad, honestly. This is sad. I found the bed. Okay, look at the dresser. The dresser. Yeah, yeah other side. This one. Yeah. Dear journal, today I was sad again. Uh huh, he's frustrated. Protracted legal battle. Okay, there's something else on the dresser you need to click on, but yeah. yeah something but about journal. Patriots, April Fool's Day. God, this guy never shuts up. He's kind Get of a, a live leader. journal. <laughs> Video Game King says the X Files. <laughs> Good. Yeah, go back. 
Is there anything you can, else you can click on there? I guess not. It says I'm supposed to look at FBI ties, but I don't know where that is. Let me look behind me. Like the FBI ties are on the, oh, maybe they're in there. Hello, FBI ties. Where are you hiding? Well, it says, I'll read to you what it says. It says, yeah. look at the FBI ties on the dresser, then browse through the journal on the nights. Oh, there they are. Found them. Is that it? I've looked at the FBI ties. Is that it? You don't? Which tie to you says FBI? I think uh, this one. That one is definitely FBI vibes. Now we can look at the journal. Wow, this dude loves the Ramones. Holy shit. That's like all their albums. <laughs> He sure does. Okay, so you did that, you did that. Uh, click on the bed to go to sleep. Oh, I'm reading the journal now, just to be... Just to just to make this complete. Okay. If you want to read your journal uh, in the stream archive, you can go frame by frame. Or record it on your VCR and push pause a bunch. Oh, classic technique. Let's save before I sleep, in case I die in my sleep somehow. <laughs> Dude just forgets how to breathe. Hey, it could happen to you. All right. You sh After Ooh. this, you have to go to the bathroom. What a freaking day. You got to wake him up and go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. It well, happens. I guess, we, I guess we can't have him piss the bed. Wow. I have no idea which way the bathroom is, but oh, yeah, keep turning. Jeez, I got to go. I got to go so bad. Where's the bathroom? Oh, man. Come on. I hate when I get lost in my apartment. This isn't the bathroom. This is the closet. Okay, leave there. There it there is. There it is. Oof. Look in the mirror. More Ramones. More freaking Mar Ramones. <laughs> Ramones, indeed. That's what we call Ramones fans. <laughs> That's Wait a minute. beautiful. Wait a minute. That mirror had a family. <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> what crime was committed? That's really good. <laughs> Lifeline lied to me. You shouldn't I... shoot the mirror. Well, shit. Okay. Um, now we need to use our PDA to go to the field office. Should I brush my teeth first? Oh, he's using Tom's of Maine toothpaste. What a fancy. And yet you're using Colgate. I see. How much did Tom's pay you? <laughs> Let's get that Tom sponsorship. You said we have to use the toilet? No. Oh. We had to go to the bathroom in the sense we had to go into the bathroom, not use the bathroom. I see. And we did it by looking in the mirror. So we're good to go. We just needed fast travel to the field office. Give ourselves a good look. Yep. Looking, looking good. Bad. Don't shoot yourself in the mirror. If you kill people in the mirror universe, that's a real murder in the real universe. This freaking game. I don't understand this game's logic. Where are we going? Um, we are going to our field office in Seattle. Somehow. Somehow this is still disc one. We've spent an entire day on the job going to multiple warehouses, interviewing people, going to and from the field office. Yeah, we opened fire on an innocent doppelganger. <laughs> I think our goal tonight is just to beat disc one. I'd be happy if we did that. The game's like 50 times longer than I thought it would be. The long play's like three hours. Must be slouchy working his magic. All right. Um, oh, uh, we need to go. Let's go to our office. Okay. So for No. Sorry, I'm so used to it now. Go forward left sit at your desk Ugh, i hate mondays get out of your desk but, hey get uh turn turn again you need to get out of your office and you need to go to cook's office oh okay yeah go out i just sat down i know i know but they didn't say where to go to do this so i'm assuming it's cook's office turn hang on Winners don't use drugs. Go in here. Can we use Cook's computer? 
Look at this nerd. What's this Maybe nerd he's shit? in the meeting room? You got a freaking scorpion and some amber? What are you gonna do, revive it? Jurassic Park was fiction, dude. Scorpions aren't real. Tape! Tape! Yeah, here we go. Oh, I won't I'm gonna let steal you. all his tape and put it on my face. <laughs> Beautiful. I appreciate a game full of detail. This game is so chock full of detail. That's why we're taking so long. So maybe he's in the meeting room, but what you have to find Cook. It doesn't say where he is, but it says... All Cook right, he's, he's somewhere, so I'll go down this hallway and then turn to the left. Yeah, maybe he's in the meeting room. Cook. Anybody? Aliens? Jalians? Okay, so here's what it says to do. Yeah. Click on... It says, use your PDA travel to the field office. And then it says, click on Cook. <laughs> Where is he? That's a fun task for you to figure out. Maybe in the evidence room? Yeah, go go that way. Try in there. Maybe... Yeah, open that up. Cook! You in here? Is that a okay, note from Cook? Okay, so he's supposed to just automatically show up, so we may be in a Walking Dead scene. Oh no! Oh no! Because, yeah, he's supposed to just show up and you're supposed to just, like, click on him. Or maybe not. Let's... There's... I guess we could... I can still have a look around. Yeah. That's so funny. Mr. Shanks. Meredith's service. Good job hmm. with the service, Shanks. Good shank and service. I still don't know yeah, where I'm going. I don't know either. Um, I Unfortunately, it says that you're supposed to do all of this before you even see your office. So, Crap. Do we have to meet him at McDonald's or something? No. Did we agree to that and I just forgot? That happens to me a lot. Yeah, go, go, go out and go in again. Maybe that'll do it. Okay. Guys... Is the whole damn FBI going missing? First we lost those two guys, and now Cook and what's-his-face are gone? Yeah, field office. Crime lab. Or crime lab, okay. Crime lab guy. And at least there doesn't seem to be a timer on this. Yeah. Something like Dracula Unleashed would have you do this on a timer. It was the worst. It feels like... That's what it feels like, though. It feels like we're in the wrong time in Dracula Unleashed, so no one's around to, mm -hmm. to tell us what to do. No one's here to help. Yeah, try again. Back at the field office. Here we go. It worked that time? Or oh. not. <laughs> okay. So what's supposed to happen is Cook is supposed to be either dead or something and you revive him. Uh. Well. And then there's a whole sequence with the laptop. Well, sorry, Cook. If you're dead, I ain't seeing you. Yeah, what the fuck? What does this say? Does that you say have gamer? to go back to bed again? We have to sleep another day. Well, it's nighttime, so it's too early. Oh, really? Yeah, it's night. Did we have to sleep twice? It didn't say that. It said... Did we really just wake up in the middle of the night to go pee, and instead of going pee, we left to go to the office? <laughs> this fucking guy, get your shit together. All Ever right, since Chad's he got saying, divorced. let's go back to bed and try All right, again. yeah, let's go back to bed. Classic mistake. You wake up to go to the bathroom and then you just get dressed for work. Yeah, it's definitely nighttime. We should be sleeping more. Let's see if we can find the bedroom again. Okay, how do we find this this time? Okay, turn again. There it is. Yeah, last time that door tricked uh -huh. us. Ah, I took a shortcut. I don't nice. know about this one. This isn't the kind of game that we usually play, but I'm having fun showcasing this at least once. I still have to decide if we want to go the distance with this, though. It's 
it's a tougher nut to crack than I anticipated. I really thought we'd do this in one stream. Okay, here's hoping this is normal now. Try again. Let's go to the field office and see if that worked. I wouldn't bother looking at yourself. You're fine. If that's literally what happened, I'm going to laugh. I will laugh and laugh. He just woke up in the middle of the night to go. Well, no one found Mulder and Scully because some guy got lost on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> they slept through an entire workday. That's total FBI vibes. That's though. something I would do. No, wrong yeah, place. Wrong yeah. place. Yeah, this is not a one-stream game for sure. No, it isn't. Hey, <laughs> Hey, look! we did it! We found him! We, we found, found him. him! There he is! We found Mulder. Mission oh. accomplished. The stream's mission has been accomplished. We have found Mulder. Turns out he was hiding on the disc 2 insert prompt the entire time. It's the last place you ever expect <laughs> to it. look, you know? When we killed ourselves in the mirror, we reloaded before we went to sleep. That was why. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, I like my I like my explanation better when we woke up in the middle of the night. Just to go for a nice little walk. So, Alex, why don't you push F6? Are you sure? Yes, I'm, I'm so sure. Afraid. I'm giving you permission to push the fun the function keys. The fun key. Wait, actually. What? I just pressed it. What what? Press F8. Okay. Okay, good. Now push F6. Now push F8. Did we do it? Did we do it? We did it! Disc two! Disc two, baby! I think we'll finish things up. There with... he is! Oh my god! We found him! <laughs> oh, so he's not dead. <laughs> hey, did you get the did you get the number of that bus? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna live. Unfortunately. Wow. Shanks gets a hold of me. Well, we better see if anything's missing. Why don't you go to the evidence cabinet? I see you've also been on a weird night walk. <laughs> All right, now you got to go to the evidence cabinet and okay. uh, see if anything's missing from it. Oh, his laptop is missing. Ooh. That's your phone. And now you gotta go to your office and answer the phone. Oh, can't he get it? He... Uh, I guess he's like dying or something. Yeah, he's dead. That's, yeah, wrong office. <laughs> Do you know where my office is? Can you help me find it? That's, that's his office. Hold up. I gotta save because it's disc two. Oh, okay. Yes, please save. Please, if we ever come back save. to this. We are going to be on disc two. Still haven't really decided. I've enjoyed some of this game. Some of it was weirdly difficult to navigate. I just worry it'll be too frustrating for Alex to try and parse a weirdly written walkthrough while I play this bizarre game. I'm okay with it. I just need to adjust my glasses so that I don't have to keep pushing them up. I think we should put him out of his misery. I, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I like that he just is like, no, honey, no. But what if we... Don't do that. I, I'm sorry. Okay. You may want to answer that phone. All right, I'll answer the damn phone. Just instantly snaps out of it. <laughs> I got this. It's a shortcut. Yeah. It's a very quick shortcut. Very easy. <laughs> Had to walk around him. He's taking up the whole damn hallway. There you go. Now answer your phone. Oh, and give him the Jillian's book next time. That just sounds fun. You're not supposed to, but it... <laughs> While the phone is ringing, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take my eyes open and make a funny voice when I talk into the phone. Hello, tape man speaking. Is this uh, Agent Wilmore? Yes. Agent Wilmore, this is Agent Pendrel of the Psy Crime Lab in DC. Uh, I've completed the preliminary analysis of the blood sample from your office. <sighs> I'm afraid I got some bad news. It looks like that blood belongs to Agent Scully. Oh, Jesus. Are you certain? Fairly. I mean, a more detailed analysis will confirm it, but I'm pretty sure that's Scully's blood. So at the very least, we know she's been injured. 
Um, was there much blood at the scene? Yeah. Uh, special guest star, Eminem. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks for the call. Sure. If uh, anything changes, I'll let you know. Sure. No problem. Oh, Agent Wilmore? Yeah. Keep me informed, okay? All right. Thanks. Sincerely, your number one fan, Stan. More good news. That fisherman you interviewed yesterday, he's just been shot to death. What? Uh, ask him all the questions. So? What happened to you? I came in early to catch up on your work, and someone jumped me. Why would they take Scully's laptop? Why did they only take Scully's laptop? You got me. Shanks is gonna be furious. And not to mention Skinner. Oh, now there's something to look forward to. First they disappear, then we lose his prize agent's confidential records. I don't know what you're involved in, but someone's got some big brass ones in order to steal equipment from an FBI field office. You're telling me. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they killed the best character, Wong, off screen. What a shame. How did you know about Wong? What? How did you know I went to see Wong yesterday? You told me. Hey, I was the one hit on the head, remember? I don't think we told him. Mm hmm I told you about Wong? I just forgot, I guess. Did you see who hit you? Nope. Whoever did it was real quiet. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I know okay. what I gotta do. You think later there's a side quest to get a new role? Well, there's a lot that happens after this, so do you want to save it for the next time? I'll probably save it for next time. Okay. Is the guy still hanging around the office, though? I want to see. Can we, can we yell at him? You're sitting up now? You feeling good? Where'd he go? Did you just leave? You can't just take a Bullshit. half day, even though you got knocked out at the office. This is America, damn it. Finish your shift. Hell. If you can bleed, you can lead the shift. <laughs> Just in theory, when was the next, uh, the next uh, part? The next place to? was the Dockside Warehouse. Is there anyone there we can shoot? Yes. All right, let's do it. Folks, we're finishing up our look at the X-Files for Are PS1. Don't know if you're going to want to shoot this guy. I'm but... definitely going to want to shoot whoever this okay. is. It's Officer. There we go. Speed run completed. <laughs> Thank you for saving before. Whew. Good work, Alex. Thank you. Everyone give Alex a hand for guiding me through this extremely strange and complex video game for the PS1, The X-Files. We finished disc one. We found where Mulder is. He was uh, hidden at the end of disc one in the, the change disc message. The rest of the game... I don't know when we'll get to this. I may just sit on this for a while. This could be a rare treat to return to. We may end up doing a disc like every month or something. But I think that's a decent look at the X-Files for PS1. A game that's intrigued me for a really long time. And you know what? You know what? It's way better than Fox Hunt. Oh, hold on. Huh? Wow! It just restarted. Wow! <laughs> the game was like, shut up, Danny. Here's a rat. No, no. Well, I'm glad to see the rat again, but I'm, it's going away now. Goodbye. The, the X-Files for PS1. Uh, check it out. I know I'll be finishing it. Maybe not immediately, but at some point. I'm intrigued. It's better than Fox Hunt. It's better than Psychic Detective, which I don't think we've even shown on this stream. This seems like a real video game. It's got procedurals. It's got acting. Like, decent acting, too. Not, like, mind-blowing, but, you know, things were communicated. Mm -hmm. You can understand them. There was a plot. Wow. Hello, everyone. It's Monday. It's time for Multimedia Monday, and we are going to play a PS1 game today on the show. That's right. We're breaking all the rules. We're making new rules to replace the old ones. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to see more of the X-Files for PS1 after we uh, streamed a showcase a couple Wednesdays ago. Yeah. And I think Multimedia Monday is just the venue for that. What do you think, Alex? I think it's perfect because this game is extremely multimedia. Yeah. It features... You find it's a point-and-click adventure FMV game, so it 
it fits perfectly. Mwah. Thank mm-hmm. you, X Files. Also, I've seen some of the X Files now, so I can actually add tidbits or whatnot. Oh yeah, yeah. You can you can add your insight. I I've see. seen exactly one episode of the X Files after we played the game. It was the one with uh, <laughs> Gary Shandling. Gary Shandling, where they make the X Files the movie. I, that episode was really good, and and uh, I I love I love the Gary Shandling D- David Duchovny fucking dynamic. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, it's. Yeah, I love that that plot line uh, just carries over between the Larry Sanders show and the (laughs) X-Files. One second, it looks like our cat wants out. I'll I'll let her out. Alex, why don't you uh, thank the folk? Oh, yes. Thank you so very much to Itinerant Soldier for the 10-month resub. Thank you so much. Uh, Let's see. Chat says, I don't know where the truth is. Listen, have you checked your pockets? Because that happened to me once. And, and and it was right there. It it's was always really the last place you yeah. left it. Where'd you leave the truth? Mm, try the, sometimes, one time I actually left the truth in the freezer. It was really <laughs> embarrassing. I left my truth in the medicine cabinet. That happens uh, whenever I go to some guy's place for a party. I just, I always end up leaving the truth in the medicine cabinet. I got to call up the next morning and be like, hey, you seen my truth? Thank you to Nukitsune for the two month resub. The truth is that rats are rad. And I mean, you're not wrong. Larry Sanders' lifestyle determines his death style. (laughs) What does that mean? Thank you, PC98 Jr. Oh, we love... Oh, boy, we're off to a... We love Larry Sanders, we love Metallica, and we love (laughs) the X-Files for PS1. So why don't we continue? Uh, Last time around, we finished up the entirety of Disc 1. I thought we would play through all four discs of this game in a single stream. Boy, was I a dumbass. Uh, we'll get through probably disc two this time around. I have no idea if the, the subsequent discs are any longer than the uh, the previous one. Mm-hmm. There he is. There's the star of the show. Let's turn the audio on here. Sips. I hope the cigarette smoking rats in this one. Oh, he is. <laughs> Thank you, JoeBush.net 23 month resub. I hope we get to see either Mulder or Scully today. Honestly, who knows? That's the goal. Okay, t- so to catch you all up, uh, this is the intro to the game that we saw last time. Agents Mulder and Scully, the stars of the show. Uh, we don't see a single bit of them during the game. No. Right at the start of the game, uh, you see here, this is the event leading up to the game. They go missing. Mm-hmm. They're here in this this warehouse, which we later have to traipse around all uh, 50 squares of it. God, it felt like we were just navigating that warehouse forever. God, we, we got lost. And even at the end of disc one, we did not find neither hide nor hair of Agent Scully and Mulder. They're gone. They're just still missing. Will we find them this disc? Um, well, no. <laughs> but we're working towards the final disc, which is where they finally reappear at some point, apparently. Thank you, Shaxer, for the 49 months. Welcome back, pals. Any corn left? No, because <laughs> all of you ate it. And thank you for eating the corn. I forgot that. Yeah, last time we unraveled the corn conspiracy, which is to say we found some graffiti that said, eat the corn and and we kind of lost our minds my mind is still lost oh boy let's go ahead and watch the the intro to this show one last time put you back in that 90s mindset i want one of those toys i don't want one of those toys i want one of the oh no i don't what are they doing are those kiwis are those like geoducks like what is that i think that's a gold duck the evolved form of psyduck <laughs> Oh, yeah, and we found that wonderful motel receptionist who I love. Oh, yeah, and we watch TV. TV is the most deranged thing in this universe. (laughs) I wonder everyone's gone crazy. It's just Keystone Cops 24-7. Very cool. Truth is out there, and we're going to find it. Charles, okay, I watched the Charles Nelson Riley episode. That one was really good. That was the one with the Jalian. Of the X-Files? Yes. Wow. Okay, last time around, we stopped at right at the beginning of Disc 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we made a little bit of progress, but I didn't save it, so you can go ahead and resume your walkthrough at the very start of Disc 2. Cool, cool. I've got to load it up along with another walkthrough. <laughs> Why don't you hit <laughs> F8? Okay, hold on. F8. Mm-hmm. F6. F6. And F8. F8. We're back in business. So, we went back to the office after a good night's sleep. We found our buddy just laying here. He got knocked out or something. I think our next step is to, like, uh... Go to your office and answer the phone. Uh, I think this is Oh, this isn't our office. office. Yeah. I gotta get my bearings again. It's okay. This place is extremely confusing, and they'll just keep calling, I think. This game is basically a Souls-like. It's a Mm -hmm. little bit, uh, more difficult to navigate. Than previous Souls games. 
Am I in the same room? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm getting okay. lost in my own fucking but now office. Now you're out. Now turn that way. Go forward. There's a forward here. Is there a forward? There? I guess there's just no, it leads right back into the office. <laughs> All right, we're cool. It's fine. We're not trapped in an <laughs> FBI field agent office. I'm already lost. I took one step and I'm okay, lost. Okay, you're in that way. Okay, we're going in this way. All right, what? There we go. I see. The old two exits from the office trick. The truth really is out there. Oh, did we discover this? I think we did, but not. it's not a bad idea to discover it again. Rediscover the X-Files. <laughs> That's what I'm doing by watching it. I've been playing Power Wash Simulator and, and uh, watching the X-Files. Now I'm getting my bearings there back. There you go. This is the room. Wish I could power wash Mulder and Scully. <laughs> They're filthy. They are. All right, now you got to answer your phone. Oh. Cool. Wow. I like that guy. I want to be that. Mm. And then you have to press triangle. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. You got to sit at your desk, and there you go. Is this uh, Agent Wilmore? Turn it up on our end. Agent Wilmore, this is Agent Pendrel of the Psy Crime Lab in D.C. Uh, I completed the preliminary analysis of the blood sample from your office. <sighs> I'm afraid I got some bad news. It looks like that blood belongs to Agent Scully. Oh, Jesus. Are you certain? Fairly. I mean, a more detailed analysis will confirm it, but I'm pretty sure that's Scully's blood. So at the very least, we know she's been injured. Yeah, this uh, is Todd Howard. Was there mm. much blood at the scene? Yeah, a fair amount. Not as bad as it looks. Yeah, okay. Thanks for the call. Sure. If uh, anything changes, I'll let you know. Sure. No problem. Oh, Agent Wilmore? Yeah. Keep me informed, okay? All right. Thanks. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> Big Blue Eight Queequeg? I know who More Queequeg is. That fisherman you interviewed yesterday? He's just been shot to death. Uh, I have been turning the audio up. I keep turning it up. It's a little bit uh, quiet. Everyone's very mumbly in this game. Yeah. How do I know Queequeg? I've never seen the X-Files. Did I just kind of culturally absorb that? Mm -hmm. It was a little dog that got ate by a monster. Okay. What happened to you? So? What happened to you? I came in early to catch up on your work, and someone jumped me. This looks like okay, a good volume let, let for me, speech. Let me, let, me, uh, let me get to where we were here. I was just adjusting the audio. Okay, ask him every question. Just keep asking. Why did they only take Scully's laptop? You got me. Shanks is going to be furious. And not to mention Skinner. Oh, now there's something to look forward to. First they disappear. Then we lose his prize agent's confidential records. I don't know what you're involved in, but someone's got some big brass ones in order to steal equipment from an FBI field office. Someone broke into this office, stole the equipment, and knocked out our good buddy here. Did it's you see who hit you? Did you see who hit you? Nope. Whoever did it was real quiet. A real scumbag who would want to hit me in the back of the head. How did you know about Wong? What? How did you know I went to see Wong yesterday? He told me. Hey, I was the one hit on the head, remember? Hmm, did we tell him about Wong? I told you about Wong? Guess you just forgot. I just forgot, I guess. All right, so uh, now you need to use your PDA to fast travel to the Dockhouse Warehouse. Dockside Warehouse, not the Dockhouse, in uh, Seattle. Okay. Big Brass Ones, you know. The Ones. There's one important part you didn't mention, Alex. This is the most important okay, part. Okay, yeah, you got to do this. By now, we've taped like 50 pieces of tape to our face. <laughs> It's also, not reflected in the FMV, but... <laughs> also, let me know if the audio is easier to hear now. I've got it turned uh, pretty far up. Yeah, we got to check out our public displays of affection. <laughs> yeah, big brass dollars. Yeah, I didn't do it this time, but curiously, every time you point your gun at that guy, he says, don't do that. Everyone else in the game, you can just shoot them and they don't say anything. And then you get arrested. Before the show, though, I wanted to force my way through it to see if you could shoot him. And if you try hard enough, yes, you can shoot him. And you get the uh, the same FMV ending of you Ooh. getting into the police lineup. I wish they had more. I wish they had more FMV endings. There's quite a few of them. 
Ooh, thank you so much to Proxy Glitch Cat. 29 month resub. 20 whole nines. That's 20 X Files until a few years ago. <laughs> the thank math you. checks out. Thank you. All right, we are going to the Dockside Warehouse in Seattle. Fancy. Beautiful Seattle warehouses. That's what they're best known for. All right, that's Officer Mendoza, and you got to show them your badge. Sorry, Chief. Crime scene. No civilian. Sorry, crime scene. Oh, you think I'm a civilian? Whoa, since when can I control the window when it's clicked away? You, uh, Whoa. since last time. Magical. Mm-hmm. Hey, guess what? Hey, come on in. All right. Congratulations, See, like a bouncer. I don't know what you were doing, but you just warranted the involvement of the federal government. Lucky you. Wow, he seems excited. So oh, we used the gun last time. We found out what happens when you use the gun last time. That's how we closed out uh, last time's stream. Um, thank you, Arpagot, for 22 months. Oh, thank you. So glad to see more of the X-Files extravaganza. Aww. You love the pals and FMV? How unlikely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hey, everybody, you see my badge? I don't want that. You do need to talk to the guy on the right, though. <laughs> but John C. Riley. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. How about you, the corpse? No, I don't think he wants that either. Should we punch him? I would prefer we don't. Do you want to know what to do next? Shoot the corpse? No, honey. Honey. <laughs> I'm going to make this as difficult for Alex as possible. <laughs> Wait a minute. I Why didn't did you open the PDA? Back. Why did I open the PDA? Because you want to do a PDA with the corpse. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> Anyways, talk to the medical examiner on the right. Okay. So what we got here? So what have you got? Well, Agent Wilmore, barring any unexpected revelation, looks like somebody shot this man in the back of the head. Ask him every question you can. Do I know you? Aren't you Wreck-It Ralph? Have we met? Yeah, we both worked on that kidnapping last year, remember? Sorry. No problem. It was a big team. So what was the time of death? Well, preliminarily, I'd say he's been dead for about six hours. So that would make the time of death early in the AM. Kind of, what kind of caliber are we dealing with here? Are we talking a handgun, a rifle, shotgun, some kind of snifle? What caliber weapon was used? Big, 45 looks like, maybe a 357. Hit him in the mastoid bone. That's that big, spongy mass of bone behind a ear. It shatters more easily, so there's an inordinate amount of damage. A lot of bone fragments get driven up into the brain. That's where Oswald hit JFK. I take it you subscribe to the lone gunman theory. No, I think aliens killed JFK. Hmm, me too. Glad we're in the same, uh, <laughs> we're on the same wavelength here. Any sign of a struggle? Nope. Either he was totally surprised or he knew his killer. It's probably the same guy who shot JFK. That's his <laughs> MO. He always shoots him in the soft part of the, the head. That's my favorite part. Why do people always shoot that? I gather there were no witnesses. I don't think so, but you better check with Detective Astadorian. Medical examiner doesn't get much chance to interrogate bystanders. Inspector Astadorian? Is that what he said? All right, uh, now I need to talk to that guy. Ask him every question. So, I want your perspective on this. What do you think happened here? Some people say it's a bullet. I say it's an alien bullet. Any idea what happened? No. There you go. All there right. You go. Well, we can close right, this one. Over. No one has any idea what to do. <laughs> any thought on motive? Robbery would be my guess. Ask Astor Dorian. It's her case. Nope. Can I get some copies of those? Sure. Give me a name. Greg Wilmore, FBI. No problem. It'll take a couple days. All right. Now you need to go left. And, uh... Oh, there's Castor Dorian. What can I do for you? and uh, ask her every question. God, I forgot our name is Craig. How many games have you played as a dude named Craig? Special Agent Craig Wilmore, FBI. FBI? What's the Bureau's interest in this case? Well, there's missing FBI agents. We gotta go look for them. Mm -hmm. I'm investigating the disappearance of two agents. Okay, so what's the connection to this man? My investigation led me to this warehouse. Inside we found evidence of foul play. 
including the blood of one of our missing agents. I spotted Wong, asked him a few questions about the warehouse. He lied to me. Now he's dead. I'm not certain what the connection is, but I'm pretty certain there is one. I'll buy that. Interesting. This case just went from routine to fun. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, we're all having fun here. You can just tell. We're, ha we're seen looking at a dead body and smiles all around. Yeah, you rarely ever see a Craig without a goatee. Maybe he's hiding something. So, what have you got? Harbor master found the body. He was shot once in the back of the head. Large caliber by the looks of it. No witnesses. No sign of struggle. That's it? So far. Maybe we should look for the harbor master. Yeah. So where's the harbor master? Gone for coffee. Have you questioned him yet? Nope. Next on my list after search boat. Hey, Strawberry, we're back here with the X fillet. <laughs> that Any sounds thoughts delicious. Thoughts on motive? Robbery, most likely. Alien steak. So what was stolen? Haven't quite gotten there yet. Just about to go onto the boat. Well, robbery seems unlikely to me. Didn't look like the old guy had much. Probably true. But you'd be amazed at what people will kill for. He probably had a cigar box full of cash. Unless maybe he was killed for squealing to the feds. I wish I thought that was funny. Well, Wong didn't exactly run with the most desirable crowd. Hmm. We do know, based on our last uh, time around, that he did have a criminal record. Mm -hmm. Not just once. He went around, like, breaking and entering, like, a lot. He did a lot. <laughs> he I, just couldn't stay away. I respect him for it, though. I'm sorry. Any reports of trouble in this area? No. All's quiet on the waterfront. That's too bad. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to just pin this on gang activity and be done with it? No, I right. think it's the Looks seagulls. Like it's time to board the good ship Agrippa. Care to join me? All right, now we're going to go on a boat. Oh, we're going on a date. Mm. A boat date. I'm willing to bet a lot of these people were seen elsewhere. These genuinely seem to be okay actors, like they've done this before. Yeah, yeah. It's not your typical FMV game this cast. Is not, this is not like an Old West FMV game. Answer me this. Where'd he put his fish? What? His catch. Where'd he put his catch? There's no freezers. Hell, there's not even an ice chest on board. So where'd the fish go? And In the water. The it, those are some pretty serious gas tanks down there. All right, so uh, use both icon questions on Astadorian, it says. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> Look! I'm I just FBI. wanted to... We gotta do this by the book, you know? D d did you save? Don't do that. <laughs> did you... S you didn't even save! You didn't even save! Yeah, well... We would have had to do... Mm. I'm a loose cannon, baby. You are. Tighten that cannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it's... Yeah, okay. I see. Yeah, you're off the case, Danny. You're a, you're a, a loose cannon. I'm just going to assume we get the same ending if we shoot her, so let's go ahead and just... What, what do we do? We're talking. We're talking? All We're right. talking to her, yeah. I can handle that. Oh, we can get close-ups of our items. Oh, Check it out. Light. Hold on, I gotta look at these keys. Okay. Ooh, look at that. I like the lock pick. It's a lock pick with a trigger on it. It's like a gun blade. <laughs> it's like a gun pick. Not handcuffing her. Who's that? <laughs> Did we <laughs> join the force like 20 years ago and we never took a new picture? Hey. Sometimes it happens, okay? Oh, now we gotta go down to the DMV and we gotta get our birth certificate and ugh. <laughs> yeah, talk about both. So, what's your theory on the hold? My guess is that Wong was not quite what he seemed. I think this boat was being used for something other than fishing, which certainly puts a spin on his murder. <laughs> it's his high school ID. Yeah, you can just put that on an FBI uh, badge. Did you know fish stocks have been declining in this area recently? No. Where'd you pick that up at? Wong told me yesterday. Ah, oh, well, there's a reliable source. All right. Now you're done talking with her. Why don't you go forward through the door and examine everything you can? Okay. Let's see what we can find. Uh-huh. Cool. I don't know what that is. These are Slim Jims. Mm-hmm. 
delicious looking. You light them at one end and your boat smells really good. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, click on that. Tarkus. He's an ELP fan. Okay, turn right. And then look down. And um, click on the stack of banknotes. There you go. Hell banknote! <laughs> what been, the fuck? He has an account at the Bank of Hell. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh. Get out of there. Get up, get up. Go back up. Okay. Wait, there's. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm just trying to give you directions for that one spot. Cool, okay. So turn left. <laughs> Account balance Actually, six, turn six, right. six. Turn right once. And um, open the cabinet door. What do you make of this? Uh, what is that? I don't even know. It doesn't tell you what it is, huh? Uh, okay. Can you open that? Can this does not. Can then open. Uh, turn. Wait, right. Yeah, right there. Right here. Yeah. Oh, you gotta click on the little thingy here. Not. You can't just open it from the side. By the book is how they call that. Mm. And click the drugs. Ooh. Jackpot. Yeah, get drugs. Have you ever heard of the drugs alien? <laughs> it's an alien that likes to take drugs. Yeah, I suppose that thing was an octopus. Yeah. Can we grill it? By which I mean answer it, make it answer questions, and then grill it up on a grill. You know what? I heard octopuses are smart, so yes. A little torturous, but yes. All right, uh, turn right, go forward, and you're out of there. We got the drugs we were after. Turn right twice. Ooh, look at this. Should... Ooh, pretty. What a nice view. Are you gonna shoot the view? Did you save? Always trying to stop me from having fun. Listen, I'm just I trying mean... to bring a little spontaneity into the proceedings, you know? <laughs> You're always stopping me from just shooting my gun off in the air. Well, <laughs> Alex, today you don't get to tell me what to do. Yeehaw! <laughs> I really can't believe I'm having to do this. After five years at the Bureau, you should know better. I was testing it. We were just, I need your you know, badge and gun. I want to see how it worked. Yeah, Vancouver is done for. <laughs> you shot the beautiful Vancouver sky! Okay, okay what do I... Okay, turn right again. <laughs> and then talk to her. With... Uh, yeah, Slicker and the drugs. Talk to her about those. What's the Terracon? What? Terracon. What is it? I don't know. Why? I found this Slicker in the cabin labeled the Terracon. I guess it's the name of the boat. No, no, no. This boat's called the Agrippa. Well, I guess that adds another mystery to your list, doesn't it? We're just piling up the mysteries here. Too many. Did you know Mr. Wong was taking stolen painkillers? What the hell are you talking about? I found a cache of pills in his cabin. No prescription labels, obviously stolen goods. Industrial state quantities, too. How interesting. Well, that certainly adds a sordid little wrinkle to things, doesn't it? So, you still think the motive for his murder was robbery? Let's just see what the autopsy reveals, all right? I'm finished. I'm going to take Wong here for his free ride. Ask her to give me a call when she's finished. Okay. It was a pretty easy morning. It shouldn't take too long. Thanks. I changed my mind. That's not John C. Riley. That's Dr. Steve Brule. It is. It is. 100%. Hey, what's that dude, body? <laughs> well, the harbor master's returned. The hover master? Oh, the harbor master. <laughs> he just comes on in like. Oh my god, look at him. I love him. Well, hello. I wish you told me there was two of you. I'd have brought another coffee. That's all right. Agent Wilmer here is trying to cut down. Well, still, I could have brought the decaf. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the master turn of hovering. Right. Okay. Forward. Just mm -hmm. off into the woods. Mm -hmm. And then uh, right again. Oh, I see. It's a navigation puzzle. Oh, they were right here there all he along. Is. 
and ask all the questions you can to the harbor master. <laughs> you gave me a heart attack, honey. Nothing, nothing phases this guy. You think, uh-huh? How about this? Oh, How long have you known Wong? Oh, a few years. Started docking here in 94, I think. Yeah, early 94. Did you notice anything unusual happening here last night? No, none at all. In fact, it was real quiet. Well, we gotta try shooting everyone. That'll get them to... It, it puts them off-center. Mm-hmm. Like it's, they're prepared to lie to us, but you gotta you gotta shake them up a little bit, it's make them think on their feet. Enhanced interrogation, they call it. Exactly, it's the the Jack uh, what's his face. Jack Bauer. Jack technique. Jack Bauer technique. Yeah, I was gonna Did say Jack Mr. Skellington. Wong have any enemies? I don't think so. I, I would say no, but uh, hell, these days. Tim Burton's twenty-four. That would be cool. This sucks. I don't know. Do you know if Mr. Wong had any financial difficulties? No, I don't. I always paid his birth fees on time. Of course, things have been hard on everybody around here lately. I imagine he was feeling it too. Maybe we can't trust the Gordon's fishermen. Okay, so yeah, ask him a question about the slicker. What's the Terracon? A ocean going tug. It uh, burned at sea two months ago. Really? Why would Wong have a slicker from the Terracon in his cabin? Well, I don't know. Don't think he knew those guys. Uh, they were Russian. Maybe he picked it up as scrap after the fire. I think I remember hearing something about that. The crew all died, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Boat's over at the impound dock. You want to take a look? Okay, ask him about the other uh, three icons, and that should be it. Hmm. Well, thank you very much. Uh, one more thing. <laughs> Who owns this warehouse? Lease to a company called Majestic Shipping, out of the Far East. Could you give me a phone number? Well, depends on which number you want. They got offices in Hong Kong, Chechnya. So, which number? The main number. <laughs> no, no, these guys don't quite work like that. But it's okay. I'll, uh, I'll get you all the information I have. Just uh, fax it to me. Fax it to me. Fax. How do these boats normally store their catch? Well, usually they got what they call a, a live well in the hole that uh, keeps water circulating over the fish. Uh, some of the bigger outfits will have a refrigerated holding tank. Any idea why Wong's boat would have neither? No, no, I don't imagine he had the money to upgrade something like that. Um, that'd have to be done in a dry dock anyway. That's that's pretty strange, really. I, I don't know why. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I like that the scene continues animating while you're in the middle of an investigation. Mm -hmm. They're just drinking their coffee. Also, like the idea of there being a main number. Like, can I just skip the bullshit? What's the number for FBI agents? How long have the fish stocks been declining around here? Oh, a while now. Overfishing's the most likely cause, but it's uh, gotten a lot worse for the past couple of months. Most of the small guys gone out of business. Wong's the only one still holding on. Or he was. Well, why don't we go take a look at the Terracon? Well, sure. Yeah, it's not far why from Why don't we? Come on. Now, was it overfishing that killed the fish, or was it you? No, it was the fishing alien. Hmm. It's always a different alien for everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you've got to go to your um, PDA and go to, to uh, the Terracon in Seattle. So you got to go to the impound lot. I don't know if it's going to be impound lot or Terracon. Oh, there. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. No one wanted to look at my FBI badge. I find that disrespectful to your authority. Yeah, I think the, the longshoreman is at fault. Excuse me, the harbor master. Seattle. Anyway, uh, the Coast Guard cutter, the stalwart, saw a fire on the horizon, rushed out there. By the time they arrived, it was too late. The entire crew had burned to death. How many men were on board? Total of nine. Although only four bodies were recovered, the rest were presumed lost at sea. What was the cause of the fire? Never determined. They have no idea. Look at that. Fire damage seems to be contained to the outside of the hull. The cabin in the interior don't seem to be burnt at all. Okay, so what's your point? Well, how was the crew killed by a fire that only burned the hull? For that matter, why did the fire only burn the hull in the first place? <laughs> you got me. You're the detectives. Uh, look, do you mind if I go? I, I got a lot of forms to fill out. 
You know, uh, when there's a dead body, wow, paperwork. Sure, you can go. <laughs> I'll call you if I need anything. Thanks. Oh, no problem. Well, it was nice to meet you, and I'll fax you those phone numbers. I hate stumbling across a dead body. I'm just like, ugh. Well, it's like paperwork. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> he did look like George Carlin. All right. Let me tell you the seven dirty, dirty words of the sea. Why don't you look up? And yeah, take a look at that. Hmm. Some kind of monster was here. Gross. Some kind of werewolf. All right. Go. Ew. Looks like everything melted. Yeah, but not the cabin, just the hole. How did everyone die from that? Nine people burned to death here, apparently. Okay, turn. Go left. Forward. And right. Just step right into the ocean. And uh, face the gangplank. And from the bottom plank, go forward. Are we going to walk the plank? Right. Well, we just did. Okay. And forward. And click the open hatch. Uh, There's a couple of open hatches here. On the right. On the right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> See a sign. Uh, uh, yeah, at the entry of the hole. Look at the sign. Well, okay, you're looking at it. Um, go forward. Wait a minute. There's a layering problem here. Oh, there is. Weird. We're going to the right? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, forward, right, down into the hold. Yeah. Into the hold we go. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, let's bring the sign in for questioning. What do you say we save again? I love saving. Okay, we at the bottom of the stairs? Um, yes. Thank you to the Ultimo for 32 oh, months. Oh, thank you! That's almost 33 months. Hey, thank you so much. The, yeah, it's by the Layering Alien. Okay. And oh, thank you, Gomi Zone, for the raid. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, welcome, Gomi. How did uh, Super Metroid go? I saw you beat Kraid on the first try, which was like, what the fuck? <laughs> we're playing X-Files for PS1. Okay, so we're in the hold. Uh, from the bottom of the stairs, go two forward, right, and forward. I don't know if we went forward already, but yeah. All right, forward, we're going two forward, right, right. and then forward. and forward. Thank you, Thank you, Dot Level, for the twenty months. Ooh. Welcome to here. We are above a, a filthy boat in a harbor in a godforsaken part of Seattle. <laughs> Three hundred bits from the Ultimo, who says this is so much better than Fox Hunt. It's scary. Oh, it's so much better. It's like an actual game. All right, why don't you look? Uh, You're looking look down. down. Yeah, and you should see some crates. Uh, I see the crates. It took us this long to get to crates all the way on disc two. Cool. Oh, they're these kinds of crates. All right, why don't you go left and go three forward. One, two, two three. And uh, open the box. Oh, are those the same crates on disc one with the black powder? What did they say that was? Gunpowder? Or was they said it lead? It was lead shavings. Yeah, it was lead shavings. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, grab the ball. The sphere, I should say. Orb acquired. Mm hmm. If this was Castlevania, that means we beat the level. <laughs> hey, Hexagon Witch, welcome. He loves that orb. We're interfacing with the orb. Now Craig can double jump. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that is a terror. An FBI agent who can double jump. No fucking thank you. We can get to the top of the warehouse now. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so from here, uh, we turn left. I want to know what that is. Uh, three forward. Thank you, Nelson JD, for the three months. Move over, Mulder and Scully. Alex and Dan here on the case. Oh, God. Watch out, everybody. We don't know what we're doing. Three forward, you say? Mm-hmm. And then you turn right. Is he making hooch in here? It's a bathtub, bathtub For hooch. Forward. Left. Two forward. What's the difference between hooch and pruno? Uh, go up. Uh-huh. Forward. Left. Forward. <sighs> okay. Wow. 
Now from here, from the whole doorway, go right. <laughs> I thought we were done with directions, no. the way you breathe a sigh of relief. Forward. Left. <laughs> Inverted boat dock. Now, uh, from the, let's see, uh, click the open passage to see another crew sign on the door below. Click on the door. Uh-huh. And Done. enter a whole car. Okay. Uh, we going from up? From the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. Go up. Two forward. One. Uh, or, yeah. Um, yeah, fine. Yeah. And then you enter the door. Now, um, uh, pick up the uh, journal. Yeah. Get that bad boy. <laughs> this bad boy. For hooch you see, shine it be. If Pruno you find, it be a wine. <laughs> Holy shit. This is a very educational stream. I'm learning a lot. Uh, this appears to be in some kind of foreign language. Okay. What's this say, Alex? Uh, um, I'm 45 degrees, 155 degrees. I'm on a boat. It kicks ass. <laughs> You're reading this like I read Japanese just by reading katakana. Yeah, absolutely. 169 <laughs> degrees, dude. Woo. Oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Mm-hmm, 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 2,000. There you go. Hmm. All right, let me see where we are. Okay, go right, forward, and, yeah, get out of here. Now turn right and look down. Man, these... You see an open safe. These environments are labyrinthine. They are. Much more what... complex than any other FMV game I played. That's why I'm kind of tense. I don't want to get you the wrong Yeah, because if you get lost, there's no finding your way back. All right. Um. Yeah, here's the payroll log. Ooh. Looks like this guy was paid in 1,400 gex. <laughs> He's being drastically underpaid. You deserve way more gex than 1400 Yeah, look at all these other dudes. This dude's getting 2200 2000 2050 Someone was only getting one. Someone's getting gex. ripped off. Mm. Yeah, that's what it's like being a freelancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flip through this, and then that should... <laughs> Just rolling in the gex. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was a little bit too real, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good God, what am I looking for here? Just paging through? Yeah, you can just page through. You can also just get out of here. You don't have to go through the whole... There you go. That should okay. be it. There yeah, never go. take the job for at uh, under 2,400 gex. Got it. Okay, go right. Forward. Then right. Forward. Okay. We using this? Yes, open the door and step out onto the hull. Okay, great. Now. Ah, breathe that fresh sea air. Go left, then forward. Not up. Did you go up or forward? I went forward. Okay, good, good. Uh, pass the stairs. Turn left, forward, and then left. Nasty. That is nasty. What am I looking for Note here? Note the white figures outlined on the hole. This gives you the white shadows idea for later. Now, turn left. So you've noticed it. Okay. You saw it. It's been noted. Yeah. Left. Mm -hmm. Forward. Right. To face the stairs. And then at the stairs, go up. This is bullshit. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, that's forward. This finger is forward. This finger is up. Bullshit. Total bullshit. Uh, two forward. And then left. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I love that freeway loop. This would be a nice uh, pre-stream loop. Get everyone in a nice unsettled mood <laughs> before mm -hmm. the stream starts. All right, and then go on in. You sure they'll let us in? Should okay. I use my gun? Please don't. Two forward. And then left. You're going to see someone. Don't talk to them. Don't Let me know if you see anything. Okay. Do, do not talk to them. Do not talk to her. Hold on one second. Let me see what Tell we you what, since that seems important, let's save. Okay. Don't talk to her until she's had her coffee. Mm -hmm. You only have to, you have to talk to her after you make a phone call. Oh, okay. 
jump scared by FBI That agent. was pretty spooky. We <laughs> yeah. were just kind of navigating for 10 minutes, and then suddenly, let me know if you find anything. Hey, can you need, can you need any help? Okay. Um, click the fresh set of prints on the table next to her. Click twice for a close-up. Yeah. All right. Um, it's the Jalian. It is the Jalian. Look at those fingerprints. That is an alien who wears... This looks like it's already been dusted for prints. Oh, yeah, so it has. Probably from the first investigation into the fire. <laughs> Lo-Fi X-Files beats to hey, study sleep, this too. Is strange. <laughs> it looks like there's a fresh set of prints over the top of the old ones. Yeah, you know, somebody's put their hand on this after it's already been dusted. Either that's pretty sloppy police work or somebody else has been here. Well, we better have them lifted. Okay, you need to make a phone call now. So, to use your cellular phone to call John, click on your phone in the inventory. Uh, click on menu. Oh, God, we gotta do this again. Okay, well, we know from last time that you have to dial 1 and then dial the area code. Okay. And then click menu again until we find... Uh, we're... Yeah, click up and now we're gonna try to look for John Amos. There we... There you go. Right. Uh, give him one. Call. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, you need to go back. <laughs> it tells you how to do this, so okay. yeah. Um, da -da 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 -da, click the green dial button. Oh, you can just dial. Isn't yeah. that nice? Wow, these new cell phones. <laughs> John Anus. <laughs> Pick up John. John, it's Craig. I need a set of prints lifted. Ooh, field work, my favorite. Where? Candid impound dock. The boat's called the Terracon. These are prints that were laid on top of a previously dusted set. I love a challenge. Flag the spot for me. I'll take care of it. All right. John's on the case. We met him back on disc one. He's a, he's a good guy. He's probably my favorite character because he's not... He, he doesn't completely hate our character for no reason. All right. Why don't we talk to her? Now we can? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and ask her about the payroll. This looks interesting. Looks like Cyrillic. Seattle PD has a task force investigating smuggling out of the former Soviet Union. They've got a full-time translator over there. I can get it translated. Uh, either okay or that's fine is all right. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that was easy. I thought certainly you would give me grief about that. No, if Seattle PD has the resources, let's take advantage of them. Well, that's a commendable attitude. Okay, now look at the lead sphere. You want to tell me about the orb? Found an orb. Look at this. Whoa! What is it? It's I have cool. no idea. Well, be careful with it. Relax. <laughs> it looks like an explosive device. Well, it could be. It's certainly heavy enough. Maybe we should call in a hazmat team. <laughs> Let's not overreact, okay? What the hell are you doing? You really need to cut down to one cup a day. It's empty. What is it? I don't know. But I do know one very happy lab technician. <sighs> My big brass one. Is that that uh, radioactive doom orb I've heard so much about? I think it is. Uh, who knows? It's, it's probably fine if we just fuck with it. All right, click the white shadow. Come with me. I want to show you something. You think she's the alien? Could be. Anyone could be the alien. So yeah, yeah, demon core. Yeah, it's kind of frightening, isn't it? What causes it? I have no idea. It reminds me of pictures I've seen of Hiroshima. How's that? Well, the blast from the bomb left the outline of people behind. I don't know why. I can barely remember it. I was only a kid when I saw the picture. Jesus, scared the bejesus out of me. Soundscapes given uh, Shin Megami Tensei teleport vibes. <laughs> Yeah, right. this is an SMT teleporter. Someone's shooting off soundless fireworks outside. I'm watching a show. You're, you're kidding me, right? Yeah, it was a Roman candle, except it didn't make any noise. <laughs> well, shout out to things not making a lot of noise. Last night, I don't know about you, but it got pretty bad. Um, yeah, it was pretty loud. Okay, it says, return upstairs to the wheelhouse. How the fuck did I get you to the wheelhouse? Uh... <laughs> okay. I think I can retrace my steps. Like, we went to this, and then we... And then we um, turned... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and we then we go it. upstairs. Yeah, yeah, we go up. Very bold of the fact author to assume I have any sense of direction. Yeah. 
turn. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're back at the wheelhouse. Um, uh, go forward. I guess we're trying to find the lady again. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Turn. Yeah. It says we need to talk to her again. Oh, there she is. Mm. I'm not having much luck over here so far. Hey, detective. Truett from the coroner's office just called. They've completed the autopsy on Mr. Wong. She's found something you ought to see. Ever hear of the fireworks alien? Well, it looks like we're headed to the coroner's. I can hardly wait. Well, we're headed to the coroner, so pick out your PDA and let's go to the coroner's office in Seattle. Hell yeah, let's do it. That went really well. I'm very pleased with that. Let's go ahead and drop a double save. <sighs> Sorry, this is, this is going better than I expected. We're not lost yet. I'm so happy. Yeah, it's cool. I could cry. Oh. You're a good reader. Thank you. <laughs> the other one doesn't give you, like, directions as, as well. It just tells you to go places, and it's just like, oh, Yeah, the other off. guide is more condensed, but it's all like, just go U-D-L-L-R-R-U-D down. <laughs> oh, that's the one I'm using. Oh, is it? Okay. It's actually the other one. The other one doesn't give you directions. <laughs> I guess you do want more uh, conciseness from this game. Yeah, I want to know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Where are we heading? Uh, the, let's see. We're going to the medical, ex we're going to Seattle. The medical examiner's office. Coroner's office, yeah. I can hardly wait. You could see how happy that lady was. Knowing she'd get to go to the coroner's office. She's like, oh boy. Let's bust on through. Can we... Is there an option to just, like, put both of your palms forward and dramatically burst through the doors? <laughs> this is Agent Wilmo with the FBI. He questioned Wong yesterday. I hope you found out everything you needed to know. What have you got? This is undoubtedly one of the most unusual autopsies I've ever performed. This man died from a single gunshot wound to the back of the head. Large caliber weapon, point blank range. He was also a drug user. It looks like he was high at the time of death. That would account for the lack of struggle. But if the slug or the drugs didn't kill him, this man would have been dead within a matter of weeks anyway. Slugs oh, or drugs, Jesus. he's dead. Why? He was completely riddled with massive tumors. I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. What would cause something like that? I have no idea. But I've never seen a human being so eaten alive with cancer. Oh no, it is a demon core! God, God damn here. it! You know, <laughs> so do I. You ever heard of the cancer alien, I the think, tumor alien? I think all of us are turbo fucked right now. Because <laughs> oh, we boy. just, we couldn't resist playing with the The, the guy form. opened it up too, he's like, Oop, here you go, why are you so afraid? Oh, no wonder everyone fucking hates him. Okay, click on the organ trays. Slugs, drugs, or bucks. Organ tray, eh? Oh, nice. Okay, to the right, okay. Uh, click on the slugs near the tray. Is that the slug? Yes, it is. I'd like to have it analyzed. That'd be all right, I suppose. And uh, let's talk. So what kind of cancer are we talking here? What kind of cancer was it? Well, here's the weird thing. You see, these, these are three separate kinds of cancer. It wouldn't surprise me if it turned out he had a few more. It's as if his entire endocrine and immune system suddenly went haywire. Is there a name for this? Bizarre. No, I mean, is there a syndrome or something that explains it? No, not that I've ever heard of. Upon closer examination, this slug is actually a snail. How do you know he was high? Well, it's mainly a hunch. Little things. Uh, state of craniovascular relaxation, total dilation of the pupils, things like that. I've seen it before, but the blood work will confirm it. That's me when I'm streaming. <laughs> What could have caused cancer like this? I have no idea. This isn't exactly my field, first of all, but I can't imagine what would trigger something like this. Some kind of massive carcinogenic exposure, I guess. Radioactive materials, certain classes of powerful mutagenic chemicals. Those are the only things that track with what I know. OK, our suspects are the cigarette smoking man, mm -hmm. uh, the rat from the beginning of the game, and uh, the, the, the cigarette alien. How long had he been ill? Tumors are highly unpredictable. A growth of this size would seemingly take a fair amount of time, but he would have been in immense pain. Which might explain the illicit drug use. Even with the drugs, a condition like this would be almost impossible to ignore. 
and the amount of drugs he'd have to take to ease the pain would make him a near zombie. Strange. Z -z -z zombie? Have you seen anything else like this recently? No, thank God. And we All ask right. about the items too, I guess. Yeah, try both uh, Wong's drugs and the Tarakan on the corner. Says this guy performed a Budokan. There was a case a couple of months ago, a fire at sea, the... The Terracan, sure. I remember it. You're the second FBI agent to ask me about that this week. Yeah, it's probably a zombie alien. Zalian. What are you talking about? Well, actually, to be specific, you're the third FBI agent. There were a pair here the other day, a man and a woman. They had the bodies of the Terracan crew members exhumed. She insisted on performing a second autopsy. We're hot on the trail. We we picked up their scent. Mulder and Scully were here recently. What were their names? Sorry, I'll have to look that up. I see Sculver a lot of and Molly? It was Mulder and Scully, wasn't it? Yes. Diana Scully and Wolf Mulder, that's right. Wolf Mulder. What did she find? <laughs> They're Fox and Mulder. I have no idea. The bodies are still here if you want to see them. What were the results of the original autopsy? They died of severe burns. We want to see them. All right. Wolf Mulder. Another call back to Fox Hunt. There's a constant confusion between Fox and Wolf. You're not squeamish, I hope. Got a coming here. Milf Mulder. <laughs> Stands for Mulder, I'd like Fair to- Fair warning, this is gonna be pretty bad. These guys had been interred for two months. You all right? Just peachy, thanks. Can we get this over with, please? Sure. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Did you lose the bodies? You lost the bodies! Uh, I think someone's stolen the bodies from the Terracan. You two stay here. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll let you know if I find anything. <laughs> she pulls out a gun. Who stole the fucking body? <sighs> what the hell have we stumbled onto here? Uh, why don't we talk to her? I want to hear what you think. I'd like to hear what you think. Oh my god. What is it? I think I know what's going on here. Oh Jesus. I hope I'm wrong. What? They're smuggling something. They're smugglers. Wong worked for the same people as the crew of the Terracon. That would explain the slicker and the lack of fishing equipment. So, they worked for the same people. You questioned Wong. He was killed because they thought he talked. Your two missing agents have the crew from the Terracon exhumed and both they and the corpses turn up missing? We've stumbled upon a smuggling ring bringing either radioactive material or possibly chemical weapons into the U.S. from the former Soviet Union. That explains the fire on the Terracon, Wong's cancer, why he was killed, and what happened to your two missing agents. They got too close. Someone's covering their tracks and they're not afraid to shoot FBI agents to do it. You and I have to work together. We have to stop this. If I'm right, thousands of people might die. I'm gonna have to demand that we cooperate fully with one another. Okay. You just got yourself a new partner. We just got ourselves a new partner. Hey, all right. Wow. She didn't really let us get a, a word in there. We just kind of agreed to it. <laughs> she said like 50 different statements and then our guy just said, okay. All right, why don't we go to the crime lab? Crime lab, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm wondering, has she seen our badge yet? I don't want that. All right, fine. Boo. Someday you'll be impressed by our badge. Crime lab. Mm -hmm. It's also in Seattle. We got a new partner. She's our uh, Scully to our Mulder. Oh yeah, I should have shown her the orb. Just like, put that down, please. Again? Why do you have it in your pocket? I want to be riddled with cancer. <laughs> Is he reading a manga? Yes. He's reading like those. Oh, your tax dollars. It's aliens work? versus predator. Hey, do the words <laughs> lunch hour mean anything to you? <laughs> You're in a mood today. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, talk to him. Ask him all the questions. You heard from Gloria? Nope, she's still at her mom's. 
When are you going to pay me that dollar? <laughs> hey, when are you going to pay me that dollar? Did you know that I grew up in Cleveland? Oh, Cleveland? Really? Yes. And as a child, I've always regarded it as hell. Do you have any idea how cold it is in Cleveland? Cold. Very cold. It is very cold in Cleveland today. But not cold enough. I just wanted a dollar. I love him. You working on anything good? Yes, actually. Uh, an art theft. Very cool stuff. Mom's the word. Ah, so the comic book is research. He's on break, asshole. You show the fingerprints <laughs> yeah, come to on. him. He's not just looking at a corpse all eight hours of his shift. God damn. <laughs> he has Did a get life. Prince lifted? I just fetched them, Miss Daisy. I still need to process them. And they say sugar has no effect on children. <laughs> this guy's great. He has all the 90s references on lock. Okay, so we got to give uh, this guy all of our evidence. The lead sphere, the captain's journal, and uh, we can do that, I think, out of this screen. Okay. Let's, um, yeah. yeah there we go. Hey, look at this cool you super know, ball I found. What is this? A bomb? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. But I do need you to tell me just what the hell it is. Your wish is my command. Okay, we don't have the captain's journal and payroll log because the SPD is taking care of that. So why don't you give him the bullet? Ah, another hunk of lead. I love bullets. Simple, tough, silent. Kind of like you there, Wilmore. Yet in the right hand, <laughs> they speak volumes. You want I should match this against the last one? Astute as always. I shall make it so. <laughs> I love him. I'm not his... even going to pull out my gun on this guy. That's how much I like him. Thank you. Hey, Though I do feel you. really bad about just kind of casually handing off this orb to people. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, what do we do now? Well, now we go back to our apartment. Oh, this is the part I have trouble with. I have to navigate you to your work desk somehow. Oh, Jesus I'm Christ. Gonna I'm going to get lost in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up at 2 a.m. and... Go off to the FBI office in a fugue state. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, go forward. Wait, let's go inside. Uh... Ah, sweet home. It smells like aliens in here. Forward, left, forward is supposed to be the way we go. Let's, here's, yeah, okay, that's good. Found it. Turn that bad boy on. You oh, actually, you're mail. supposed to... We've got mail. Actually, uh, I was supposed to what? Answer the phone first. So get out of here and then click on your phone. Uh, phone's... Yeah. It's too dark. I agree. Hey, it's me. You asked me to call and let you know we got here, okay? We got here, okay? That's it. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Xbox. <laughs> hey, it's me. I got those prints lifted for you. That was a lot of fun, I have to tell you. I processed them, but I couldn't find any matches. Ran them against every database I have access to. Nada. She tried again on your end, you know? Run against the uh, terrorism database, EVE database, ex-presidents database. I'm sure you come up with something. Sent the digital file to your email. Standard format. Later. Okay. okay, he's on the case. All right, now turn on your computer, and let's check our emails. My favorite part. You've got mail. I don't like how she says that. <laughs> I don't like that. I wish it would do that weird noise when you connected to the internet way back when. Oh, God. The modem would just start screaming. I miss when computers would scream at me. Yeah. Yeah, check that. Ooh. Okay. So these are new fingerprints laid atop the old fingerprints. All right. Yeah, click on that. <laughs> and, um, da, 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 da. Okay, under search database, click FBI. Ooh, it was someone in the FBI, huh? Da, 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 da. Click search. It's Agent Cook. Oh, my God. Who could have seen this coming? All I right. liked that it had that little musical sting there. 
hobbies restoring antique radios brewing beer at home he would be a, oh he's one of those guys a home brew guy marathon and marathon runner. yeah all right well you can quit now he's got a ba wow in criminology that's what you need to be an expert criminal <laughs> where are we going now uh we're quitting out of here all right we're quitting the force and I don't know if you heard that, but there was a knock at your door. Uh-oh. It's from Arizona, of course. He's the bad guy. <laughs> Hope y'all get out of Arizona, if that's what you're uh, planning. Door? No. Okay, that's that's the bedroom. Don't go that way. Okay, is this the front door? No. Okay. <laughs> Turn. Go forward. We've had this Turn problem again. before. Yeah, there you go. There's the front door. Should I just shoot through the door? Uh, Say first if you do. I have a feeling this isn't going to be good, whatever this is. It actually tells you to save anyway, so let's Okay, save. let's let's do that. Let's do a double save. Because there's a puzzle in De Deja Vu for the NES where you have to shoot through a door or else a guy will kill you. This might be a callback to that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to shoot the door. Are there any Matlock video games? God, I don't I think wish. so. You would think there would be like a Matlock uh, hidden object puzzler, considering the game, the the show's demographic. You'd think so, yes. There we go. We did it. We killed him. We yeah. killed the murderer. Anyways, you weren't supposed to shoot through the door. You're supposed to answer the door and then talk to the person. All right, let's see who we shot and killed. Am I going to feel bad about this? Was this Agent Mulder <laughs> <laughs> with a box of chocolates congratulating me on a job well done? No, it's this guy. What are you doing? No, ma'am, what the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be keeping me informed about your case. Uh -oh. Have I been informed? No. I've been kept completely in the dark. You know the policy, always have a backup. What if something happened to you? Where would your investigation be then, huh? Agents' lives are on the line here. You better think about that instead of how you can score points with A.D. Skinner. Okay, you how can we respond answering? however you want. Uh, I'm gonna be indignant. I'm oh gonna... man, I don't know what the hell's the matter with me. I'm losing it. I've been being followed by two guys in a sedan. I didn't answer. I don't know who the hell they are or who they work for, but they're obviously government. I think Mulder and Scully stumbled onto some kind of corruption that runs all the way into the Bureau itself. All right, uh, now ask them all questions. That's more than a little paranoid. Well, that's more than a little paranoid. Maybe, but better paranoid than dead. <laughs> Columbo 2, just all one right, more thing. so fill me in. What do we do? Uh, it says, answer all questions and use a fingerprints idea icon on him. Um, it does not tell you how to... Uh... Let's tell him what he wants to hear. Okay. I don't know exactly, but it's not good. I think you're right. I think there's a smuggling ring bringing material into Seattle from the far eastern Russia, and I think they may have infiltrated the Bureau. We need to be incredibly careful. They could well be coming after us next. Just keep me in the loop. The more I know, the better I can do my job. <sighs> I've just been a little busy. Sure, but we're not talking about your grocery list here. This case has probably already cost the lives of two agents. Listen, just keep me in the loop. The more I know, the better I can do my job. Okay, use the fingerprints on him. Let's keep him looped. So why were your fingerprints found on the Terracon? What? The Terracon. It's an ocean-going tug. Burned it. I know what it is. What are you saying? I'm just trying to figure out how come your fingerprints were found on a... There is a murder she wrote game. that's been nice. involved in ten deaths, two disappearances, and you should probably never even have heard of. Listen, I was called in to investigate that fire two months ago when it happened. I didn't find anything. It took me a couple of hours, that's it. So why did I never hear of it? Jeez, I don't know. Maybe you were in the can. Look, I never mentioned it because it was way below radar. I filed my report with Shanks, end of story. All right, I may have left a set of prints, but that's all I did wrong. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe that's why I'm being followed. I assumed the crew were smugglers, right? Uh, that's what my report said. If they've seen my report, then someone in the Bureau is involved. No, listen, this all makes perfect sense. 
There's a massive smuggling ring paying federal officials, maybe even FBI agents, to not only look the other way, but to provide outright assistance, including following agents who get just a little too close to the truth. Jesus, there's no way of knowing how high this goes. All right, look. We can't take any chances. You keep me in the loop. I don't want you to talk to anybody else but me until we can figure out what the hell is going on here. I better get out of here before my car is spotted. Okay. I gotta get to a steakhouse. At the warehouse? Watch no, at the app. Texas Steakhouse. <laughs> okay, so you need to save after this because you have a, ser a, quick, a series of quick events you need to do. It's not quick events, but you have to do this very quickly. What? Okay. I know. I know. You are, you are strong. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for believing in me. I, I do. That guy emphasized we could we should keep him in the loop. I wonder if he is to be trusted. What do you think, Alex? I, I don't know. He seems a little paranoid, but I could see this happening. I could mm -hmm. see this conspiracy happening. So I don't know who to believe. I don't know who to believe either. The truth is out there, they say. <laughs> What's okay. our next action? Okay, so next you're going to be um, going to the Dockside Warehouse, and um, you're going to be hiding now. Here Here's what you're going to need to do. Approach the truck and enter the driver's side door. Turn right and click on the glove compartment. Look in the glove compartment for a close-up. Grab a scrap of paper with the address on it. And then quickly exit the truck on the passenger side. Mmm, okay. So. Well, you're going to need to reread that, but I get, the, I, I get the idea. Where are we heading to? The, um... uh, the We are headed towards the dockside warehouse, yeah. All right. How many different ways can I fuck this up? Okay. You say to get in on the driver's side? Yes, get in on the driver's You're going to approach it, turn right, get in on the driver. You're going to approach it from... Yeah, get in. Turn right. Oops. No, you're doing it right. Oh, okay. Turn right. Click on the glove compartment. There's a glove compartment? Mm-hmm. Click there. Click there. Get a slip of paper with an address on it. Click in. Yeah, get that. Exit. Clay's BBQ. Ooh. You didn't tell me barbecue was implicated. <laughs> there you go. You did it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Now you need to exit. Exit. Exit out of the passenger side. Exit oh, out of the passenger whoops. side. Yeah, turn, turn, turn. No, actually, I want to see what happens. Okay. Ah. So let's try that again. But this time we exit to the passenger side. But you know what to do, and it doesn't seem it doesn't seem too complicated. You never you never know how how important it is to get out on the driver's side or the passenger side. <laughs> yeah, instantly killed. We didn't even see what happened. BBQ's made of people. Okay, I know what to do this time okay, now. You got this. I just thought there would be a, uh, you know, a unique FMV ending. We've seen that one before. Just end up instantly dead. I wonder if they saved space to only fit it on four discs some compared to the seven of the original. Oh, that could be, yeah. That's right, the PC version is seven discs. Mm -hmm. This is like only two. <laughs> That's four, too many I should discs. Say. Yeah, there's four. All right, turn. Look. Look at the invisible thing here. Open that up. Grab the BBQ wrapper. Yeah, I should have smashed the windshield and gone out that way. They'll never see it coming. There's a diagnosis murder game? Beautiful. Wow. I know the PC version of Fox Hunt has an entire missing scene from the PS1 version. Maybe more, too, but I never want to dive into that game ever again. All right. Now head, so, out, head so, out the passenger side. Okay. Turn. Yeah, there you go. We're out. We're out. The trucker would have just killed us. Huh? Yeah. He's even hungrier in the PC version of Fox. <laughs> and go to your apartment. Hey, all right. Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. You have mail. You have mail. So go home. 
And why don't you find your bedroom again and take a nap? <laughs> Easier said than done. I know. <laughs> All right, the bedroom is to the left, and mm -hmm. then we go, oh, God. You go there, that down that hallway. Yeah, yeah, okay. I remember Phew. this now. <laughs> I hate this. Just, you love J. Edgar that much, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't fuck with the trucker alien. <laughs> I forgot to look at our Ramones uh, installation here. <laughs> can't believe I called him the Maroons last last time. Well, the before Maronis. I shot the mirror. This is queer representation. Yes, don't. <laughs> All right. And oh man, three. we found Scully. Mm -hmm. There she is. We found Mulder, we found Scully, uh not uh alive. We don't currently know if they're alive or even still around, but we're making progress. We're going on to the X-Files Disc 3. Are you excited? Yeah. Why don't you hit F8? F8. F6. Six. six. And F8. F8. Is it progress or is it pogress? I'm pogressing all over the place. Danny, no. Let me in. It's J. Edgar Hoover. Do I have news? Good morning. What's the matter with you? I worked last night. What's the matter with you? I didn't. What time is it? Almost noon. We have a burn victim, and the injuries appear to match those sustained by the crew of the Terracon. I have the whole thing on tape. Let me just rewind it. Hey, it's not flashing midnight. Impressive. I like a man who's not afraid of technology. Uh, for all you younger folks, VCRs used to flash the number 12 because people didn't know how to program the timer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, uh, talk to her. Are we just going to be watching the ring video now? Mm-hmm, we're all going to die in seven days. It's pretty cool. How do you know about the Terracon injuries? I got the original autopsy report, so have them if you want to see them. Who's the victim? A John Doe. He was a truck driver for Gordon's Hauling in Charno. Where'd you get this tape? Where did you get the video to? Random Lodge. Surveillance cam at the gas station. It's not great video, but it still shows the... thing. What thing? Uh, you'll see. Oh no, it is the ring video. What time did this occur? 6.17 a.m. this morning. You ever hear of the Sadako alien? <laughs> that could be Mulder's rental car. Same make. No, the game Boomer referenced me. That's how that happened. <laughs> that looks like Mulder. Have you seen him? No, just photos. Oh. That guy was at the warehouse last night. Different truck. Same company, Gordon's Hauling. Turner, Washington. Whoa. Oh. So, what do you think? What was that? Teleport. I have accident. no idea, but his injuries are identical to those from the Terracon, and all of the gas station's electronic equipment stopped working. So what do you think it is? Uh, you can answer however you want. It looked like the light came out of the man's body. That light looked like it was coming out of that man's body. Yeah, it did, didn't it? So what the hell was that all about? Sounds like you have a fax. The body's over at Truett's right now. I'm going to head on over there and see what she's found out. Oh, I got that Cyrillic document translated. Get this. It was a payroll log. And guess who was on it? Wong. He was paid almost $30,000 in the last two months, so I am convinced that the murder was mob-related. Probably because you questioned him. So I guess you did get him killed. I've turned the case over to the task force. You don't have to rub it in. All right, here's a copy of the log. It's, uh... Way to get him killed, asshole. <laughs> it's five pages, uh, and Wong is uh, listed twice on page one. Let's yeah, see. Wong is uh, paid 2200 And then there he is paid again, 2200 4400 Another one, 6600 
Not bad. It's another one, 8,800. He's cleaning it up. Honestly, good for him. So this is Twitch payout. He's doing yeah, good. He has to, subs he's he's got to have like a thousand subs. God. This guy's the new macaw. I was going to ask if they're a VTuber or something. <laughs> yeah, probably a VTuber. All right. Everyone drank vodka. Must caution on too much vodka. Boy, they translated this like right away. How did you do this much overnight? They had nothing else to do. Yeah. They were really bored. They were like, all right, I got nothing else to do. Most want American McDonald burger or Dick's burger in Seattle. <laughs> For me, pizza and beer with vodka. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> Just as long as there's vodka. That's all I care about. Okay. Uh, now talk to her. And use each one of those icons. <laughs> I know. This guy's head. Let's ask about Mulder first. Okay. Our little, our Hollywood headshot uh, promo that we got for him. We need to focus on Mulder and Scully. Where are they? All this, this voodoo with flashing lights and burnt corpses is not the case we're here to solve. I don't agree. If we can understand what this is about, then we can find your missing agents. Oh, is Dick's really a Seattle reference? Nice, mm -hmm. they did their homework. That's fun. So, what's the connection with Gordon Solling? You mean, why was a Gordon's hauling truck both here and at the warehouse? Yeah. They were involved in the smuggling. Where's the truck? Totally empty. I've got an evidence crew going over right now. What about the Terracon? Where does the Terracon fit into all this? Obviously, they were part of the smuggling. Either they fried themselves mishandling plutonium, or someone had them killed. My Chex Mix is here. They just delivered it. You that's that's to... not in game. That's uh, that's IRL outside the Retro Pal <laughs> Studio. <laughs> Do you want me to get it? Um, because it's raining. I mean, it's sealed. Uh, it's we could. It'll probably be fine for the next forty minutes. Okay. <laughs> Wait, there were two packages though. Except I forgot what was in the other one. I'll take my chances. Okay. What did the man from Charno want with Mulder? Yeah, I was smuggling Chex Mix. I don't know, but whatever it was, it didn't look friendly. Who was he? Don't have an ID on him yet. He was very badly burned. What about uh, Gordon Holland? Could somebody over there ID him? Nobody answers the phone. And apparently there's no one on the premises. I sent a Duval County Sheriff over there. No luck. Is my Chex Mix contaminated? Yes, plutonium infused, according to chat. Fucking aliens. Fucking Chex Mix alien. Well, you... I've asked about all this. Okay. Um. Okay, now get out of here. Go left. Oh, I can watch this again if I like. Okay. Let's have a look at the... Uh... Wow, yeah. That guy just exploded. Cool. Go left, forward, go to your work desk, and uh, get the faxes from the machine. And look at them. Industrial grade lead container, apparently used for the transportation of hazardous nuclear materials. Cool! There is residue levels of radiation remaining in the interior storage portion of the container. This radiation has been determined to be hazardous to humans under prolonged exposure. Boy, that Wonderful. guy at the coroner's office is going to be pissed. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh. Pranked, bro. Oh, man. Well, luckily, all okay. the densely radioactive material apparently had been uh, removed. There's just traces of it. Okay, uh, go back and give, um, let's see. Talk to her, talk to Asadorian, and uh, we'll not let you. Was there something else I was supposed to register? Yeah, you were. Su uh, go back. Maybe you need to pick it up. No. Okay, that's odd. Uh, it says you're supposed to um, speak with her. Can I give her the facts? Yes, give her the facts. Okay. about this listen she'll love the jalian i don't want that <sighs> you'll be glad to know in that episode there is an alien who chain smokes so cool. it works wow that settles it they're smuggling plutonium god we have to stop this they could kill a lot of people 
Okay, cowboy, let's go. We're burning daylight. Where are we going? To the coroner's office to get the autopsy reports on the burn victims. <laughs> Talking to us like we're a real, real uh, idiot. Ask if you could shower first. Can I take a shower? I'm Can I shower first? I don't know, can you? I may need some help. Then I guess you better call that partner of yours. I hear Cook scrubs a mean back. Mother, may I take a shower? All right. Uh, Are we going to actually take a shower? No, you need to travel to the Seattle coroner's office. God. Ugh. Jeez. Ugh. We got Sorry. our filth from yesterday. We've been to the freaking dock. We smell like fish and seagulls and dead people. Really not going to let me shower, huh? Nope. You got to smell bad. Tell you what, we're on disc three. I'm going to make a, a bold prediction here mm -hmm. and say we're on the right track. So I'm going to quadruple save. Oh, good. Four times the saving. Four times the misery when we eventually fuck up and realize we should have done something on disc one. God, I hope I didn't. If this if this fact leaves out something, I swear to God, uh, X Dragon XX or whatever this guy's name <laughs> is, you're you're a. I will leave a mean comment. All right, so let's... Can we look at the mail? Can you? It doesn't say anything about checking your email, but sure, why not? Temporary account. Majestic shipping. Oh, it's probably the person who said they were going to fax you that number. Remember that old man? Um. Well, I'm here right next to my computer, so oh. how about we go ahead and check that? Okay. Or Am I going to do things out of sequence? I don't know if it's doing something out of sequence. Well, I quadruple saved, so if we fucked up, and I'm not supposed to look at the, the email. You've got mail. There's two different sexy voices for getting mail. Oh, no, I want, I want, I want this one. Hey, there's our phone numbers. Okay, now you know. The Speakeasy Lounge. This, that dates that dates this game boy, so much. Boy, does it ever. Mm -hmm. Back when we thought the internet was just something you could go to a cafe and spend half an hour browsing. Be like, yep, I've seen everything on the internet. No, every cafe is basically an internet cafe, if you think about it. Except for those asshole ones. They're all like, ooh, oh, pretend it's the 90s, other. talk to each other. Nobody talked to each other in the 90s either. Shut yeah, up. we all hated each other back then, too. Mm-hmm. All right, now we can go to the medical examiner's office. Coroner? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the inbox zero alien. He's <laughs> quite an elusive fellow. Gotta hate coming here. <laughs> Why do we keep coming here for dinner? As near as I That's can tell, idea. this man wasn't burned to death in any ordinary sense. He has all the appearances of suffering from Hiroshima-like radiation exposure. Okay, talk to the coroner. Ask all questions. Can we talk to the corpse? Sure. Welcome, bad idea. We are halfway through X in the files. Ooh. I have a theory. Mm -hmm. What's your theory? I want to test it out. Are you going to try to shoot the corpse? It's a theory. Okay. I guess shooting a gun isn't technically a theory. A game theory. <laughs> I really can't believe I'm having to do this. <laughs> After five years so at the you Bureau, you should know better. Corpse. Oh, we didn't get arrested at I least. I need your badge and gun. Well, it's not illegal to kill someone who's already dead. It's just in bad taste. It's rude. It's very rude. Unbefitting an agent. I can see why they did that. Man remains dead after morgue shooting. <laughs> Who are we talking to? The lady? Yeah. What makes you think it's radiation? Well, first off, I don't know much about it, but he was burned from head to toe. Literally. Fire damage never does that. Secondly, I cut his clothes off him. They were pretty much undamaged. You see this? That's the imprint of the logo from his shirt. That's caused by thermic rays. Similar effects were observed at Hiroshima. Kimono patterns were burned into the skin of the wearer. Inverse shadows of objects were permanently etched into walls. Grim. Hey, you say war crime, I say we're just having fun here. A graveyard theory. 
Are there any similarities between this and the Terracon victims? The effects are almost identical. We didn't figure it out with the Terracon because, well, it really didn't occur to us. I mean, this is highly unusual stuff, you know. Sometimes we don't see the extraordinary even when it's right in front of us because well, we just weren't expecting it. I'm not here for the extraordinary. I just, I want to see Mulder and Scully. I wonder how close we are. Any leads on the missing Terracon crew? No. Whoever did it was good. They got in here, got the bodies without leaving a trace of any kind. <laughs> you know, just uh, just theoretically, if um, if someone were to were to were to toss around that big lead ball like a football <laughs> for a couple hours after work with the boys, uh, would mishandling radioactive materials cause these injuries? I mean, uh, probably not, right? We're okay. Could mishandling radioactive materials cause burns like this? Again, I don't think so, but I don't know much about it. Mishandling radioactive materials might account for Mr. Wong's tumors, but a burn like this would have to be a blast of some sort. Dun, dun, dun. So, we need to go to Gordon's Hauling in Charno. And before, the, once you get there, you need to save it, sis. We're going to meet Charno? Cool. Cool, cool crap. Makes sense that she was behind this. So you're going to have a quick thing you're going to have to do. Not once you get there, but once you get into a fight. So. Okay. All I'm right. We're I'm at gonna... the Cherno boss fight. Okay. I'm just going to go and die. And then you can tell me what to do. Okay. And you saved, right? Yeah. Sweet. Well, they're obviously not very security minded. I know. With all this nice stuff around, too. It's the same truck from the warehouse. We're obviously in the right place. Yeah, good foley here. Nice sounds of foot hitting earth. All right, so you need to go forward into the... You need to go forward. Okay. Let's go forward. Math? Who brought who who brought up math? No Are we gonna have to math? math? I ain't math and shit. Okay. Now you go forward into the office. Oh, Cherno, okay. <laughs> I've taken perfect lessons. So much mood lighting in this game. It's a really well shot game. Okay, turn. Okay, go forward into the office. That's what we intend to find out if they appear in this game. They yeah. appeared in the intro. Yep. Hold up. Yep. Turn right and look down, but don't touch the logbook. Do not touch the logbook. Once you touch the logbook, it triggers an attack. So once, let me tell you what your steps are once you do the logbook. Okay. Uh, when you uh, touch the logbook, you get an, you get attacked. Quickly look just left of the bomb file cabinet for a close-up of the floor. Take the shovel, turn left to face her fridge, and look down at the grate next to the fridge, and then use the shovel to open the grate and escape. Make sense? Yeah, that does make sense. So okay. as soon as I pick up this book, we're going to get ambushed, mm -hmm. and we got to get out. you got to look left. Do it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just toss it to you. Oh, I see. Are you all right? It's okay. I found what we're looking for. What is it? Look at this. It's a manifest. It details a number of shipments between that uh, dockside warehouse and uh, rural Route 1121 in Fanta County, Washington. I guess I know where we're headed. This wasn't a wasted trip after all. Great. Let's get out of here. Yeah. We're locked in. Okay, look. Hang on. Okay, good. good. <laughs> I know how to solve this problem. We have a lock pick. Why not use it? Okay, so you're going to look just left. 
To the right? Yep, got it. I... Oh my god. There's a bomb in here. We have to get out of here now. I want to get blown up. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Hmm, 39 seconds, huh? I got it. We're playing as Agent Wilmore, who's a nerd, and the lady who's with us is, uh, what's her name? I forget her name is, but... Problem she's... solved. Oh, there he is! Hey, we found him! He is, is in this one. This is apparently the only way to see that ending. Wow, to all right. him is doing that, so... I followed my gamer instinct. Mm -hmm. What? Try again. It's never said that before. Oh, I see. Right before these open-ended uh, QTs, it just gives you a continue point. That's pretty nice. Oh, my... Tell you what I'm going to do, though. In case this game accounts for the fact that you failed a sequence, I don't want that on my record, so I'm just going to load the file. This is a perfect playthrough. Okay, so... Oh, whoops, I shouldn't have okay, turned around. Okay, we can God. do it from here. Okay. There's a bomb in here. We have to get out of here now. Oh my God, JC. Okay, look left, uh, just left of the bomb file cabinet. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Okay. Look left. Don't move left and look left. That's fine. This window's yeah, wired right. to the bomb. Yeah, right. There. This may take a few tries. I'm not too worried. Okay, get the shovel. And then turn left. Look down. It's cool that there's a scene playing out behind us while this happens. Uh, can you look down again? Oh, there it is. See that grate? Use the grate. Use the shovel on that grate. Okay. And that should do it. Oh, yeah, first time! Mm. Damn, why was I being on there? You're great. Yeah. Shit, Danny, expert gamer. Oh, shit. Wow. Sorry, everybody. That completely maxed out the volume for me, too, so. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> that was a nice oh. explosion. Sometimes like this, I wish I still smoked. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I find things like this quite bracing. So I guess you're going to want me to drive. Let's kiss. That would be a nice gesture. Well, I never survived the bomb before. Yeah, well, it happens to me all the time. Well, you can try. Why don't you click on your picture, honey? Um, you probably shouldn't do that. I mean, I would love for you to. Don't get me wrong, but... We should probably wait until this case is wrapped before we go tampering with the evidence. <laughs> that smile. All right. Um, <laughs> now you can talk to her. Hey, Mwah. hey, hey, look. <laughs> nice lips. <laughs> Looks like you had an encounter with the bee alien. <laughs> Who was that guy? He was incredibly strong. Yeah, I kind of got that impression. You think he works out? There was something weird about his eyes. Did you see that? No, I was too busy being knocked across the room to catch that little detail. Yeah, that was a very reasonable response, especially considering they just escaped a giant explosion. He seemed... there was something wrong with him. Almost like he was being controlled by something. I know if it was me, I'd be like, oh, we barely survived, kiss me. And use all the idea icons. I guess we know why the gate was left open. I mean, it wasn't just small-town coziness. No. Gate was left open, so something would get in there and set that bomb off. Yeah, but was it meant for us or that guy? Hmm. Was the bomb meant as a trap, or was it protecting something in the office? Like what? Information in that logbook? The rural route address, for instance? Well, anything in there would be pretty hard to read now, that's for sure. I think the bomb was meant to trap and kill somebody. How many takes do you think it took before he correctly pronounced rural route? Oh my god. That's a nightmare. That's where most of the budget I'd, went. I demand a rewrite. <laughs> so, who owns the hauling yard? Duh, Russian mobsters. <sighs> Are you ready Duh. to go? I sure am. You're driving, remember? Right. What a day. Alright, time to go back to your apartment. Are we taking her back to the apartment? The way you said that, maybe.
is there a romance subplot in this X-Files video game? It wouldn't be too out of place. Can I can I romance her by showing her the jeans alien? <laughs> she like that? I'll show her the scrapbook full of all the aliens I've been chasing. <laughs> here's the jeans alien. Uh, here's the weed alien. Here's another weed alien. This guy's really popular. <laughs> oh, it's just us. Oh, Home alone on a Friday night. All right. God, turn. we're pathetic. <laughs> uh, turn left and go to your computer. Forward. Yeah. And you need to go online. <laughs> the Whalian. So you need to go to... I guess the ING. And look up uh, some topics. Yeah. Go to... This is supposed to be a media search. Uh, you're supposed to look up... Maybe what? it's under photo. Maybe. We haven't taken any photos recently. We did take a photo of the title screen. Okay, because what it, <laughs> it exactly says, for background information, run a media search on topics such as Tarakan, Georgia, Russia, Plutonium. Yeah, I don't know what they mean by this. We can look up Skinner. Cool. Near bald. Well, apparently this is optional, so... Yeah. I'm not too concerned. Bolo. Orpi beep do. Bolo be on the lookout, Bolo. Yeah, I think they just want us to become more immersed in the story or whatever. Yeah, it looks like you... They mean run a search in real life, maybe? I was going to say, maybe, maybe <laughs> Get off the it's... PS1. Search the internet. Go to your local library. Yeah, it doesn't tell you how to... It says... Whatever. Nice Aquafina product placement. Mm -hmm. Nice baby product placement. Fucking the baby corp getting too old. Oh, I sure want a baby. Damn it. Advertising works again. All right, what do we do after that? Uh, Go to bed. Okay. It's been a long day. We survived an explosion. Let's say goodnight to J. Ed. Night, dude. <laughs> He's watching over us. That's so... whatever. What if J. Edgar Hoover joined the Ramones? I mean, you know. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20 hours ago to go. <laughs> Boy, playing this game, I want to be sedated. <laughs> What if J. Edgar Hooter? Who said... Uzi! Uh, Alright, so you need to exit here. Uh, you just need to go to the FBI field office. Or to the toilet. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. I wish we could bring up the uh, lips mark so we could put a big pair of lips on us. Oh, me too. I wish we could kiss ourselves. Yeah, this guy deserves better self-esteem. He seems pretty capable. He's he's all right. I I don't know. The J. Edgar Hoover po framed photo was a little weird. Maybe it is weird that the actual show was 4 by 3 and this is entirely in CinemaScope. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did you say we needed to do? Um, we need to go to the FBI field office. Okay. and back doing some work paperwork you know how much paperwork is there when a building blows up probably like a lot right I assume a little bit more okay so go right forward you're going to enter the meeting room and then talk to agent cook his head is a giant pair of lips it's like the residence or whatever this is twisted hey buddy Good news. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I cracked your case for you. What are you talking about? Hey, thanks. Evgeny Smolnikov, known head of a ring of Georgian smugglers. And I have a witness who placed him at the dock the night of Wong's murder. I ordered surveillance on his little love nest, and since this morning, we've accumulated enough evidence to warrant a raid. 
We leave ASAP. The SWATs are joining us at the site. No need to thank me. I also heard small macaw. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing with this guy? All right, hold on one second here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to ask him everything. Okay. What about Astadorian? You should call and tell her what you're doing. Done. Already left her a message. I'm the Martha Stewart of crime prevention. And if she gets her took us down here before we leave, she's welcome to play too. We're bringing Martha Stewart into this? Think like an FMV era designer. I don't have nearly enough drugs for that. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about this? I was going to tell you. But the evidence just opened up this morning and now we're going in. And besides, you were pretty much out of pocket yesterday, if I recall. <laughs> yeah, the Martha Stewart of crime prevention. <laughs> knowing knowing her experience with, with uh, prison. This is my investigation. Oh, contraire. This is our investigation. Hey, I'm just trying to catch the bad guys. You do remember that little thing we do, catching the bad guys? That thing you do, you know, catching the bad guys. I'm not going to let you do this. Come on, man, what are you busting my chops for? That isn't like you. I'm just trying to do my job. Now, what are you getting all proprietary about? What are you busting my ones Clearly, for? Clearly, that guy <laughs> is undoubtedly smuggling plutonium into the Pacific Northwest. It's my guess he's a key to your missing FBI agents. So, suit up. Let's go. I'm wearing a suit. You have, you have a warrant? What do I look like? Mark Furman? <laughs> yes. I have a federal Jesus warrant from a federal Christ. judge. <laughs> this fucking guy. This fucking guy is the Retro Pals of 90 re 90s references. <laughs> Just throwing them out. Doesn't matter if it's funny or relevant or makes sense. Hey, Alex, Mark Furman. Get it? Get it? Get it? Yes. Yes, Mark fucking Furman. If the glove don't fit, the alien must acquit. Who's Jesus. the witness? What witness? The identified Smolnikov? <laughs> Who do I look like? Yeah. Dennis Miller? <laughs> Fred Kohler, 56, indigent. Was sleeping under a tuna net not 50 yards away from the murder. Heard and saw everything. I'd like to question him. Sure. Whatever you want. After the raid, he's all yours. Now let's go. The Carlos Mencia of Retro Pals. I don't even want to know what that is. Okay, you asked everything? Yeah. You gotta save. There is a shooting sequence coming up. Ooh. Mm -hmm. The way you are, you're, you're, you're high. I'm ready, I'm ready for action. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been a single action sequence in this game other than the QTEs where you just kind of die if you don't do everything right. I'm ready for real action. Okay, you saved? It's double save. You make it sound pretty important. There, preserved. Okay, so you're going to need to go to, uh... Don't do that. The Smolnikov uh, warehouse from the, your PDA. Okay. And that's also in Seattle, so... <laughs> Everyone just throwing out their favorite 90s mm -hmm. references now. I see Lorena Bobbitt, I see Dennis Leary, Tim, Tim McVeigh. Thank you, thank you, everybody. <laughs> it's, like we're, it's like Leno all over again. Hey, you remember Judge Ito? Oh my god, Danny. Alright, it's in Seattle. We're going to go buy us a white Ford Bronco and head down the highway. Where are we heading? Uh, the Smolnikov Warehouse. <laughs> Dancing Eidos. Like 90% of the chat doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And you don't need to know either. Mm -mm. It's all in the past. Leave it in the past. Where's the backup? I called Seattle PD SWAT boys, they're on the way. But we should wait. I say we get this over with. Surveillance reported that Smolnikov entered the building alone. You were saying? After you. Okay, in your inventory. Yeah. Click on your handgun. Okay, when you move the pointer back into the viewing area, it becomes a crosshair. Yes, okay. So. What kind of gun is this? Someone knows. Is this an okay, AK or an AR? Get, uh, after you get cover fire from Cook, which I think you got, and turn yeah. right, three goons appear. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, or don't do that. He just sighs. 
It's like, ugh, that idiot got himself killed again. Ugh, it's gonna be so much paperwork. <laughs> Instant loss. That was pretty good. <laughs> he got an AR? Okay, that makes sense. We're loaded. We're ready for this. Okay, I guess the sequence is timed, so we better have our gun out when we make that, uh, make that turn. Yeah, federal agent shot to death. It's a much more dramatic way of conveying that information. So, yeah, get your handgun ready. It's ready. And then once you get cover from uh, Cook, Where's the backup? Around. I called Seattle PD SWAT boys. They're on the way. I we think wait. in I order think to ask for cover, you need to click the, uh, small the, the operate the alone. icon. Because <laughs> if you just turn right, you get shot. You were saying? Okay. After you. Cover me. Cover me. You got it. Oh, this is loud. Sorry, turn right. You want to maybe uh, turn down the desktop audio just a little bit for the folks? Okay, just for the sequence, it'll be down a bit. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm going to want to turn right mm -hmm. and uh, hit each of those guys. <laughs> what a cool pose. When you have a successful kill, the crosshair will flash red. God damn it. Okay, I see. So try it again from here. It'll yeah. be a little bit easier. Okay. So <laughs> okay, we got this. Wait a minute. No, we have to We have to ask for the covering fire first. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got this. Yeah, we got it. Fire, right? Okay, deep breath. Deep breath. We can, we can do this. Pull out gun. Ask for covering fire. Cover me. You got it. This is still so loud. That's cool. Then shoot that gun. <laughs> this is the hardest thing in the world. Cover me. You got it. I think we can do this. Okay, you got this. So they appear in a different place each time. Yeah, it's not it's not scripted like Mad Dog McCree. This is uh this is a roguelike uh shooting gallery. Hold on, let me bring up chat again. <laughs> okay. Okay. I Cyber City vibes? Yes. Seventh, yes. Seventh tries the charm, as they say. Oh my god. You're doing great. Cover me. You got it. Now there's three guys in here, you say? Mm-hmm. Got one. Then there's the third of this. Got him! Got him, great, okay. Now. I'm gonna uh, save again. Okay, give me a sec to figure out where we are. Okay. Make sure to click on your gun, then click on Cook, who fires cover rounds. Okay, mm -hmm. you, you shot all three guns. After clearing out the first floor, which you did, go three forward. Federal agent greased. <laughs> three forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. One. Two. Uh. Oh, man. Oh, God damn it. I don't know where you... Okay, I've gone forward twice. Okay, uh, you just go uh, three forward onto the stairs, so you need to turn back around. Oh, okay. There was a different forward. Yeah, apparently. I see. So, because you're going, yeah, go out go that way. One of them puzzles. Okay, go up the stairs. Two. Okay. Um, up and four to. Okay. Uh, go three forward. So up. shoot the lips off the cockroach alien. Okay, so uh, you just go three forward, up and four to the second floor. I'm at the second floor. Okay. Uh, get your gun ready. Turn right twice. And then you're gonna need to shoot someone. The fuck? The fuck? Need to go up these stairs too. Yeah, try those stairs. Okay, turn right twice and shoot someone. Turn right twice again. Nice! Shoot another goon. Turn right twice? Uh, yes. And he's gonna be behind those doors. Got him. 
strike, one of those hit him. <laughs> okay, now we've got a long way to go, so do not move. Let's see. Do me a solid. Yeah. That was a hell of a handgun. You could fire like 12 <laughs> bullets in a second. And the Ultimo gives us 100 bits and says, this is the best Ground Zero Texas rifle. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Thank you. Yeah, there should be <laughs> should be an officer who just yells out, don't shoot me. Okay, so let me figure out where we are. Okay. We killed the second goon up here. Good. Turn right. Yeah, our buddy's just at the entrance making sure everything turned out okay. Right. Forward, not down, but forward. Okay. Right. Right. Up. Oh, they make it complicated to navigate these stairs. Forward. Uh, forward. Forward. Left. Down. Down. Mm -hmm. Forward. Freeze! Not right! Don't shoot! Holy jazz guy. Don't move. Don't shoot him. Okay. Look, get down here. I've got him. I'm following you. Where were you? Secure on the first floor. Okay, Mr. Smolnikov. What gives? Why are you here? <laughs> What's the deal? I've done nothing. You have no right to come in here like this. This isn't Russia. Shut up. You're under arrest. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I'll Miranda him. You secure the place. But at a 38 downstairs back left corner. Oh, we gotta go find. Don't the gun. talk to this guy. Okay. There's a very long. Yeah, there's another long walking sequence coming up. Okay. Let's drop a save here. All right. Four. But what if we did shoot him? Don't do that. Well, okay. I guess. I guess we shouldn't. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh boy. Okay. <sighs> Calming breaths. We go forward. Left. Up. Forward. Right. Forward. Right. Forward. Down. D down? Oh, man. They mean like left and down? Yeah. Forward. Okay, good. Then to right. Forward, not up. Uh. Oh, did we get lost? Um. Well... We are on the first floor now. Okay, hold on. Right. Okay, so we're at the first floor. Yeah. Do you see the... Ar no, this is the second floor, because the second floor had the boarded up window guy, right? Oh, we're still in this room. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay, no, no, we can start this again. So <laughs> right, forward. Back from the beginning. And always twirling, twirling towards the future. Left. <laughs> up. Up. Forward. Now, right... Forward. Right. Forward. Down. Forward. Okay. Then right. Right. Forward. Not up, but forward. Right. I mean forward. <laughs> uh, right. Right. Down. Fucking hell. Forward. Right. Down. I wish I was playing silent debuggers. Forward. <sighs> okay, you'll see the open front door. Go right. Forward. Right. Forward. And look at the payroll manifest on the table. Try and take it. Wait, hang on. All I can do is look at it. Okay, well, let's look at it. <clears throat> can you look at it anymore, or does it just give you the front page? No, that's that's it. Okay, all right. Okay, so... Da, 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 turn right. 
and look at the black eagle emblem on the open crate. Ooh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, then um, from let's see, uh, go forward, look down, get that gun. We found it. It was hiding. Yep, definitely point it right towards you. <laughs> Ooh, and now we gotta go back to um, Smolkanoff and Cook, so don't... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, okay. did you move already? No. Okay, cool. Uh, go right. Two forward. Uh, right. Right. Forward. Forward, onto the stairs. Uh, right. You mean oh, forward, climb right. the stairs? Yeah, yeah, and then right. Right. I'm uh, starting to get a sense of how navigation works. Yeah, you're getting it. It's still extremely fucked forward, up. Forward. Right. Right. Uh, for, forward. Right. <laughs> right. Alex, you're a real uh, trooper. Thank you. Forward. Forward, forward, left, down, <laughs> forward. This is so tortured. Done. Okay. You should be... There you go. You should save, because I don't want to do that again. <laughs> I don't want to do it either. Thank you, Alex. Now, uh, just ask this guy all the questions, and then you're going to go back to the crime lab if you want to stop it uh, at after we finish talking to the guy. I think that's a good stopping okay, point. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get to the bottom of this mystery first. Oh, yeah. We've earned this. So, where's that plutonium? Where's the plutonium you were smuggling? What? I handle all sorts of things, but never that. You are fucking crazy. He says it's crazy talk. What about Wong's body? Why did you kill Wong? Because he talked to us? What are you trying to hide? I didn't kill Wong. I knew him. He maybe did some work for me, but I didn't kill him. Why did you kill the Terracons crew? I didn't kill nobody. They were my men. Why would I kill them? There was a fire. Right. A fire you set afterwards to hide what you've done. I may be a smuggler, so are lots of people, but I didn't kill anybody. Thank you for the 100 bits from the Ultimo. Uh, this came his way before Jack Bauer interrogations. Yeah, no, Yeah, Jack Bauer would get the results like in a tenth of the time that this guy does. He'd, he'd also probably shoot them. I didn't do it. I didn't kill anybody. I am a smuggler and a murderer, but I wouldn't murder. We have payroll logs from the Terracon that show that Wong worked for you. We found documents that match downstairs. So? That proves nothing. Well, what about warehouse? What about warehouse? What did you keep in that warehouse? What do you mean? You're in my warehouse. Shit, he's got us there. Mm-hmm. Well, what about this smoking gun? You're right. It's a thirty-eight. Yeah? And I bet you it's the same gun that killed Wong and shot Scully. You better get a ballistics test run. It isn't my gun. Yeah, yeah. All right, we've okay. exhausted all of our options. All right, so next stop is the crime lab where we get the gun tested. Let's test that gun and then call it a day, I think. Sounds good. To the crime lab. This game's pretty wild. It again, is. I am... <laughs> again, especially for a console-ported FMV adventure mystery game. So much more than I'd expect from something like Fox Hunt. Oh, you can uh, turn up the desktop audio oh, again. Oh, yeah. You're not shooting anymore. There's no more bullets. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Wilmore. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? You don't look so good. I don't feel so hot. What's wrong? I don't know. I think I'm coming down with the flu or something. Oh, What's man. Up? It's 
because he handled the radioactive material, isn't it? Oh, did we poison our friend? Well, let's show him the gun. I suppose you want me to fire that. You guessed it. Great. My headache just went away. I'm sorry. You really don't feel good, do you? Nope. Let's go. We really should have known better. Wow, a sure test enough, firing they barrel. All three match. Cool. Great. Thanks, man. I hope you're feeling better. So, you want to quit there? Let's save. Okay. All right, we found the gun. We test fired it. There are many mysteries, but we're getting to the bottom of this. We found the guy who set the boat on fire. Uh, he says he didn't kill anyone, though. It's all just a theory at this point. I I feel bad. I really hope this guy doesn't die because of us. Yeah, I'm gonna feel really bad if he dies from radiation poisoning. I'd prefer that don't doesn't happen. <laughs> this poor fucker. A, a game theory, Uzi. It's just a game theory. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my checks mix is outside. We gotta end this. Yeah, time. we gotta go. We gotta go. Thank you for watching X Files. I have a feeling that the next time we stream this, it'll be the thrilling conclusion to the game. Uh, I, are we at the end of disc three or like halfway through? Um, it doesn't say when we're, where we're at, but we are nearing the end of the facts. So okay, good. Yeah, I next time it. around, uh, maybe as soon as next Monday, we will see the thrilling conclusion Ooh. to the X-Files for PS1. I'm looking forward to that. On disc four, we will find Agent Mulder. We will find Agent Scully. And as God is my witness, I will try to shoot them both. <laughs> Just to see what happens. Danny, I support you in your quest to kill There's the no stars way. of the X-Files. There's no way the game's going to let me do that, but we're going to try anyway. And knowing the way this game does things, it's probably going to be pretty funny. <laughs> I'm excited. Welcome, everybody, to Multimedia Monday. Today, we are finishing up the X-Files for the original PlayStation, a game that I didn't know what to make of at first, but boy, it has really won me over. I love this game. What yeah. a good game. I can't wait to see the uh, the finale today. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish up the last of Disc 3 and then head on into Disc 4, where hopefully, after an entire month of searching, we'll find David Duchovny. <laughs> We, that was our original our original pitch for this. Uh, it was all like, which celebrity do you want to see in a video game? Hey, patrons, you should vote for this. They voted, and then a month later, we still haven't seen neither hide nor hair of Mr. Duchovny. Yeah, where is he? I don't know. David, he's, what the hell? You've been dodging our call. He's somewhere He's somewhere on disc four. I'm sure of it. We're going to okay. find him, and then we're going to give him what for. All right. Should we get just get started? Let's get started. Okay. Let's play this video game. I'm ready to finish this up. Happy, happy Multimedia Monday to everybody. To all who celebrate. Everybody who uh, goes down to the dockyards and digs in the dirt, hoping to find some residue of the Jalian. Oh all our efforts are about to pay off. And happy birthday to Juan! Oh yeah, happy birthday, man. Many Elmos to you. <laughs> Maybe that's who is at the end of this game. That's the original Gene's alien. Mm -hmm. uh, let's watch that intro one last time. One more time. I, I can't. I just can't get sick of this intro. It's so perfectly nineties. <laughs> this is a good song. We should put it on pure moods. No, I have a better idea. What if we remixed it and put it on pure moods? There we go. Can we get DJ Dado? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! Now we're talking. DJ Dado, a uh, alias for David Duchovny. <laughs> Oh, man. It's all coming together. We've been to many places. We've seen a lot of propaganda about eating the corn. Mm-hmm. Eat the corn! I can't wait to get to the bottom of this. I'm seeing some VHS residue on that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> on that video rip. Did you see that at the bottom? Yeah. It was all like, yeah, they just recorded it on a, one of those six-hour videotapes. Good. As it should be. All right. We left off in the crime lab mm -hmm. or the, the morgue or one of those. It was the crime lab. Um, okay. We, we asked this guy all the questions. He's feeling mysteriously sick after <laughs> we've delivered our last package to him. I already feel guilty for it. Thank you to the Ultimo for 500 bits. The truth is out there. Say it the Gex. Nevermore. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> A terrifying tale. Much appreciated.
All right, what are we doing here? Okay, so we had uh, this guy test Smolkanov's gun, and yeah. now we need to go back to the warehouse. So go to your PDA. Mm-hmm. And... We have Meryl. We'll check that later. Uh, go to Seattle. Oh, was it Charno or Seattle? I think it's Charno. No, that's not it. When did we Is get it? a battle Charno? I'm sick okay. of this. They keep teasing this Toho crossover. It's never okay. going to happen. I think it's in Seattle. Yeah, we're we're guilty of friend poisoning. Mm -hmm. Or it, that is my suspicion. The guy suddenly got ill between uh, the last disc and now. Because we had, like, we gave him something, like, radioactive. Yeah, that's it. We don't know that for sure at the warehouse. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, it once had radioactive material, but it's probably okay now. It's fine. Oh, yeah, we cornered this guy and found a gun here okay. in his warehouse. We uh, have to ask him. Yeah, why don't you talk to him about the gun? This guy has a giant pair of lips for a head. I think I we found our alien. I mean... Mm-hmm. Where are the FBI agents? What are you talking about? We found the woman's blood in your warehouse. What warehouse? You're in my warehouse. Your gun shot her. We have a forensics man. I kill no FBI agents. All right. Let's get him downtown and process him. Come he on. speaks in riddles. He <laughs> kills not FBI okay, agents. Get him some more once it gets this sorted out. Get the local police to secure the warehouse. Let's go. Yeah, we're turning this up a little bit. Thank you. You should answer your phone. Phone call. It's Amos. That boat you sent me onto was radioactive. What? That boat? The Terracon? Had dangerously high levels of radioactivity. He sent me into a hot area. That's what's wrong with me. I don't have the flu. I have radiation sickness. Oh, man, John, I am so sorry. <laughs> I don't that, know what to say. That doesn't really cut Just it. Just be more careful before you get somebody killed. Yeah, what the fuck? Oops, yeah. Whoops. Uh, well, you know, what's a, what's a little mistake between friends? You know, all friendships have their ups and downs. Why don't we go home to our Who apartment? hasn't sent our best friend to a radioactive Holy hot zone? Holy shit, we fucking... God, what an asshole. Oh, dude, that sucks. Sorry to hear that, bro. Like, yeah, he just got it. fired oh, or I'm something. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, good fucking... Anyways, no, we're, we're going to Seattle and we're going... Okay. And we're going to our apartment. We got stuff to do at home. We're going to have a good night's sleep. With a good you know, knowledge of a job well done. Wasn't I out? Weren't we on that boat, too? <laughs> How do we not have radiation poisoning? Uh-oh. Are we the Jalian? Um, so welcome, Sophia Bear. No, we haven't. Uh... We found out the truth about what happens when you send someone into a radioactive hot area. They, they don't They don't sick. like it. They send you a, a mildly peeved uh, voice message on your phone. Yeah, they were pretty chill, considering we were going to you know get that, them killed. You know that thing you did? It was pretty radioactive out there, man. Uh, that's a party foul. All right, why don't you go to your desk? Okay. So, forward. We still haven't hung up that freaking painting. Or done anything with our bear sculpture. Cool bear. <laughs> Welcome, real Soviet bear. <laughs> it's nice that you're in this game. You should have told me. All right. Yeah. Use your computer here. Yeah, go Bears. You should check your email. email. I have so much email to catch up on. By which I mean, uh... Who is Otto D? Oh, it's a stupid forwarded message. Probably some kind of chain letter. Yeah, see? Chain letter. Okay. John Doe dot dat. Click on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, why don't you search for that in the government military, uh... Yeah. Let's see what this comes up with. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, my God. All right, why don't you get out of here? It is Cherno. <laughs> she doesn't have fingerprints. And then why don't you check your phone's messages? Messages, messages. Like phone you can click messages? On the, mm -mm, uh, or the PDA? The phone next to the computer, yeah. Oh, okay. Different phones. Uh, No. There you go. Yeah. Huh? Ignore it. But Okay, the support check is late again. That's three months in a row. Look, you promised you'd get it together. I'm sick of this. 
Just do it. You're okay? a deadbeat dad. That wow, sucks. Wow, that does suck. And we're giving people radiation poisoning? Okay, so you should probably go answer that door. Should I fire through the door? You should not fire through the door. Are you sure that's not the solution? I am 100% sure. This, he is the most divorced guy with the Ramones posters and... Totally. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, you gotta... Yeah, and then turn. This isn't timed, is it? No. Please don't shoot this person. What the hell were you thinking? About what? About your little raid on the smugglers. I had turned that case over to the task force, and you two cowboys go running off shooting up a place without so much as a phone call? Yeah. You don't have any idea how <laughs> stupid I look. Um, you can say anything you want. Uh, Cook called you. I oh, like, I thought I Cook knew called you. He did not. <laughs> he did. He said he asked for SWAT backup, though they never did show up and we could have used the support. Look, don't lie to me. Our guy's a real Do dingus. Do you need to get that? But no, the machine will pick up. I guess I just had you all wrong. Agent Wilmore, we must meet right away. Your actions are endangering the lives of Mulder and Scully. They are alive, but they won't be for much longer unless you act quickly. This has nothing to do with Russian smugglers. Sandpoint, Hangar 4, Dawn. Come mm. alone, or I won't show up. I don't know what kind of ridiculous Twilight Zone BS that you're involved with. And you know what? I don't care. I only came over here to tell you one thing. Smolnikov was just released for lack of evidence. Oh, we were so close to kissing her, too. It's gonna need at least two dates to fix. Yeah, you gotta definitely go to, like, your school cafeteria or whatever. <laughs> and and as it was mentioned, yeah, this guy's a millennial icon, just being like, no, I'm not gonna answer the phone. <laughs> not ever. All right, so, uh, why don't we act, why don't we go to our bedroom? To sleep? Uh, to activate our PDA and look at our field notes. And we're looking at our phone in the bed? Yeah. Yeah, this guy's ahead of the game. Yeah, you love looking at J. Edgar Hoover every time. Well, it's right there. It's so weird. Not that you're looking at it, but that he has it in the house. I don't blame you. Okay, so go to the bedroom. Uh, activate your PDA and click on the pencil icon to read your field notes. You have field notes? Yeah. See the little pencil? Click on that. Um, scroll through the down the first page of notes. Then click the right pointing arrow at the lower right for the next page. So just scroll through every single one of them real fast. Uh, Hang on. Okay. Oh. How do you scroll? Good question. Um, I'll try a few more buttons. Okay. So scroll down. Then Oops, click I turned off the PDA. We'll get back in. Okay, try again. Yeah, where's all the dudes yelling at the camera, being like, you fuck up, you've ruined everything, arg, and then mm -hmm. it punches the camera. Mm-hmm. Is there really no way to scroll through these? No. Well, all right, ignore this guy. Oh, you're on a Newton, look, you're on an Apple Newton. Uh-huh, it's officially <laughs> licensed. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, you're good, okay, we just, we'll have to do that some other time. Why don't you click on the bed and take a nap? Yeah, why not? It's been a long day. Mm hmm We owe it to ourselves. You got yelled at, and when I get yelled at, I have to take a nap. Yeah, surprisingly little uh, first-person yell-ats in this game, considering that it's an FMV game. Woof, I'm beat. Hope I don't dream about the Jalian. <laughs> I'm just gonna dream about getting yelled at. Oh no, I hope I don't dream about showing up at the field office in my underwear. Oh no, the Jalian's yelling at me. <laughs> the Jalian's telling me to put on some chains. <laughs> chains. Ja alien jeans. Chains. <laughs> what do we do now? What a day of giving people cancer. Yeah! Okay, um, we need to use our PDA and travel to Sandpoint Hangar 4 in Seattle. Should I save? You should probably save. It's, yeah, I should probably save. Allison James. Yeah, multiple people, thank you for that. <laughs> God. All right. 
PDA, and we're heading out to beautiful where? Uh, we're heading out to beautiful Sandpoint Hangar 4 in Seattle. It's gorgeous this time of year. Mary Jane put on the alien chains. <laughs> Look at this shot. This shot is so nice for an FMV game. It, it, wasn't this, like, actually shot by the crew of the show? I think so. It looks really good. Amazing when you have an FMV game produced by professionals instead of dumbasses who don't know what they're doing. Not to say the producers of Surgical Strike didn't know what they were doing. All right, this okay. looks like an investigation so, hold sequence. Hold on, don't move yet. You got it. Uh, turn right, turn right, and turn right once more. <laughs> yeah, I That's know. Three rights. I know. <laughs> okay, um, go through the door on the right. Okay, there's two forward options here, and I assume this is uh... the door on the right. Yeah. Yeah, more warehouse puzzles, but they're different warehouses. Hey, they're not risky. How do we answer? You However you want. Okay. Perhaps you're not as inept as I had thought. We have very little time, so I, I didn't say anything. To carefully. The most important thing is that you cannot tell anyone that I was here or that we spoke. No one in the bureau. Not Cook, not Shanks, nor that Seattle police detective you've been teamed up with. Do you understand? a character from the show. I need your word on this, Agent Wilmore. Or I won't help you. We got to give him our word. You have my word is how we're supposed to answer. I can't make that promise. No, no. All okay. right. Well. <laughs> you have my word. Good. Listen very carefully to what I have to tell you. Lives are at stake here. Mm -hmm. Including your own. Uh-oh. Mulder and Scully are still alive. So you said. But they won't be much longer if you don't do something about it. Scully and Mulder are not together. You need to find the Jane Doe that was checked into the Presbyterian Hospital in Gold Bar three days ago. They're not She's dating? about to be released. This has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with smuggled Soviet plutonium. Perhaps another volume boost. Okay. This guy's a very quiet talker. He's trying to be discreet. Hey, everybody, there's a guy trying to be discreet over here. If you're going to help oh. Scully and Mulder, you're going to need something more than a gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Men have died in order to possess this. It is the knife alien. Oh, good. I'm going to loan it to you for a short time. Because without it, there's no way that you could survive. Master, you The man that Mulder and this. Scully were looking for and the man that you need to find if you're going to save them can only be killed by inserting this blade into the base of his neck. Ooh. Okay. Um, Do we kiss him? Uh, we got the odd-looking stiletto. Uh, I, I don't know if we... This can man is not what he seems. Oh. If the injury is not precise, he will kill you. Do not try firing a gun. Don't attempt to do anything except to use this. Oh, well, now you're just daring me. That you have it, <laughs> you're a dead man. Okay. We got the knife. Good. We have the magic stiletto. And that was Mr. X from the show. Don't forget the Jane Doe at Golba. And guess where we need to go? Um, another warehouse? Yeah, why don't you turn left? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Whoa! Take it easy, it's me. I can see that. <laughs> you get grumpy when your asses run ragged, don't you? What are you doing here? Are you kidding? After that phone message, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Yeah, well, you better be careful or you may run your ass ragged. Ooh. Oh, I wouldn't mind that, it was kind of cute. Cute. Precious springs to mind. So, we kind of have a lot to talk about, don't we? Yeah, I guess we do. Let's give him something to but talk first, about. first, Jane Doe in Gold Bar. So, uh, you want to go to the Gold Bar Hospital? 
I guess so. In Gold Bar? Gold Bar, Washington. I wonder what's there. Gold? <laughs> There's gold in them in our hospitals. <laughs> yes! Yes! We made it to disc four, and All our right. reward is our boss, Skinner. Good. Glad we get to see him finally. Wow, we were right at the end of disc three, huh? Why don't you push uh, F8? F8. Push F6. F6. And now F8. F8. This is it. This is the finale. The final chapters. I hope there's a lot of ways to fuck up. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm just looking at some of these directions. Hello. May I ask your business here? Uh, we're looking for Dana Scully. We're looking for Dana Scully. And who might you be? Oh, we're with the FBI. I'm with the FBI. May I see some identification? You gotta do it. You gotta do it, Danny. You gotta do it. You gotta show her the badge. Let me save, since okay. this is right at the beginning of the disc. I'm gonna make a double save, too. Fuck, we'll make it a triple save. I'm <laughs> tripling down. Hell yes. This is it. Don't stab her! Chat your... Chat's a stab, gun, gun. Yeah, what if she's the alien? We'll solve the case with plenty of time left. Oh, jeez. Maybe this is a sequence break. Maybe the speedrunners haven't uh, discovered this one. Right in the neck, huh? Oh, thank God I won't let you. Ugh, fine. <laughs> you shot her in the cheeks. You get what you deserve, Danny. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that this video is on all four discs. You can shoot out whoever you want at any time on any disc of the game. Shot right in the baba. Yeah, this is a 1cc. Try again. All right. Yes. Uh, do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him and I've misplaced his information. All right, say Walter Skinner. Fox Mulder. Shanks Walter Skinner. Is this is her room behind me. Okay, one second. Hold on. Uh, ask all the questions. How was her wound? It's begun healing. It was mostly superficial. As to her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. Other condition, huh? Is she ready to leave yet? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Moving wouldn't be life-threatening, but she might not find it very pleasant. Well, let's move her around. That sounds fun. Has anyone else come to see her? Oh, no. Thank God you're the first. How did she get here? She was brought in. By whom? This is what used to be called a sanitarium, Detective. We're not bound by the same strictures as a conventional hospital, nor would we follow them. We pride ourselves on discretion for the patients, the better they can heal. That sounds normal. Okay. What other condition? I haven't been able to diagnose it yet, so I've been treating the symptoms. Lethargy, nausea, extreme listlessness, dehydration, memory loss. That's just me every day. That... Just give her some Pedialyte. She'll be fine. Okay, yeah. so... How about this? What? Uh, how about this? Oh. I really can't believe I'm having to do this. After five years at the Bureau, Damn, you should know better. have to do it again. I, I didn't know the handcuffs back. would do that. <laughs> oh, I could have been arresting everybody I come across, too, in addition to shooting them. Oh, so much regret. Oh. So much wasted time. I could have arrested Skinner. I could have arrested the guy on the boat. I'm going to find if we can skip this. Yes. Uh... Do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him and I've misplaced his information. Maybe not. Walter Skinner, baby. Walter Skinner. This is oh, her room behind me. I we, do found, like... we found out the, uh, the arrest mechanics How on disc four. It's begun healing. It was mostly superficial. Can never arrest As to Selma. her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. We're going to take him downtown. Is she ready to leave yet? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Moving wouldn't be life threatening. Oh, look at our views. Nine six nine six nine. That's lucky. Oh wow. Is anyone Nobody visit our, our channel. Oh, no. no one watched. God, you're the this first. is the perfect view camera. How did you get here? She was brought in. By whom? This is what used to be called a sanitarium, detective. 
we're not bound by the same strictures as a I thought I made a good job. Nor would we follow I thought I did a good job arresting her, but which I mean made a good job. You did a very be. good job, and I think the game should give you some uh, credit conditions? for it. Yeah, I, I should get bonus points. I haven't been able to diagnose it yet, so I've been treating the symptoms. Lethargy, nausea, extreme listlessness, dehydration, memory loss. Yeah, it's called being a writer and a streamer. Okay, so uh, it says to save. I don't know you why. You got it. Should have done that last time. <laughs> okay, this seems exciting. Okay. So go forward. What forward. You? I can only turn. Oh, oh. wait, there we go. <gasps> Are you Dana Scully? Who are you? Uh, tell. No. Okay. Don't do that. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was a fake. It was a clone. See? Ah, <laughs> oh, it wasn't a clone. I keep trying to get ahead of the game. You got to finish this in as few moves as possible. You see, it's like Sherlock Holmes, uh, consulting detective. Don't do that. Looks like the the jeans alien is in good with the police department. Are you Dana Scully? Ah, oh, we should have arrested her. <laughs> Clone murder is still illegal. Who are you? She was the blue for lady. Uh, say that Skinner uh, sent us. Assistant Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I didn't know I was lost. Who are you? Uh, Agent Wilmore. Agent Wilmore. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? What if I answer this uh, wrong? A black man. A black man. What black man? We don't know his name. That's ridiculous. You better explain yourself or I'm calling for help. Who sent you here? Um, 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 you're going to want to show her your stiletto. Ah. I really can't believe I'm having to do this. That After was five that years was the bureau, you should know better. Scully threw me into I a QTE with no gun. warning. I thought we was friends. Scully? Scully? God. Okay. Wasted the hospital's time calling for help. And therefore, I lose my job. Are you Dana Scully? Who are you? I'm just going to have this at the ready. Oh, shit. Agent no. Mulder sent us. Agent Mulder? Where is he? Um, he's safe? Honey, he's I don't safe. want us to get into a Good. loop. Where is he? You don't know where Mulder he's is. He's waiting in the car. Who told you I was here? A black man. What black man? We don't know his name. That's ridiculous. You better explain yourself or I'm calling for help. Who sent you here? All right, short of the stiletto. Don't move. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it right this time. Okay. I really can't believe I'm having to do this. Oh, I just can't believe that you had Scully call for hospital staff. The whole damn hospital entered her room. Yeah, no time to think. None whatsoever. How do you show, you though? Scully? I, I had it at the ready. It's just... It says, when she asks you who told you she was who here, are you? click the stiletto icon in the lower right of the screen. Oh, the icon itself. I see. Skinner. Yeah. Assistant Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I'll go ahead and get I that I didn't at the know ready. I was lost. Who are you? Don't do that. I, I wasn't. Don't do that. Yeah, click on her to talk, maybe? Jeez. Say okay. Wilmore, yeah. Agent Wilmore. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? A black man. What black man? We don't now know his name. It was the man who gave me this. There we go. Uh -huh. right? He told me I couldn't tell anyone about it. <laughs> Thank Let's you, Ultima. Talk. Thank you, Ultima. For the advice. And the bits. <sighs> I 
Now uh, just talk to her. Okay. We finally got what we wanted. We can put a big pair of lips on Ancient Scully. <laughs> Mission accomplished. How are you doing? How, you How do you feel? Very weak. But actually, I feel a lot better than I did when I first came in here. It's radiation sickness, I bet. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any see? idea where Mulder is? I have no idea, but we need to find him. Could you have radiation poisoning? God, I hope not. But I suppose the symptoms do line up. Do All right, suck. show her uh, the warehouse photo. What happened in the warehouse? Mulder and I observed some suspicious traffic in and out of the warehouse. We went in to investigate. We were attacked by a number of armed men. I was shot. There was an odd light. Mulder carried me out of the warehouse. I blacked out and I woke up here. Hmm, can you get out of here and go to your inventory? Because you need to show her a photo. Okay. Uh, show her the photo of Smolkanov. This guy. Yeah. Do you know Carl Marx? Marx? Shot you? <laughs> no. I've never seen him before. Okay, now keep asking her questions. Proceeding with the investigation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stiletto and then ask about the terror can. What is this used for? You shouldn't show that quite so openly. <laughs> I don't know what it's used for. Perhaps Mulder can tell you. Well, if you don't know what it's for, how do you know it's forbidden? Is it like a sex thing? <laughs> it's the sex stiletto. Where does the Terracon fit into all this? Well, one way or another, they were involved in smuggling. I think that's a given. I think that there was an accident at sea involving plutonium, and Mulder thinks that they were somehow killed by an EBE. EBE? Extraterrestrial biological entity. <laughs> All right, yeah, ask her that question. We're on to something. We're finally going to get to the bottom of the genes alien. What did your autopsy on the crewman reveal? Yeah, it's a sex whistle. The crew had all been exposed to levels of radiation consistent with a large-scale nuclear blast. Now, Yikes. clearly that didn't happen, but Mulder took that as proof that a UFO had landed in the area and that an alien life form aboard the craft had irradiated the Terracon crew. I take it you don't subscribe to that theory? The radiation There is alien. always an alternate explanation. The radiation alien! You see, his genes had become I'm frayed. I'm afraid that's all I have to offer. And unable to contain the what radiation. What you two tell me? <laughs> well, there have been other burn victims. Yeah, it was Alf. I hope that doesn't mean that plutonium was being transported. Alf is radioactive as There's shit. an unidentified man involved. We encountered him at the burn site and then later again at the hauling yard. We found a connection between the warehouse and the hauling yard. It's a trucking outfit in Charna, Gordon's Hauling. They've made numerous deliveries between the warehouse and a rural route that we haven't had a chance to investigate. A rural route? Seems to me that we need to find the identity of the man from the hauling yard and that you two need to pay a visit to the rural route address. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get in touch with Assistant Director Skinner and then I'm going to check out of here. I can meet up with you two later at your field office, but I think that we have to hurry. Agent Mulder may be running out of time and if the smugglers do have him held hostage, they have little incentive to keep him alive. Carol's, I love the phrase, the titular Alf. <laughs> All right, are we done with uh, Scully we here? We are done. We need to go to Rural Root. God, they made multiple people pronounce that. I know. The Rural I... Juror. <laughs> Disc four of four. We're finally going to do it. We met Scully. We're on the, We're hot on the trail of Mulder. And I bet he's shacking up with the jeans alien. All right, we are going to Rural Route 1121. I don't know where that is. I think that's in Charno. I'm going to try to find an excuse to make you say that as many times as oh. possible. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Rural Route. <laughs> rural Route 1121. <laughs> oh, are you excited to go to a rail yard? Oh, boy. I love rail yards. The little PDA of yours was right. I'm impressed. Hey, I'm not afraid of technology. Thank you, Apple, uh, Snooten. 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 What is it that we're looking for again? God, I'm sorry. Rear quarter panel from a 64 Dodge Dart. 
Something with the number 82434 on it, right? That's the idea. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Yeah, that sounds like it would be no problem whatsoever. All right, I hope you're excited. Go forward nine times. No, you're joking. Nine times? Yes. Nine times? Yes. Nine, nine steps forward. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now go up. Um, Do we yeah. just, like, grab the, the yeah. bare wires with our hands? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah, we took all these pictures of a train. Can you just use them? It took us, like, ten minutes. Uh, welcome to New Kitsune. We're playing the X-Files on PS1, and... The final chapter. We're being an idiot. Uh, turn left. Now... Um, use your binoculars. Really? There it is. Uh huh. A two four three four. You see it. You love to see it. Mm -hmm. Now climb down. I'd I did have... like that the icon was him literally grabbing electricity. Yeah, yeah ditto. That was really good. I'd have taken my big-ass coat off before climbing up the utility pole, but that's just me. Well, maybe it's rubber. Okay, you should talk to her. All right. And ask her all questions. Whose theory do you believe? Mulder's or Scully's? Scully's obviously a by-the-book agent. I think it's great to hear of a detective who's a creative thinker. I'm looking <laughs> forward to meeting Agent Mulder. Seems like a neat guy. What could they use this place for? Are you kidding? I'm surprised their operation is this big. The thought of plutonium traveling all over the country via rail is pretty terrifying. Especially considering Amtrak's record. Yeah. <laughs> this yard is wow. deserted. <laughs> These boxcars haven't been used in years. <laughs> I don't know why that got a laugh out of me. All right. <laughs> Did you ask her all the questions? Yeah. Okay. Uh, go right. Massive burn on Amtrak out of nowhere. Forward. Uh-huh. Right. Is this more corn graffiti? <laughs> Forward. Forward. Um, and look at the row of cars on the right. Alex, that says Gex. It does say Gex. Is that... I see a 6, too. Does it say Gex 64? Gex 666. Twisted. This car's been burned. F Gex. I can't believe it says F Gex. From inside you hear it's tail time. Okay, go forward. Uh is there a forward? There is not a Hold forward. On. Oh, here we go. Found it. And uh open it up. Let's do it. Here comes Gex. They had him sealed up in here. Whoa, oh, Gex! Well, obviously this fire is recent. Gex has a new hobby. I guess they saved some for Alf. <laughs> okay, uh, go forward. Yeah. This looks like an operating room of some kind. Uh, go right. Mm -hmm. Right. Forward. Forward. We left. Mm-hmm. Hey! Hey! I didn't do nothing. Nobody said that you did. We just want to talk to you. Ask him all questions. What's he... He's flossing his teeth. Oh. In a loop. Is this guy in a lot of X-File shows, or is it just we're lucky to see him here? This guy is good. I hear my favorite character. I love that she's just staring at him the entire time. <laughs> you never see a man floss before? What's your problem? <laughs> Let's save our game, and hopefully by the time we come back, he's still flossing. <sighs> I want to use my gun, but it would just be the same ending, you know? 
Thank you to New Kitsune for the three month resub. Thank uh, you. Hi to Ga you too. Wait, pretend that sentence made sense. Hi to Ga you too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this your home? Is this your home? Home is where the heart is, near or far away. Oh that my god, we found Tom Petty. See anything strange around here? Uh, just the two of you. And the birds, of course. He's a nut. This guy's a real nut job. D Danny! The D chat recommended it. Sure. I'll take that. I um, did he take it? He... He... Hey, we need to reload. We need that item. He took the key item. We needed to beat the game. Who told you to do that? How do I ban them? Sure, I'll take that. No, don't take my handcuffs. <laughs> I need those. God damn it. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> sure, I'll take that. A uh, thing you need to kill the final boss? Yeah, I'll take that. Agent Mulder? Yeah, I'll take that. Just gonna cart him off. How could I have seen that coming, that this guy would just take things from my inventory? Is this your home? Home is where the heart is. Far God, I gotta hear this again. That was informative. can't believe we give him the handcuffs. I was expecting him to take the gun, too. I was expecting a unique ending where he yeah, turns I'll the gun that. on us. See anything strange around here? I'll ask the questions uh, now. Just the two of you. And the birds, of course. He's a nut. He just dropped What's this place himself. used for? Well, Don, the Boy Scouts conduct covert operations out here. You seen any men in suits or uniforms running around? Oh yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah, ask Jane. I'm besieged by sniveling toadies trying to cheat me out of my sugar fortune. Same. Mm, always. There's been a fire in a boxcar back there. You know anything about that? Sure, Don. I saw the guys who said it. What did they look like? Bloodless yuppies in cheap suits. Two of them. They backed that car up here yesterday and set fire to it in my own backyard. Can you believe that? Okay, so... Uh, I have some stuff, Don. Got it out of that burnt car. You may want it. What kind of stuff? What, from the boxcar? Yeah, the boxcar. You tell me, Don. What kind of stuff do I have? Okay, you have to do this in specific order. Yes. First, uh, photographs. Photographs. Photos? I'm not saying yes. I'm not saying no. You're in the neighborhood. Next, uh, scroll down until you get to moving pictures. Select moving pictures. Moving pictures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Classic Rush album. And, no. <laughs> and then pick videotape. Videotape? Yes, sir. We have a winner. Videotape it is. Congratulations. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Uh, Ten bucks. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. That's really cheap. <laughs> you can't cover it. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. <laughs> oh no, I can't believe we went all the way out to Target and I forgot my wallet. Can you uh can you cover me for two hundred dollars worth of candy? <laughs> Why don't we go to the Seattle field office? That was really funny, I'm sorry. That guy is the he's the MVP of this game. <laughs> Blatantly just stealing our inventory. Making us do a ridiculous dialogue tree puzzle. I love him. Where are we going? Uh, Seattle and then the field office. Back to the field office. Agents <laughs> carry less than $20. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> Ooh, this is serious. We auto navigated. <laughs> Why don't you put that uh, tape of yours into that, into, yeah. Right into the computer. 
What's up? Mark Cook, Mary Astadorian. Mary Astadorian, Mark Cook. Nice to meet you. Yeah, where's Bigfoot? I haven't seen no Sasquatch nowhere. Oh, full screen. Oh, it's an alien autopsy. I saw this on Fox. <laughs> okay, somebody's obviously cutting on something. What do these clandestine medical experiments have to do with Russian smugglers? Yeah, and if this guy's a surgeon, what was he looking for at Gordon's Hauling? And what was that experiment being performed? I don't know. Whatever it was, the patient didn't look human. Is there any way to ID the good doctor there? Yeah, all you gotta do is take a frame of the video and match it against the databases. It can definitely be done. Okay, so let's do it. All right, uh, click on capture. <laughs> there he is. That's a really nice clear photo. And then um, search the government military database. Now, is this guy classified too? We'll see. Okay, it's a uh, Colonel Ronch. Colonel Ronch. <laughs> Okay, um, click quit to exit the computer. No, oh, wait, wait. This guy's okay. divorced. We'd get along. Mm-hmm. Uh, he ordered some censorship of information. Okay. Thank you, Ultima. 100 bits. When did this game turn into a snow job on the 3DO? This is totally snow job. I want to play that next. It's actually very, very similar. Oh. Ooh. Deleted. Dun, dun, dun. Looks a lot like uh, Malcolm's dad from Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, it does have look like Cranston, yeah. Should we quit? Yeah. Bingo. Okay, what do we have here? To Jonathan Rausch. That's him, all right. Wow. The military, huh? Yeah, looks that way. What's that? Someone's trying to establish a video conferencing link. Yeah, we should oh, let him. Oh, what the hell. Never really tried to use this thing before. That face! Click connect. It's the face I make when I do video calls. Agent Zoom Wilmar? Face. Yes. Ah, we're in the right place. Oh, it's the squad! <laughs> um, hold on real quick. Uh, ask all questions. Okay, cool. How did you get this address? Well, we assumed you had the standard issue bureau box on your desktop. And all those are equipped Can't believe they got Garth. video conferencing, though nobody ever uses it. So we just looked you up in the Peekaboo white pages, which lists the DNS entry and IP address of every Peekaboo equipped machine in the country. Pretty straightforward, really. You want Janet Reno's number? Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Thanks. Are you sure? She keeps the computer in the bedroom. Well, hey. can we get in with Janet Reno? No. Who are you? Friends of Agent Scully. Some of us are more than just friends. She asked us to contact you. These guys are nerds. They are. They're the lone gunmen. The They're biggest fucking nerds. freaks. What do you want? Agent Scully contacted us with information about the case you're working on. You're not now, worthy. Based on what Dana told us, we believe that there's a top secret facility in Alaska involved. We going to Alaska? Tell me about Alaska. Okay, what's the big deal about Alaska? Well, this facility is used as a nexus point for most of the government's West Coast boxcar work. If this is true, Mulder's an incredible danger. This facility was built in the early 60s. We think they chose Alaska so they can use the Aurora Borealis to hide UFO traffic into and out of the base. We also think an alien craft recovered in the Pacific is stored there. Aurora Borealis? Where you are? Centralized in your room at this time of year? <laughs> What's boxcar work? Ah, one of the great unspoken peace dividends. The government has a massive network of rail cars, which they can use as mobile surgical theaters, autopsy rooms, and quarantine facilities. These boxcars have a twofold purpose. They allow the government to quickly pick up and transport stray EBEs, and they serve as a mobile base of operations for a series of genetic experiments. Yeah, man. Okay, before we go on, I need you to know that this did have it, that these guys, they had the spinoff series, and it got canceled. I didn't know why it got canceled, but apparently the first episode was about the government planning to crash a plane into the World Trade Center before 9-11. That's 9 incredible. So it got canceled after two se episodes. It because, got canceled um, for telling the truth. My God. That's beautiful. incredible. Truth is stranger than that fiction. That is so funny. I'm sorry. Kind of genetic experiments. The cross-pollinization of the human race, intermingling human DNA with genetic material from EBEs. Great, I don't believe this. Suddenly I'm Barbara Bain to you and Martin Landau. Where's Mulder? Where's Mulder? Where's Mulder? We're not sure, but knowing Mulder, if there's a trail leading to this facility, he's following it. Scully mentioned an unidentified man who was of some concern. Did you manage to determine his identity? 
Yeah, Dr. Jonathan Rausch, a Navy surgeon. You know, where's he stationed? Eisenhower Field, Alaska. Oh, yeah, that's the guy. He served a stint in Perky, West Virginia? Yes. This is bad. Listen, you have to get there. Mulder may not have much time left. First go to Rauch's house, and then on to the secret base. Okay, how do I get to the base? Well, Scully said you had a PDA? Yeah. Great. I'll email you the GPS coordinates of the base. This is fax. The Canadian border guard was found dead this morning from massive unexplained burns and Mulder's rental car was observed crossing the Canadian border into Alaska. I don't believe this. Well, that's it then. No, no doubt about Alaska. it. You're gonna have to get there ASAP. I just uploaded the GPS data. Okay. Cool fingerless gloves. Keep Mulder alive, we gotta get moving. You get to Roush's. You're probably gonna wanna take a charter flight. The airline's gonna be too busy. I'll keep everything nailed down here. Contact the Juno field office, get you some backup. Think you can scare up a charter flight for this man? Sure, I can do that. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Field trip. You want a window or an aisle seat? Well, maybe you should come with me. I don't think so. Why not? Showcase too. Yeah, Alaska's a little outside my jurisdiction. Besides, I have real detective work to do. You be safe. I will. The X-Files are going to Alaska, baby. Okay, let's open our... P oh, yeah, I'm going to save. save first. Smart. Now, someone mentioned uh, whether they were talking about whether it was wrong to have sex with aliens. Mm. Actually, it's a gray area. Boo! Boo! Where are the divorce papers? <laughs> okay. Where are we going? All right, we are opening up our PDA. And we are checking our email. Yes, yes, the bands. The bands are rolling in. Good. Racking them up. <laughs> Where are we headed? We're going to have sex with an email. alien. We're headed to email. We're going to email some sexy messages to an alien. All right. And uh, check the one from Monte Joffin. Uh, uh, well, thing is, you can't do that from your PDA. Does it really say you can? Uh, after they sign off, use your PDA to open email from B slash nine force ten. Rugby rules. Um. Ah, here we go. It was a hidden button. Okay. A Navy. Okay. Ooh, Navy seals. So there should be another email that you need to check out after this. Damn, that's a that's that's a fancy bomb. Yeah. God, tell us your whole life story. Okay, so. All right. So go back to your emails if you can, and you should. Is that really it? Scroll up. There that's it is. It. Oh. oh, I see. Yeah, that's it. And click on the... It says, uh, click the blinking paperclip icon to download the GPS Alaska coordinates. Is this clippy? Yeah. Or, excuse me, clip it. <laughs> it just got it to... There. Yeah. And there you go. Hey, We're off to Alaska. All right. We've unlocked Alaska on our PDA. <laughs> <laughs> seen actual size compared to washington <laughs> uh this is ps1 trade-on uh yeah this is ps1 uh there's also a pc version if you want seven discs of this seven. the ps1 is uh, only four discs otherwise this is an x-files based fmv game featuring a lot of stars from the show and we're about to beat it mm -hmm. we're going to raunchy's house Welcome, Nervous. We are finishing off the X-Files on the... Welcome to X-Files Endgame. Well, well, we say we're playing this on PS1, but technically we're using a lot of the Apple Newton. Yeah. A lot of different hardware. PC port's probably higher res, yeah. Just more discs means... Better video quality, I'd assume. Yeah, emphasis on multi... 
Okay, we've got, I hope you like mazes. So we're gonna go forward once and twice. One more time. Then we're gonna turn left. This is a nice log cabin. It is, forward and right. And uh, shoot the window, got it. Well, now our audience has hearing problems. Why don't we go inside? Oh, it was open. Okay. <laughs> Where do we go now? Right. Yeah, Forward. I was just clearing the way, making sure, you know. Forward. Uh, there. Uh -huh. Left. Forward. Left. Up. Left. Left. Um, uh -oh. Try talk to the body. Uh oh. FBI. Ooh, ooh! Why are we touching? You. You. FBI. Ooh. Where's Mulder? <laughs> Where's Mulder? <laughs> hey, wake up! Yeah, keep talking. Hey, wake up! Hey, dead guy, look alive. What happened to you? <laughs> All right. Um, Our guy's not very smart, is he? Uh, look at the cord hanging from the ceiling near the desk. <laughs> Let me put away my badge. Thank you. Yeah, that cord. Okay. Um, click the rope to pull down the ladder. Yeah, we're a detective. We know how to get things done. It probably wasn't any of the 30 bullets we fired through his window before yeah, entering. Yeah, absolutely not. It uh, was someone else. Uh, go, yeah, go forward. <gasps> <gasps> we did it. We reached our goal. Oh my Jeez, god. Man, do I know you? Cable guy. You all right? No. What's the matter? My foot's gone to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we found our boy. Agent Wilmore, so FBI. Funny, I took you for a spook. We finally uh, found Agent Mulder. Save and you ask guys. him all questions. You guys, we finally found Agent Mulder. He was waiting all the way at the end of disc four on the outer rings of disc four. We played this game for three <laughs> sessions, at least 25 hours of 100, gameplay. 100 bits from the Ultima who just says gun. Such a touching tribute. That was really funny. I, I did not. Okay, thank you for at letting me sunflowers. At last, using the gun on everyone pays off. Yep, the show's canceled. We can't. We yeah. can't go from here. Yeah, why did Scully get a funeral scene? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Yeah, just pouring a big bag of cat food into the grave. Yeah. I've been kibble. looking for you. Well, you found me. All right, just talk. Just talk with them. Spoken with Scully. How is she? She's better. She's out of the hospital. No, it's a sanitarium. I dropped her off there after she was shot in the warehouse. I called the Seattle office for more backup, but all they sent me was more cleaners from the NSA. Who'd you speak to? I didn't have time to ask. We barely got away. I, I, I didn't want to notify anybody of Scully's whereabouts because I didn't know who I could trust. These guys aren't being filmed together, are they? How did you get here? I was in a rail yard when Roush kidnapped me and stole my car. I always wanted to see the Pacific Northwest. Unfortunately, there's not much view from the trunk. Well, guess what? This guy's downstairs. Mm -hmm. Roush is downstairs. You're kidding. He didn't flame you? I beg your pardon? Uh, nothing. What condition is he in? 
uh, unconscious and covered in 40 weight motor oil. Oh, Roush. Yeah, he always did have a kinky streak. <laughs> Mulder. Mulder, you freak. Speaking of, speaking of love, Frohike sends his love. Frohike sends his love. You're quite the social butterfly. Frohickey, Roush, Scully. Do you know Skinner? Yeah, he set me on the case. Yeah, I did them all. I should have known. <laughs> well, let me guess. Was this uh, rail yard on rural Route 1121? You got it. They use it as a staging area. Yeah, so I've been told. Why did you get kidnapped? Yeah. How'd, you, how'd you end up here in this attic? Why did Roush kidnap you? Roush is a Navy surgeon who's involved in alien experimentation. The alien that controlled him, or controls him, crashed into the sea two months ago. Alien controlled him? You did say the alien that controlled him. Well, there's a species of alien that can use humans as host. The, the parasite completely takes over the target human. You ever seen the movie Species? The knowledge that the human <laughs> possesses. The only way you can tell the difference is there's a thin film of black oil that swims over the victim's eyes. The crew of the yeah. Terracon came across one of these Valdez-type aliens who promptly <laughs> nuked them. The government apprehended it and put it in one of their boxcars, but somebody screwed up and it escaped. The oil alien. Yeah, yeah, radioactive parasitic aliens. It's all coming together. It's very simple, actually. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, Roush had that uh, same black film on his eyes. Yeah, you're lucky he didn't try to kill you. I'm pretty sure the alien's trying to get back to its ship. That's why it used Roush to get here, but I have no idea where that ship might be. As I was coming up, I saw a man in black fatigue leaving the house. Well, we've got to catch up with him. He's the new host. But we have to figure out where they're headed. I know. I was given the location of a secret government facility by three men via video conference. Oh, that sounds like a reliable source. <laughs> Check your sources, says answer Fox your, Mulder. <laughs> answer your phone. Fox Mulder of all people telling me to check my sources. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> yes. Agent Wilmore, it's Dana Scully. Where are you? Uh, Juneau, Alaska. Have you found Mulder? Yeah, he's right here. Thank God. Can I talk to him? <laughs> yeah, he's right here. It's Scully. Hey. Scully, where are you? It's Scully. I'm on my way to Juneau. Well, who's your travel agent? Byers, Frohickey, and Langley. God love him. Do you have your cell phone with you? Yes. All right, I'll call you back. All right, then, let's get going. It's for you. Ooh, ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Great, it looks like we got some uninvited guests. NSA? We're Jehovah's Witnesses. I need you to keep them busy for me long enough to meet Scully back at that facility, then you get away and meet us there. Uh, hold on. I was assigned to find you and Scully. I've done that. I'm out of here. What kind of attitude is that? The game's not over yet. Don't you want to wait around for the payoff? No, I'm on disc four. I thought we were done. Okay. Well, NSA or Jehovah's Witnesses. Either way, it's time to get the gun. Okay, so you've we've got a long, we've got a walking sequence we got to do, and then after the sequence, you need to save. Okay. Well, I'm gonna save before the sequence too. Okay, good. Because there's a sequence you have to do after we walk that sounds very complicated and is timed and you can die so what if it's mormons let's hope not okay so right what if i step out and just get shot oh oh it won't let me Boo. i thought i had a brilliant idea okay so right, right to the right uh down forward Right, forward, right, forward. <laughs> this fucking labyrinth of a house. Right. I've said that all these environments are labyrinths. Forward. That's because they are. Now, you need to save. Now? Yes. So, you have two options from here. Mm-hmm. We can either kill the goons or run and hide. Running and hiding is easiest. I want to kill the goons. Okay. So what you're going to do is exit the cabin through either door, go to the front corner of the porch near the cars. The agents tell you that the investigation is over. Wait, where are you? I'm lost. I'll, oh. I'll find my way out. Don't worry. 
Yeah. Okay, okay, that's gotta be it. Now, um... Oh, beautiful day. Hey, guys. When you go to that corner, they're gonna tell you it's over. You can click on your gun. You're supposed to talk to oh. Sorry, I got ahead of you for a second. <laughs> you sure fucking did. It almost worked. Oh, they got our bones. Yeah. It's him. Why just the bones? Thank you. What did y'all do? You saved after the sequence, right? Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah, don't move forward. Uh, shoot them. And then quickly shoot the other guy. Now All right. click on the car at the left and you automatically travel. Car to the left. Just wanted to make sure. Good. You should save. Yeah, good screams. There's Aurora Borealis! Draw your gun when you enter this facility. Freeze, Aurora Borealis! We got you dead to rights. These burns match the others. Mulder's gone on ahead. I don't, I don't think we have much time. Okay, draw your gun. You got it. Where's my exclusive Scully death sequence? Where? Where? You're being banned. Yeah, well. <laughs> You're being hell banned. I just did things the easy way. You did them your way. Yeah, yeah, the easy way. You know what? This time, let's hide. Wait, we're doing that again? Yeah. Okay. Um. We got time. Okay, so same thing. Just exit the house? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I should probably listen to what the guys <laughs> had to say to me instead of just shooting them. <laughs> Let's try talking to them this time. Um, hold on. That's true. We did get the exclusive disc one ending. Okay. They're gonna Agent Wilmore, we're with the National Security Agency. We've been tracking a plutonium smuggling ring from the former Soviet Union and Yugoslavia through Hong Kong and into Seattle. Now, we have hard evidence that the Terrakem was a courier ship which carried goods from outside the Seven Mile Zone. Why'd they send Joe plutonium Biden to tell us this? Crew, as well as the man he wasn't busy. Charno. Had nothing else to the do. The investigation here is over, Agent Wilmore. You will immediately board a plane for Seattle. We will assume your duties here. We will take you to the airport now. Turn right. Turn right. Turn uh, right and okay. move and go fucking yeah. This. Cool. Man, it's cool that they give you a choice here. Turn right. Way cooler option. Okay, right? Mm hmm. Forward. Forward. And then click the hole under the log. Found my home. Nice hole. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it was made for him. And there you go. Wow. Two entirely different outcomes to that one scene. Such effort. This game has so much effort put into it. Yeah. We were just going to blow right past it. I'm glad we saw that. It's time to take down Big Aurora Borealis. These burns like match a dang the others. Hobbit. Mulder's gone on ahead. I don't, I don't think we have much time. Let's go ahead and save since we've seen all possibilities from the previous scene. That was neat.
That was neat. That felt like something you could figure out on your own, too. It felt very intuitive how you could just pull out your gun at any point. Be mm -hmm. like, oh, this isn't looking good. I'm just going to kill these guys. Okay. Where are we going? Okay. Um, okay. We are going forward. We're drawing our gun. We are not shooting Scully. And we are not going to shoot Mulder if we see Mulder. Don't, please. That's Alex, always doing things by the book. Okay, um, go forward through the door into the main hallway. Okay. Turn left. To forward. Alex, give us your best, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Good. Turn left. I'm a loose cannon, but I get results. And you're going to see a burned body. Okay. Uh, go forward. And right. Don't shoot, but keep your gun drawn. Danny. What? Did you shoot? Please say you didn't shoot. Please, I'm begging you. A <laughs> different death scene. <laughs> oh, I killed us all. Yeah. Okay. All right. I should maybe be a little more careful then. Yeah, because I don't know where it's going to leave us. Okay. So we're... The part with the, the burned body. Walk forward, then... Uh, then right. Did you go forward twice or forward once? I went forward twice. Oh, here he is. Okay. Yeah, keep your gun drawn. I'm not sure where... I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. I need for you to help me. It was a miracle. I pushed the button, but no shot was fired. Okay. Uh, scroll down to Scully Run. Oh, yeah, this is a fake Mulder, isn't mm -hmm. it? Run. Turn right. Mm -hmm. And quickly shoot the soldier. We can, we can consult the tape on that. I'm pretty sure I made the first shot, and I'm pretty sure I hit him dead on, too. The game disagrees with me, but I know I was right. Yeah, Let's fix the hitboxes. Jeez. Okay. Port forward, right. Yeah. I need your help, Scully. I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. Watch his eyes. I need for you to help me. Anyway, Scully, run. Actually. Wow! We got aliened. Forgive me, Alex. It's at the end of the game, and I want to see all the different we possibilities. We have so much more to go through, Dan. Okay. I'll quit fucking around. I just wanted to see how it killed us. It's... It does the same thing if you shoot it, if you don't shoot it. I'm out of options. <laughs> My only options were shoot or don't shoot. Forward. <laughs> All right, we'll do it by the book from now on. Okay. <laughs> I'm a lovable rascal. I need your help, Scully. I'm the perfect FBI to agent. Past the blast door into the storage <laughs> Just here to Jay ruffle some feathers. J. Edgar Hoover, lovable me. rascal. <laughs> That's me. Maybe the twist is I'm J. Edgar Hoover Jr. It's me. My name is Jay. Run. Edgar Hoover Jr. Anyways, you're gonna need to turn right and shoot the soldier. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Uh, turn left. I guess you need to go back to your locker room before you were. I've turned left. Uh, I don't know how to get to the locker room. It just said go back to the locker room. Well, we'll... Yeah, turn... Let's turn. That's the laundry room, honey. That's not the locker room. Maybe the alien's hiding in a in the laundry basket. Okay. 
Um, we are lost. Uh, maybe it's through this door? Maybe. Okay, good. You're already you should be where you're seeing a lot of dead bodies. Um, mm -hmm. Go through the door at the upper right. Okay. Um, you're under arrest, facing wall. Facing the wall. Go left. Forward. Right. And enter the supply room with the tall containers. Done. Um. Um. Scully should be talking to you. I hear something. Yeah, keep. See if you can find Scully. Oh, there she is. Is she a fake, Mulder? too? Any sign of Mulder? No. I haven't seen him either. What was he talking about? Why is he looking for a key? And what kind of key? He said something about a storage chamber. Now I have to figure out why he's behaving this way and somehow get him out of here. Okay, exit this room. I'm not sure. Yeah, get out of here. Go left. Forward twice. It says you're facing the door to the central control room. Go yep. right. Mm -hmm. Forward. Left. Then forward four times down the main hallway. Yeah, there. Here? There, yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, you should be. Okay, good. You're at the isolation chamber. Go for. Let's yeah, save. Definitely save. We've got a lot more of this bullshit, so. <laughs> oh, good. I love bullshit. Now. I crave it. Go forward. Um, no, 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 I'm not there. T towards the left side. There you go. Four what if times. I go in here, though? I don't know. <laughs> you, two, three, four. Then forward through the open door. Oh, it's you. I don't know what's wrong with Mulder. I think he's in some kind of a narco-somnambulistic state. Maybe if we can... Lure him into the isolation chamber. I, I can contain him until I can figure out how to treat him. Okay. How are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to locate the other key that Mulder was looking for. Now, whatever is in that room is protected by some kind of a blast door. It looks to me like, like the, uh, the door is, is operated by two key panels. Both keys need to be turned simultaneously, like launching a nuclear missile. Now, there's a key guard in the corner of the room. Maybe if, if I distract him, you can come up behind him and knock him out. Then we can use the key to get Mulder into that chamber. But first, we have to get the isolation chamber powered up. Now, the, the door to the security area locked itself behind me, so we have to get that opened up first. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Can you repeat that? Thank you for saving. Well, that sounded really complicated, but luckily, we have Alex here to do things by the book. Uh, okay. So, look at the control panel to her right. Hey, um... I'm holding out hope. That what? That, that I'll get an exclusive death scene. It'll be all touching and we'll put sunflower seeds in her grave. She doesn't like sunflower seeds. So to, the, to the right? To her right, so I think that one. Wait, to her right? God yes. damn it, fact author. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, there. I'm a gamer. I'm not okay. supposed to think. Look at the left panel. Yeah. Pull the green knob. Pull to engage. She'd like to have loose cigarettes <laughs> spread on her grave. All right. Uh, back up. Uh-huh. Go left forward. Then go left, forward. It says, uh, push the red button on the right side of the door to open the chamber door. Breathe now. You ready? Let me save my game. I am ready for the bullshit. We are at the very end of an FMV game. This is where they pull out all the stops. Where they We're make it the most bullshit very close possible. To the end here, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Go right. Forward. Left. I'm gonna have to lure in Mulder with some sunflower seeds. Forward. 
forward. And his favorite manga. Left. Forward. Left. Push the red button on the right side here, too. <laughs> we gotta open both sides. Mm -hmm. Then, go right. Right. Oh, this is so bad. Go forward seven times towards the door. The, Which, the, the blinking door. This that, one? This door. Yeah. One. One. Two. two three. Three. Uh, four. Five. five six. six. Which way? I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. The door, we'll... door, towards small light. So there. Okay. Yeah. Next. Um... It's so confusing. One main hallway, keeping close to the central control room to your right. Go right. Forward. Oh no, we went the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. Here's the central control room. Okay. Uh, go inside. Room with all the broken monitors. Perfect. After entering the room, go forward, then left. That should show you the blast door control panel. Okay. Wait, what are you doing? Nothing. Okay. Go. Uh, now, um, you know that thing you were looking at? That was a button you needed to press. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Push the button. Life support systems off. Punch it. Whew. Okay, go left. Go four twice. One, twice. Then go left. Forward. Like in the main hallway. Okay. Forward. Then left. You're supposed to basically go, yeah, go back to where you were and go forward eight. Two. Oh my god, we are lost. It's fine. We'll eventually okay. figure it out. Go back. So you need to basically turn around from where you were and go forward eight to go back to where we were. I don't think I'm in the right You're area. You're not. We, yeah. It's it's fine. We're having fun exploring. Yeah, we now where is the place? Paper. It's eight forward. What we're doing going is we're going all the way back to the isolation chamber. Oh, the isolation chamber. Yeah, we're all the way past the left side of the small isolation chamber is where we're going. Okay. If I keep clicking, we'll eventually find our way back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can't go eight forward. I think it should be this way. This way? I I just have a vibe. Okay. Let's follow the vibe. If the literal dead end. <laughs> I'm vibing at the dead end. Okay. Can't go in here. Or can we? Let's do some laundry. Okay. gonna end up in the mail room in the commissary you guys seen the isolation chamber um i don't know agent where Wilmore, i'm glad you're here i know where agent Mulder is come with me click the stiletto on scully if you can't oh no oh so it's okay <laughs> all right so I last saved when we opened the first door on the uh, containment chamber. Oh, so boy. we need to go all the way back around and open the second door. I remember mm -hmm. that. And maybe now we'll be able to remember where the damn test chamber is. Turn right. Oh. 
Okay, we've opened both sides of the containment chamber. I'm going to save again, just to save some time in the future. We'll get through this. The Jalian wants us to give up. Okay. Okay, right? Mm-hmm. Right. And then four, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, forward, um, forward, left. And then turn off the life support. Mm -hmm. Life support punched. From the button you pressed, go left. Save once again. Mm -hmm. With enough saves, we can beat any game. The truth is out there. <laughs> to the left. Mm -hmm. Forward once. Forward again. Through that door. Now, it says in the main hallway, go left. Forward. Left. Forward. Mm-hmm. Forward. 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 Hey. Hey. Forward. Keep the isolation chamber on the left. So go back. Yeah, and go forward. Where are you going? No. Nowhere. Go forward. Okay. Go left. Left. Then right. That was my bad. That was on me. That was on okay. me. Mix up my left and my right. Okay, go forward. Forward. All the way past the left side. Forward. Left side of the blast sh in isolation chamber. Okay, I think that was eight forwards. Yeah. I think that was eight forwards. Next, we need to turn left and go forward to enter the now open security door. Hey, it is open. Well, let's hope this works. Any particular direction you'd like to claim? Um, you're going to want to turn, uh, right. To the Try right. Try your gun and save. I can do that. Thank you, Ultimo, for the 100 bits. Thank you. This Isn't this the same plot from the quarantine episode of Red Dwarf? Thank yeah, you. probably. Okay. Boulder's a hologram. You're okay. going to go to Ford and quickly shoot the guard on the right. Then wow. quickly take the key from the slot. Take that key. Got it. Now, go left. Boulder. Just ignore him. And okay. forward four times. Mm -hmm. And then go two forward through the chamber. Turn two right. Hit the red button to shut the chamber door. Ha-ha! <laughs> Got it. As soon as you can, click on the stiletto. And you're going to use the stiletto... ...on her! What?! Whenever you get the second, use that stiletto on Scully. Okay. Turn the key. Yeah! Jalian down. Well done, Alex. Thank you. Well done, Danny. Wow. Well done, Agents Mulder and Scully. Well done, our marriage, for not falling apart as I read that. I knew we'd be fine. I know, I know. I'm giving you shit. Is that it? Is that the end of the game? That's the you end of the more. game. Hell yeah, good game. Good gaming. But we're all affected when one of our own goes bad. I never saw it coming. 
Mark was my friend. I should have been more attentive, perhaps. But none of us are at fault. Except Agent Cook himself. Hello. Come in, please. I just wanted to say goodbye. I spoke to Detective Astrodorian. Apparently, they searched Cook's apartment. It's a good idea, Mr. Salachidon. <laughs> God. It it's seems double the money. So Cook staged the break in here in order to make it look as if he'd been attacked. Well, it seems that Agents Mulder and Scully have been uh, talking to Assistant Director Skinner. Yes, apparently, your work has received quite a bit of attention at the Bureau. You have quite a fan in Assistant Director Skinner. Although I must admit some of what I've heard sounds a bit fantastic, to put it mildly. Well, yes, sir. I agree. I'd have to plead the fifth on that. Anyway, I've got a plane to catch, but Agent Mulder wanted me to tell you that his foot has woken up. That's a relief. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to say thank you. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Free scotch tape for everybody. <laughs> You're looking a little ragged around the edges. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? I'll see you here tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And oh, I expect your report on this matter to show up when you do. Yes, sir. Oh, Detective Astadorian also mentioned she had some paperwork for you to sign. She said she'd drop it by your place, although I told her she could send it here. She seemed uh, adamant about handing it off to you directly. Yes, sir. Can't believe we did it. Just another day in the life at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. <laughs> Agent Wilmore. I guess I know what you want. Hold on a second, I'll go get it. I think not. You'd better keep it. You're gonna need it again, soon. Yeah, what about the guy with Ray who he gave radiation poisoning? What about that guy? Uh, he got better. He just needed some Did bed he? rest. Did he? He's fine. What's the X-Files. The X-Files for PS1. What an amazing game. What is this song? I think this was composed by Agent Mulder. Let's turn this down because this song is... It kicks ass. The fuck is this? I keep hoping for there to be vocals. <laughs> but yeah, it's a clown penis remix. <laughs> yeah, song straight off Spooky Haunted House Music Volume 5. This is... DJ Dotto does it again. <laughs> There was, a, there was a pretty woman. A lot of people, a lot of actors, a lot of developers, testers, producers, programmers, designers. <laughs> Assistant to Mr. Duchovny. She helped his foot wake up. Look, look at this. This, this is like a whole ass episode of The X-Files. Makeup by Omi. Thank you, Omi. Except <laughs> this music. Michael Christ. Thank you, Pine Mountain Moore. He was the best boy. Aww. This is the biggest cast I have seen for any video game from the 90s. Yeah, the X, okay. This is a, this is a modern day Ubisoft staff list. They're gonna be like, uh, special thanks to Fox Interactive Shanghai. <laughs> Chat talking about uh, how the X-Files theme was on Pure Moods. It was the remix. Yeah, it was the, DJ the DJ Dado, Dado uh, yeah. remix. You can what? dance to it. There's a second unit. Well, because it's the crew from the show, and it was, a, it was a big event. So many people. What is this music? Well, they ran out of budget for the credits. They just kind of had the, the programmer rub his ass this on a is, keyboard. This is not, this is not, this is not. There's an honorary programmer. A guy who didn't know how to program, but they wanted to make him feel special. Special thanks to Teamsters. the Teamsters. Yeah, this is, a, this is one of the few union games out there. This game is ethical. This has been an ethical playthrough. Yeah, could they not get the theme? Could they, could they not get the ending theme to the X-Files? It's the same thing, kinda. 
No, what song is this? You can't leave me hanging. We may never know. The biggest mystery of them all is who composed the credits theme for the X-Files for PS1. Was it the Jalian itself? It could have been. I want to go back in and see uh, a couple of ways we could have fucked up that final sequence, if okay. you don't mind. Oh, please do. We got time. Like, uh, what if we just, uh... What if we just, uh, let the, let the scene play out? I'm sorry about this. This comes from the very top. There's nothing I can do about it. We saw too much. Saw way too much. We got blinded by the light. Blinded by Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't die. I think, you know. That looked like a pretty clear death sequence there. All right, we're shooting the aliens, so that just results in this. Don't shoot the aliens, they blow up. It's the first thing you learn in alien school. <laughs> Windows version 1cc, that is a difficult run. Ugh. The difficult part is swapping all the ZDs. <laughs> Killed by Jalian. Rest in peace. <laughs> aliens are full of M80s. I like how we have no recourse in the scene but to shoot this guy. Mm -hmm. Who is he? Fuck him. He's dead now. But what if we let Mulder, uh... What if we just, uh... Chill out? Yeah. Oh. He just blows up on you! Okay. Alright, well... That's really funny. He's just, he gets so mad, he blows up. He's like, no. <laughs> he goes supernova. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why I ought to... Yeah, I'll do it. Got your card. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Come get me, away. sucker. Whoops. Music here is pretty intense too. What if we uh what if we, door? what if we didn't do this in time? Well thank you, Abs Nerdity, for the raid. We are finishing off the Oh, we got killed by the, the bomb. Killed by alien. another limbs lens player. Yeah. Thank you, Abs. Welcome everybody. We finished up the X Files for PS1 and now we're watching the final FMVs uh, that tell us all the different things we can do wrong. We can do a lot wrong, apparently. Yeah, so Mulder's an alien, and uh, he goes supernova if he gets pissed off at us. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, spoilers for this game, sorry. Yeah, big Thank spoilers. You. you have to shoot this guy for no reason, and it's honestly kind of violent. Oops. There we go. We gotta take the key. And we gotta let the alien chase us around. I thought for sure there was an exclusive uh, Scully death sequence. In fact, I'm pretty sure I saw it posted somewhere recently. But in case any of y'all want to see the climactic final moments of the X-Files for PS1, this is what you do. You trap Alien Mulder inside the, the alien containment unit. Was it Okay, it might have been the PC version that had it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, there was FMV missing from the PS1 version of Fox Hunt that was in the PC version, so... That would kind of make sense. A little bit of that extra content. And now we get to see how we fuck up the final scene. Did you shoot Scully? Oh my god! Holy shit! We finally got the Scully death scene that you've been wanting. I'm so sorry. I love your work. I never wanted to... Oh. 
Danny, she is super dead. Death of a short queen. We learned uh, last time around she's like five foot nothing and weighs 110 pounds. Wait, oh yeah, I forgot. We could just, I, you I'm could just taller th- than she is. Yeah, you could throw her around. Oh, that sucks. I don't want to do that with Jillian Anderson. All right, there's one final way to fuck up this scene, and that's I think uh, we'll close out our coverage of the X Files for PS1. Yeah, she died from a shot to the shoulder. She. Oh, uh, we hit a major artery. Oh, okay, never mind. The alien artery. Yeah. Man, remember Alien Autopsy? We've talked about Alien Autopsy a lot during this show. Didn't Fox try to pass that off, off as genuine? They did. And then there was an episode of The X-Files how there was a, about a fake alien autopsy. It all comes full circle. Even back then, they did it all for the content. We should, we should take <laughs> lessons from the mistake of uh, the Fox Network. <laughs> Do not pursue content such to the extent that it ruins you. I don't know. It, it seemed Actually, to be, yeah, it seemed to work out pretty well for them. It great for them, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe in the last scene you can just straight up shoot Scully. <laughs> she just dies. She's, she die dies, yeah. <laughs> There's no resolution to this scene. It's just like, no, Scully's dead. All right, normally you're supposed to have Scully kill, uh, stab the guy in the neck. You got it. I'm going to turn the key. Do we get fired? Do we get killed? <laughs> no, we just Sorry, get fired. <laughs> this comes from the very top. There's nothing I can do about it. You didn't stop the genes, alien. He unleashed pure denim within a 2,000-mile radius, denimizing everyone instantly. Children, adults, wives, husbands, all denim, thanks to you, and thanks to the genes, alien. Fucking alien. That's the X-Files for PS1, a game with numerous labyrinthine warehouse environments where you just have to randomly look at the ceiling and look at the floor. Then you gotta look at the ceiling. You gotta dig around in dirt, you gotta scoop up blood, you gotta put the blood in the crime computer, you gotta do QTEs, you gotta do mazes, you even gotta shoot a couple of folks. You gotta go forward, but not that way forward, that way forward, because Sh- you can't forward, tell. forward eight times. Not nine! No, you fucked up. And then waiting for us at the end, of course, was the cigarette rat. I love the cigarette rat biting the ash and being like, ah fuck. Thank you, cigarette rat. Thank you. Let's watch this scene one last time now okay. that we have the full context of the game. See if this makes any more sense. But I think that was a pretty successful playthrough. Mm -hmm. I think we did well. Agents Mulder and Scully would be proud. They're like, oh god, another warehouse. Fuck this. They spend a lot of time in warehouses in that show. I can tell you that. (laughs) Cigarette. (laughs) Cigarette. This comes from up top, the cigarette smoking rat. There's nothing I can do, sorry. Oh my god, ah! I guess it makes sense. I guess they accidentally shot one of the, the Jalians. That's what you get. Oh, that's why you see Mulder there and not Scully, because she was wounded and Mulder carted her off to the, uh, the, the sanitarium, sanitarium of all places. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well that does make a little bit more sense. That's it. That's the X-Files for PS1. Highly recommended. Go play this video game.